Okay, it looks like we're live. Cool. Alright guys, welcome to the stream. Let's get onto it. So we left this hanging in the, the previous live stream. I'm gonna get started on this now because it's not mission. going to be super quick. But it has to be fought manually because they've got another army nearby and if I order resolve it, I won't be able to repel their attack, which would be very bad. Welcome to the live stream on YouTube and on Twitch, everyone. Yep, okay, so we're gonna load. Quick again. Okay, should be fine. Hey, Legend, hope you're having a great day. Crazy timing. Opened up YouTube the second you started. Hmm, that's good timing. Uh, I think I need to change my lighting setup. There we go. That's better. People want to see dark basement, not overblown light. <laughs> I just started for part four, wait for me. This will be waiting for you when you're done. Okay, you get two whole days to watch it. You gotta keep up. We're live on Twitch, right? on Twitch? It says I am. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, alright. So, we don't want to just charge in with the cavalry. That would be silly. We'll get wrecked. We need to keep out... Cavalry is best for field battles, obviously. Not good for sieges. Ready? Right. Now they've got Let's poison wind mortars, so we can use that the against them. Okay, low tier Set sediment towers. Good. And we've got heaps of winds of magic. Awesome. Wait, what? That's not low tier. These Let's friggin. really lies to you constantly. Moving out. Take position. Quickly. That's an order! Look to the stars! Merging! Wait, that tells it. What shot the warp lightning at us? Moving fast! Hmm, I don't know. Bring lightning! Ready for war! For the Empire! Oh, uh, just thinking I probably actually should... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna overcast it. But that looks alright. Probably should have put Legbiter on for this battle because... He's definitely gonna take damage. Uh, Cape Kepo Kuzak became a member for 13 months, making some maps of my uni project and watching Legend. The day could, couldn't be better. Alright, thanks dude. Glad you think so. Okay, we definitely want their units to be, um... This car friends has not really done that much damage yet, and he's already taken quite a bit of damage. Want them to shoot their own units as much as possible to poison wind mortars. They're not going to have the avalanche mortars in this battle. Could give him the uh, seed of rebirth instead of a talisman of preservation for these sort of fights. Maybe. Hmm, I'm not sure. Didn't the siege happen last stream? It's a similar stream. That's sorry, similar battle, but <laughs> it, it's not the same battle. 
The problem here is that when you fight a Skaven, every single map is the same. So it's just because we're fighting Clan Moors, we're gonna fight the same ish battle every now and again. That's just uh, how it how it kind of happens. Yeah, definitely want to get rid of those Gisales and the war. Oh, it was the warp lightning cannons that shot at me. Right, 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 right. I was wondering about that. One here has done more damage than Carl Franz. So far, so good. Okay, and you pop this down on them. Good. So yeah, I really want to soften them up before we go in with the with the cavalry. Don't use the health potion just yet. There were some rattling guns. I don't think we should worry about where'd they go. Uh, warp grinders, yeah, those will be annoying to deal with with our cavalry. Oh, there's the rattling guns. It's already playing our music, so the bounce of power is definitely in our favor. Looking for good opportunities to cast down chain lightning. Usually, you want to get like two units in a bit of a blob, especially if they're high tier units as well. You didn't have the leg biter equipped. I've got Gal Moraz equipped. I had leg biter on before, but I, I can only I can only pick one of them. All right, let's see how we go against this. It's a good amount of damage for one hit. And also pop this down on him, because otherwise he might struggle against Queek a little bit. And also Curse of the Midnight Wind to really debuff Queek as much as possible, so he doesn't hit us. He's actually got a higher melee attack than us. But our damage output is way higher than his. Okay, one more hit and he's out of there at this rate. Make sure he goes down. Ulrich's wrath on them. My subjects call. The Empire endures. Get them. Could you fix the Discord bot to do the announcement without half hour to forty five minutes delay? Um, I don't manage the the Discord bot. That's Niskimble. Sorry, Niskimble deals with that. And th the problem is. Um, he, yeah, sorry, I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't manage that. You will start a new campaign after Hatch Shadows have changed, or you continue, Carl, if you don't lose. Well, I'll continue if I don't lose, that's for sure. Um, but I definitely want to play a Kataran campaign, so I don't imagine this is going to finish within the five days or so until it comes out, so we'll just have to wait and see how we go. I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this stage. Typically speaking, I don't really like to talk about what my future plans are. I'd much rather focus on whatever we're doing today. Otherwise, it, the conversations get way out of hand. So let's just focus on today's stuff and don't worry about tomorrow. It, get rid of them. Alright, we can't heal anymore. The portent sight chaos. The heavens unleash. But yeah, Carl Franz has taken out all the most dangerous units. Oh, wait, no, he hasn't. Still gonna deal with the play claw catapults. I just need these to shatter. Night Runner slings are a little bit dangerous. How are you going? You need to get through that. The Empire endures. Oh, 
Celestial Might! And there's a Doom Wheel there. Carl Franz should deal with that as well. I will not stand idle! For Heldenhammer! Ready for war! Take position! Moving now! Moving! Sigma! Hey, I haven't been following Warhammer 3 too closely for a while. Are Reichsguard good now, or is this a meme stack? Um, it's actually pretty good. Not good in sieges, but you get Karl Franz and the heroes to do most of the work, and then they just sort of finish the job. That's what the Heavens Wizard is for. Alright, I'm going to sort out those Plague Claw Catapults. Because, yeah, 40,000 damage on the Wizard there. Has us covered for the most part. Prepare for combat. Carl Francis takes out all the single entities because these are not good at taking out single entities. Not at all. Multi entity units, they're fine. Hey, Terra, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. What's up, Legend? I had a pretty shit day, tooth cracked, and I have a job interview tomorrow, so I gotta juggle that and go into the dentist and hope they don't ream me. Good luck. Sorry to hear about the, um, the, uh, cracked tooth. That sucks, for sure. Yeah, dentist stuff can suck. Well, good luck with your job interview, one way or another. They're pretty, pretty lousy people to judge you based on that kind of stuff. Um, if you continue streaming on Twitch, will you be making new emotes? Um, we will see. We will see. I'm pretty busy these days. So, we will see. I need to find my old emotes. They're somewhere in my hard drive. need to actually put them back in. Uh, Billa Willa, subscribe with Prime. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Considering the hero and Carl will do most of the job approach, is the Heaven Wizard really the most appropriate for the job? Why not a Life Wizard? Life Wizard may be better, yeah. I went with this one because it was disciplined, and I needed to get out of Reichland immediately. But I will probably switch this guy with a Life Wizard at some point when Carl Franz... Actually, yeah, I've got a bunch of Life Wizards sitting in Reichland. I could get... I could... It'll be a long journey, but I could get them over here. Because I don't imagine Carl Franz is getting out of the Badlands anytime soon, and he probably will need that life wizard, because Wurzag is probably going to be a pain in my ass. So yeah, you're right, I, I should do that. Now the patch notes are released, what faction are you most excited for? General thoughts? I'm excited to give Kislev a go. Not so much to play a Stankia, but to play as Katarin. Katarin's campaign has always been one of my favorites for Warhammer 3. And some of the stuff seems pretty interesting. The skies boil. This guy here's got a few kills. Without having done much damage to him, so that's good. Okay, we want to be putting down the chain lightnings on storm vermin if we can. Just worth the most amount of balance of power. That's what we want to be dealing with. All right, what other units here do we need to get rid of? Okay, that one there needs to go. So we take out all the most dangerous units. He doesn't even take out the entire army. Yeah, I, I think you're right about the life wizard because look how much healing, extra healing he could get. And it's not like life magic doesn't have good healing, uh, uh, damage dealing. Why not just get Carl Regen? How would you recommend I do that? How would you recommend it? <laughs> How would I get Carl Franz regen? So, I could equip him Leg Biter, but that means I wouldn't get Galmaraz. Galmaraz is pretty damn strong. Okay, Carfrance can't take on that much more. 
Death Run is a reckon in a bit. Ready for war. What? At speed for the Empire. All right, I am almost out of magic, and then we have to make the air full on attack. Another single entity should take that out. This man movement going on over here, so put that down. Alright, I have got enough magic for maybe one more chain lightning. So he's gotten 700 kills on that. Nearly 800. Should be able to get him to 800. Forgot we can't get Izzy straight anymore? Yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't like that they did that. <laughs> oh well, what are you going to do? It was kind of overpowered. I mean, you technically can get Isabella's trait, but you need to have the Vampire Count in-game crisis enabled. Not worth it, considering how difficult it is to get rid of that one. That's the last of my wins. Let's go in. Alright, I just want you to pin down some missile units. Uh, Vimarain did a CHF22 uh, super chat. Hello, Legend. Happy to see you leading onwards. Um, after I finish Chaos Dwarves, Grueling War, I plan to play Dwarves. Which faction of theirs has the most fun dynamic campaign? I'd say, um... Uh, Thorek Ironbrow. Yeah, thanks Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, did I mention Billa Willa subscribe with Prime? I feel like I did. I can't remember. The next rework DLC is Nurgle, right? If also, if you read this, your PP falls off. Well, not much of a change then. <laughs> What's that animation on the one that capture point? Hmm? I'm not sure what you mean. What's that animation on that one capture point? Oh, right, right, right. It's like shit flowing from the sky there. Taking position! And then, yep, they deliver the final blow, gives us the army losses there. Minimal damage onto the army. Good stuff. Make sure this guy here gets a bit of a heal. Did you take any damage? No. Okay. What happened to the Hive campaign? Did you lose the battle? Yep. Yep, lost the battle against the Greenskins. Just get a seed of rebirth. Problem there is that I would I would have to take off the Talisman of Preservation for that. So, you know. He's already fully kitted up, so whatever I switch... So yeah, it would be best if I just switch this out for a Life Wizard. How much does Kyle Franz buff the Rax Guard? Pretty much halves their upkeep cost and gives them bonus versus large, extra armor, charge bonus, and melee attack, I think. So quite a bit. If they release a new Norska Legendary Lord, where would they place them? Skeggy? They could put them in the Dark Elf territory. There's there's Chaos Waste there, like Aghole. 
Because that would be on the... That, that location would be on the Realms of Chaos map as well. Okay. So yeah, minimal damage. I don't think this guy is going to try to attack us because he would lose if he attempted it. So maybe I should have taken a little bit more damage. Okay, what we want to do here is build a military building as quickly as possible so that we can swap this settlement with Geld for something actually really valuable. Seek out the heretics. Alright, let's have a look at what else we need to do this turn. So, yeah, we are slowly making our way over to Grimgore's last settlement, but it does seem as though... It does seem as though the Chaos Dwarfs are going to get there first, and I'm totally fine with that. I have no issue with that whatsoever. The wild makes but yeah, the once Grimgore is gone, all of these armies here will be disbanded. The heroes will be re removed from the army first, obviously. And we'll start reforming our military a little bit more to, to make it a bit more suitable for what we're dealing with. Now that we've got essentially our full roster available. Now, I think, yeah, we've got life wizards over here. I think I've got a disciplined one. There's a, a light wizard. The trees this comes rank reach. 11. I think I've got a higher level one. Okay, Take we've got a level 14 life wizard here. For that one to reach Carl Franz will take quite a while. But every journey begins with the first step. So let's get on with that. It's got Arcane Conduit. Doesn't have his Imperial Pegasus, but as long as he's got Bartered Warhorse, that should be fine. Because, yeah, Dwellers Below, really good Lore of Magic. Oh, good spell, I mean. Shouldn't need Earthing. Actually, grab a nice Ward. So he's got a head wi Hedge Wizard already attached. I need him to also have... The Apprentice Wizard. This stuff isn't going to make any difference until he's actually attached. Wound time reduction would be good. Oof, well, we've got loads of Hedge Wizards. Let's help him get there a bit quicker. Yep, that'll be... Servant? Okay, that's good. Wait. Am oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, don't worry about that one. We've got student. Thug. Hmm, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Why not get Earthing? 50% miscast chance is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I just I don't overcast life magic spells. So what what's the point? If you're not, never going to overcast, what is the point? All right. So we've got forty grand here. Still not sure what other armies I want to build apart from just hero armies. We've got three more turns until this is done, and then I'll start recruiting warrior priests from here. But if I get a disciplined one showed up first, I'll obviously recruit it since they show up so rarely. I wonder if I should actually attempt to make a Amber Wizard Doomstack. I'm not that big of a fan of it anymore though in Warhammer 3. Our paths have crossed. What do you require? Hmm. By the comet. Oh, that reminds me. The warrior priest so? that is in Karl Franz's army is not disciplined. This guy should go over and swap out with the other one. Right. There is power within prayer. Yeah. He won't be as strong, but that's okay. We'll level him up. Uh, Kublai... Did a two euro super chat. What is the most difficult faction to deal with car friends? I don't know, man. Depends on your armies. There's no clear answer to that. 
and I would not say that the, that uh, Reichland is a as a um, hard counter to any faction in the game. They're a versatile versatile faction, and versatility means that you don't have hard counter because you're balanced. All right, that's all good. Let's check here. Time to build a meme stack with Steam Tank and Hellstorm. No, too expensive. Too expensive. Like I've got loads of money, but I'd much rather get. I don't want one army out of all of that, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to need armies that are reliable, that I can have going around in various different locations. M maybe Steam Tank later down the track, but not right now. Okay, so we were looking for rogue armies. I'll just lose track of that stuff. Rogue armies, where are you? Okay, good, nothing there. There's not too much left in terms of technology to get. I haven't done any of the artillery research. That's very unusual for me. Usually I would do it. So this is all done. The Imperial Colleges is done. So why don't we improve our infantry a little bit? That'll improve our garrisons just in case we get attacked. Commodity training. Actually, no. Let's get let's get that because I'd like to make a little bit more money. Oh my god, Legend. Don't you have enough? <laughs> what would you have? I'm listening. Could always use more. Let's... Well... Clangmores. How do you have income this high? I don't have that many armies. Okay. I'm not cheesing the economy or anything. You can't really cheese the economy with them. Okay, let's get the growth there. Finish it off with Drakenhof. Too bad there's no landmark there. Yeah, I'll probably just leave this front here alone for now. And if the next place I want to invade, you know, after the Chaos Invasion is sort of done, um, the Chaos Invasion, um, Endgame Crisis, I think the armies that I'm going to recruit from here, they'll sort out this area here. So I'll actually get quite a bit of territory out of it. And then we'll land here and maybe try to deal with Zinch. Zinch is not good against single entities, so using a single entity army would actually be very good. That way I wouldn't have to worry too much about being ambushed. And it's likely that most of Zinch's territory will have at least decent winds of magic, hard to say. Depends on how they shift it around. Moving on. Great to see stream again, congrats on daughter. All right, thanks dude, appreciate that. What era do you want for the next historical title? Doesn't bother me yes, what era at all. I'd like to see Medieval 3, though. Um, hi, Legend. How do you like Napoleon Total War compared to Empire and Medieval 2? Um, okay, if I was to use a number ratio, so I'd put Medieval 2 at, like, 10 out of 10. I'd put Empire at, like, 4 out of 10. And Napoleon at, like, 6 out of 10. For, like, how much I like them. Not not saying how good the games actually are, but, but how much I personally like them. So you literally can't disagree with me. Because that's my personal opinion. I'm not saying how good the games are. <laughs> Legend, it's at least a seven. No, I don't like it. Um, hi, Legend. How... Oh, I already read that out. Um, Cheekok, uh, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Would you like to see CA add Wormer 2 level supply lines option for campaigns, or would it just lead to doom stacking like Wormer 2? I f still find Wormer 3 less threatening than Wormer 2 AI. Yeah, I don't think that the supply lines is something that people really like about Warhammer 2, because it did encourage doom stacking. Like, I don't really build that many doom stacks now. I, I more build crap stacks. So no, I, I don't think that they should provide that option. If anything, I think they should come up with a solution to get rid of uh, supply lines entirely. Because obviously it's it's only there to stop the player from snowballing. But you know, there's some factions that don't use supply lines like Chaos Dwarves and Bretonia. And those factions, it feels better not having them. So... I don't know. I don't know what the solution is, but I don't think it's going back... Excuse me, back to 15%. I guess something that you could do, if you really wanted to encourage um, variety, is that you increase the upkeep cost of every unit, for, um, depending on how many units you have of that unit. So let's just say this. 
um, let's say every unit has a soft cap. So let's let's just say everything that's at least a, yeah okay everything's got a soft cap. Let's just say crossbowmen. You have a soft cap of five units. So you recruit five units at the normal upkeep cost, but then you recruit a sixth, and then your upkeep cost goes up. And then you recruit a seventh, and then the upkeep cost goes up for that unit. So for example, if you recruited 20 units of one type, you would have like 15 times of incremental increase in upkeep cost. But you could decrease, or so you could increase your soft cap for every barracks that you own. So, I mean, something like that. That would encourage people to not build one unit stacks a little bit. There is there's loads of different things that Creative Assembly could do to actually encourage people to use every unit in the game. And most of the time, they just don't do it. Um, how do you like the percentage from trade tariffs? I find it ends up making shitloads of money in the long run, that there's not many ways of increasing percentage taxes. Yeah, it depends on how many trade agreements you've got and how big the trade agreements, like how big the factions are you trading with. So right now, a percentage increase of like 10% for a trade tariff, that'll make me a couple of hundred extra gold. That's not too bad. But I, I don't like salivate at the mouth when I see that. It's not that big of a deal. Hey Legend, which do you think is better for adventuring beyond border? One fast moving army or two armies protecting each other? Whatever army you get better results out of, <laughs> you know? There is no right answer to that. Uh, excited to see you continue stream. Have to head off, but I love uh, rewatching these. Good luck on the end game crisis. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. In super chat. Uh, Tadas Riskas, Riska? Uh, did a five year super chat. Would you use mods to remove supply lines in future campaigns? No, I don't think I will. No. I, if I'm going to use a mod, I usually just use the overhaul mods, like SFO. Uh, do you think there's anything from Historical Total Wars you revisited you'd want to see in Warhammer 3? Maybe population from like Medieval 2. Medieval 2 and Rome 1 had the best population mechanic. I don't really care much for the population mechanic of Three Kingdoms. Oh, that reminds me. I've got the Ancestor Heroes. Got to use them. Is a draw considered a defeat? A draw is impossible in this campaign. It's not possible for there to be a draw. In order to get a draw, you have to put a timer, and there's unlimited timer. So every battle has to meet a conclusion. Do you recommend SFO? Yeah, I do recommend SFO. It's good. Hey, Legend, do you think SFO is a better game than vanilla? No, it's just different. Just different. Oh, wounded Felix. Best trait for Skaven? Probably still cunning or sneaky, depending if it's Lord or Hero. Welcome, brothers, from across the Grey Mountains. No. You can get a draw by defeating enemy reinforcements when attacking a settlement and then withdrawing. Uh, okay, if you say so. Well, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I don't need to 
to see what Rapunzel is up to. Undercity discovered at Varenka Hills. Okay. Felix got wounded. Okay, that's fine. Now when we look over here, how is Grimgore doing? Seems Our like rug. it's pretty much the end for him. Scout leader. I do not want to go down. Um, Step to it! They will be judged. Indeed. Vargas. These guys here have no allies. So why don't we... Gotrick and Felix are leaving next turn. I need to make sure that I've unequipped... Oh, I can't unequip Felix from anything he's got. I don't think he's got anything important, except for maybe Karagul. Which, I can't take that off him now. And even if I did, I, I wouldn't be able to put it anywhere. Uh, it goes with him. Uh, make sure that Gotrick doesn't have any equipment. Oh, yeah, he's got a... Yeah, 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 okay. Because, yeah, this is all going to go. Because, yeah, we could... We could take Tsar Nagrand. And hand it over to Balthazar Gelt. But that would require us to actually fight Gorth the Cruel. Which... Maybe heretics. we could get away with that. Maybe. All their armies are elsewhere at the moment. Godtrek, Huntsman General. I think this is a turn of... Of regular Godtrek, movement. Just accept some attrition. Let's just move. Alright. Especially if I if I take Zar Nagrand straight away. Hmm. Yeah, I might be able to justify that. I am Prince and Emperor. That'll likely run away from the fight. Against Sigma's teachings. Alright. Um How much... Well, the endgame crisis isn't triggered yet. So, Karak Asgal, also tier 5. How many settlements does Queek have left? Five. It would be really good to wipe him out completely. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And taking out tier 5 settlements, or taking out major settlements, which I think this is his last one, that's where he's recruiting all of his best units. So... I think that's a high priority to take that out. Forward by the silver hammer. Done some yes. scouting there. All right. In the name of if I'm standing here, I should be able to reach either Morgheim or Karak Asgal next turn. There's definitely a lot of incentive to take out the bloody hands. I just don't think there's enough time to do it. All right, I got to sell off Crooked Fang Fort. Trust our dealings will bear fruit. Okay, I should be able to get anything I want for this. What about Marienburg? Oh, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Give it to me. Give it. Hmm. He must have built a barracks or something there. Well, I did say I wanted Grenstadt. And that's another one that has a high price. So that will allow me to recover um, Averland if I want to switch Gelt out as a, uh, as a farm. However, in order to do this properly... Hang on, let me just see here. Yeah, no, I don't want you doing that. I've got to get Akendorf from them. In order to get Akendorf... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Let's have a look. Akendorf has got a military building, so it's going to be hard to buy that. Hmm. Okay, there's... That is an agreement. Yeah, I've got to figure out what am I going to do with these ancestor heroes. Putting putting this one here in Karl Franz's army definitely has a lot of value, giving me extra campaign movement range. But a lot of this other stuff over here is pretty useless. Be really good in a missile-based army. It doesn't matter if Karl Franz doesn't have ridiculous amounts of movement. Let's still just bring them over here, and I'll figure out what to do with them later. Because, yeah, most of his skills are just going to be completely lost on a mobile army. Same thing with that Thane. Ha! My faith burns bright. Jade Wizard. Okay, and I've got a hero over here, which so I want over at Kazid Irkulaz. Just keeping an eye on those ca uh, Chaos Dwarfs. Yep. Now, I believe this is the character here that we want to grab, because we can actually steal him. However, it's... we got to find some location where we can put him in and take attrition. Where he's actually not going to fight any serious battles. Thing is, I could bring him over here, but... Okay, how much does it cost for me to get him? 48. Okay, so that'll leave me with 68. And with 10 turns, okay, I'll actually get 48 again. So that I can, I can borrow it again straight away. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to bring him over here where there's loads of chaos corruption, and I could just keep an eye on things, and... Yeah. That way, if any army is coming down this way, I can pull it out. Huntsman stack with Ancestor Heroes? No, I don't think so. Summon the Elector Counts! I don't see the point of that at all. Alright, check in heroes here. What do we got? Noble... Again, I don't want what that. Do it's require? good sometimes. I don't want it right now. Yes, General. Looking for discipline. So they're just not showing up. Hmm. Okay. 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 Ever vigilant. What brings you here? Oh, this 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 life wizard is level sixteen. Too late. That one's already at, ahead, and Carl Franz will be fine. Okay. All right. Um. Yep. That's fine. Just not too much going on each turn. That's the problem here. He will get insane from chaos corruption. Who cares? That can that's easily fixed. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, Schwarzhafen. We got some stuff to build here, so we definitely do want to build that. And then, yeah, just more of those hero capacity. Good. Alright, switch this over to money. Alright, still gotta sell Crooked Fang Fort. I can't sell it to the dwarves, I don't think. Let me just check. These dark times, we should stand together. Hmm. I could probably make this trade with them if I build military stuff, like two military buildings at this settlement, and I could probably get Akendorf. Yeah, alright, I'm going to start working towards that, because I, I really want to get Akendorf out of their hands and into Gelt's. Because I want to be able to confederate Gelt at the next opportunity. Which, okay, we don't need the defenses here, get rid of that. That's a military building. Okay, get rid of this as well. Put two military buildings there, and we'll sell it for Akendorf. I'm keeping Karaza Karak. 
Because, yeah, I need to be able to connect all of these settlements to Grenstadt. If we're going to do this. Okay, well, I still got to sell this to Gelt. Let's do it. Friendship is more valuable than gold. Or so and we're still going to swap for something, but what is that something going to be? Because yeah, eventually we're going to need to get this one here off of Karak Kedrin as well. I can't sell them this region, but I could... Hang on, let me just have a look at Iron Rock. I've got to plan out the stuff a little bit. So Iron Rock... Iron Rock would be very easy to purchase. So if I purchased Black Crag, I could swap it for Iron Rock. Eh, why would I make that trade? Can't get Karag drawn easily. Got to figure this out. So how do I get Iron Rock? Let me have a look. Greetings, Without giving away something that Are you ready to I can't actually purchase it right enemy? now because I would need to occupy this settlement over here in order to make that trade. Okay, that's something to think about. All right, let's just sell this for a good settlement. So, oh yeah, Grenstad, that's what we're gonna do. We needed that one. Okay, do it. Done. I will. All right, that gives me all of Averland. It is time. Okay, get rid of this. And get yeah, yeah, get keep that. I guess that allow us to globally recruit. Be quicker. Cool, 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 cool. And that gives us pottery there. Alright. I don't think there's much else to do there. Uh, Fizgas96, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I wish you could trade several settlements at once. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. But it's it's pretty obvious that it, it could be pretty easily abused. <laughs> yeah, you could abuse something like that. Tools of judgment ready. So Grimgore should be dead next turn. And we could get the... We've only got a maximum of seven turns before we will definitely get the endgame crisis to at least notify us. Alright, let's have a look in Diplomacy. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. We checked for Rogue Armies. There's nothing. Last Defenders. So that one says... Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what is the penalty? Minus 15. I'm going to wait on that. Give the I just need to get more settlements. Then I can trade with more and get money out of them for it. Alright. Construction over here that needs to be done. Cool, that's easy. Cool, cool, cool. And these two guys here were Why heading down this it? way to keep an eye on Morgor. Although I know where Morgor is, he's over here, so maybe I should actually send you around this way. Okay, all good, and let's move on. Oh, Commandment. Averland? Yeah, Averland. Okay, cool. We've got to get this growing. Alright, moving on. Would Belagar confederate Ungram then trade for it? No, well, that doesn't solve the problem. It would have the exact same issue. Um, no, um, Belagar... Legendary Lords don't confederate each other, with a few exceptions in this. So, Belagar will not confederate Ungrim, and vice versa. They'll confederate Minor Dwarves... But they won't confederate legendary lords. This is why the high elves don't unite, or the dark elves don't unite in Warhammer 3. But greenskins do confederate because they go to war with each other and then they meet the condition to confederate. Norskins confederate each other. Does money actually matter at this point? Of course it does. 800 viewers on Twitch, nice. Welcome guys, welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Don't you want Ulrika on Carl? Um, she doesn't really do anything for Carl specifically. Like, 
She doesn't. What, what does she do for a Reichsguard? She's just a shadow wizard. I don't see any advantage to giving her to Carl. Immune to psychology. Are you more excited for the try the new Kislev Cathay edition? Zinch seems kind of mad. Zinch definitely seems mad. I'm actually not a fan of Zinch. I never, I never thought I'd say that. Um, I think the Cathay stuff is interesting, but I'm most interested in the Kislev stuff. Yeah. Don't you give campaign map movement? Yes, but that is not worth putting her in the army just for that reason alone. Put her in a different army for campaign movement range. Magical attacks for all calves? It's not important. Speed buff with the passive. Well, I could just get any Shadow Wizard to do that. Wouldn't it's a, it's a pretty minor benefit to have her in, in with Carl Franz. Oh damn. High elves are losing against against them. Oh well, it'll take ages for a conclusion to this war. Just due to the way that the AI just sacks settlements and pisses away their momentum in this game. So the war in Ulthwan will likely go on for a very long time. We could probably skip this. Greetings from C No, go away. Come on. How good is she compared to other Empire heroes? She's good. She's good, but there's got to be a purpose to attaching her into the army. She doesn't. She doesn't uh, serve a purpose in this particular army. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Not a problem. Do you think Marathi will be a problem? Comparatively, no, not really. The main problem is going to be Wurzag. Alright. Has Grimgore been wiped out? That's the big question here, because I didn't see what happened with the Chaos Dwarves. Is it worth 25 bucks for the Chaos Dwarves? If you're going to play them. It's a good faction. I can't say whether or not it's worth $25. I definitely don't think you should pay $25 because there is definitely sales that you can get, so you can get it at least $5 or $10 off. So I wouldn't pay $25 for it now. Is that whiskey? It's tea. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol in probably over a year now. What are the best heroes to steal? Any hero. <laughs> Anything that provides good bonuses for your army that you wouldn't normally be able to get. So, one of the best ones for Reichland would actually be the Warlock Engineer from Clan Scryer. Because campaign movement range, extra range, extra ammunition, missile strength, warp lightning. You can pin down on... This is good to see. That Thorak is smashing Zinch. Good stuff. But yeah, getting something like a Thane doesn't have much value. So you want something that you can't normally get. So if you're playing as the Dwarfs, any kind of Spellcaster, awesome. Imagine getting Spellcasters in your army as Dwarfs. So you just need to have a little bit of think about what would best complement your armies, and then that would be the best thing to steal. Grimgore has gone? Nice. Okay, then I only need to worry about Wurzag. I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to get rid of him in about 13 turns. He's just too widespread. Probably could have if I really dedicate some force to it. We'll see. Best Wolf campaign? I think Thorek Ironbrow's got the best. Currently. Right, I don't need to see what Bretonia gets up to. Alberic is still alive. 
So if Alberic is still alive, that means that there's a good chance that Marcus Wolfhard... Actually, we've been checking. Marcus Wolfhard is still alive. Last time I checked, anyway. I would love it if they could just kill Zinch without me having to do anything. Sudenberg is back in the hands of the Cult of Sigma. It seems like everybody is dogpiling on Zinch. So, that's good. I just... I hate fighting Zinch. Probably one of the my least favorite factions to fight due to how much the AI cheats and just the bullshit. Very nice. Alright, that's Gotrick and Felix gone. Off we go to fill Honestly, they weren't really that handy in this particular situation. Lands. Yeah. Can you hear that? I didn't actually get a single fight in on Grimgore. <laughs> All of this adventure was for not very much. Alright, I'm going to want... You, I think. Yes, a surefire plan. They will be judged. All right, so this is a little bit risky what we're doing Step here. To it. Not going to lie, this has a good chance of backfiring, but I think we're Sir. pretty well prepared for it. Advancing, covering ground. Huntsman General. So what makes Quiver of Akshi better? It's two projectiles. Okay, I guess we can get that. Extra ammunition will help. Sure and true. We need four points into this. Reload time reduction is not that important. Missile strength is okay. Okay. On the trail, protector of the weak. So next turn we declare war That's on these general. sentinel. Ones here. I think it's best if we use this guy here as the. Oh, it doesn't have much winds of magic. Nothing do. No, this one's got heaps. Oh, because Ulrika's in it. Does that really matter? Well, we're going to deal with 40 units. Mm. Well, I'll think about that. I guess I could switch their armies around. Mm. I could do that. To untamed lands. Huntsman General! Leave no one behind! Okay, there, that could work. Alright. Hey, Legend, I often heard it's not worth it bringing Huntsman Generals to the endgame. Do you think that's accurate? Yeah, pretty accurate. They don't they don't uh, level up as well as other Lord types. But then, don't get me wrong, they are not bad characters. They're, it's just that the other ones are better. In my opinion. So is my opinion. Show me the accused. Yeah, can we move over here? Onwards. Okay. So we've now. got that battle to do this turn. No, you failed, failed. The nation calls. Yes, for now. It's good, essentially, just extra experience with that. These need to be making their way down south. Let us forge our faith. These guys here need to go and meet up with this. I might even respect these guys when they get here. Alright, next turn we just start recruiting whatever's available. So, one more turn of, of uh, trying to trade farm, which has so far proven to be a complete waste of time. Yeah. But who knows, maybe next turn we'll get the disciplined one. I don't know. It definitely will make a difference if we can get a lot of them. One or two doesn't make much difference. Got the money, so it's fine. We want to make our armies as strong as possible and as immune to... We want them to be as immune to being ambushed as possible. And also to be as as like as much of a bouncer power pusher. And these are good units for that. Alright, you need to come over here. And you need to come down this way. So what we're going to do with these armies before I disband them is... I'm going to declare war on Zarna, on Servants of the Conclave. We'll smash Gorth the Cruel. If we have a look here, he definitely has another army. I just... I think it's down here. 
and then we'll take these two sons because the, the other two guys there they don't declare war on us because um, they're not allied so we take this sell it to Balthazar Gelt and since I'm not oh we could now start fighting against disciples of Hashut but if I'm going to do that we need better armies than this yes Yes. May need to start preparing for that. Armed and ready. Okay, so this guy over here, we need him to... What? Apparently he doesn't take attrition? Is that because of my elect account positions? Let me have a look at this. What? That's snow attrition. Minus 20% from chaos undivided attrition. We will. Can I help you? Just looking for where I can put him that he'll actually take attrition. I don't think he can't get there. Maybe I have to get in closer before it'll actually say I'm taking attrition. I don't know. I don't know. Legend, did you ever get the big prestige option? No, I didn't. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Nick Bar uh, Baranko, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, we need to strike at Karak Asgal. I am Franz. They will obey. I might be able to order resolve this. Mm, but it's a field battle, and we haven't had a field battle with this in a while. Yeah, let's fight it manually. Let's have, let's have an actual proper manual fight. A vortex in the ocean. Yeah, the problem is just getting there, though. You disbanded disciplined? What? No, I didn't. I disbanded dis determined. Citation needed. Did I disband disciplined or determined? I'm pretty sure I... I just banned it determined. What major faction should Draco delete first? Vampires. Alright. So we still need to soften them up a little bit. Determined? Yeah, I thought so. Thanks, guys. Ready for war. The Empire endures. All right, I need him to go fight that hill pit abomination. For the Empire. Quick march. Celestial might. Move up. Actually, the brood horrors will be even easier for him. Do that first. Because they're quick. So they're actually more of a threat. Take position. My rule is absolute. Yep, that's it. Good, yeah, they're not going to break through his melee defense too easily. Good stuff. Stand 
Formation! March! No lingering! Yeah, I'd much rather kill it, otherwise we gotta fight it again. Much rather killed it, but that's fine. We are Sigma's heirs. Now they're advancing on us. This is what we want. Wait for isolated units and then you um, charge down on them. Gotta give that Brute Horror some credit there. I sense convergence. We're Sigma's heirs. Ulrich's wrath on them. Oh, do you know what would also be good? Wurzag's defeat trait for Carl Franz. That'd be really handy. Kill that. Alright, that's a lot of rats. Oh, you know what? We should really get over there with this. That's a nice big blob. Make sure you kill it, because these guys aren't on Force March or anything. Make sure this one here dies. Okay, just hang on. We don't want to engage with them just yet. This is Storm Vermin. Yeah, I was going to use that, but it's not good against armored units. My subjects call by Ulrich's wrath. If I do any bombardments, they'll just dodge it. Enough of these bells. Annoying. Okay, watch out for the helpit abomination. It's not targeting us just yet, but still. Good, that is ripping through them a bit. Actually, missed them a little bit. Okay, get rid of those teeth breakers. Still need to get rid of these as well. Go for the big blob of them over here. The heavens unleashed. Take the ground. Take position. Call France. Caesar. For a heal. Moving out. I was definitely hoping I would have thinned them out a little bit more, especially take out specific units. Okay, though. Draw them in. And get ready to surround them. The Alright, I gotta get rid of that damn artillery that's pissing me off. No lingering. The skies are royal. Go. No lingering. To battle. War. No lingering. Moving now. No. Take position. Prepare for combat! Power of the skies! 
I don't want to be fighting the single entities. That would not be good. So we're gonna get hit by some what lightning you know, a little bit. We got a little bit hit by it. Now someone died. Oh well. Good. Get rid of that. Okay, so isolated unit. Perfect opportunity. Good, and that way we instantly kill it, essentially. And it does next to no damage. Good stuff. Okay, Doom Wheel, that's something that Carl Franz should deal with. That's not coming back. So yeah, Carl Franz, go deal with that Doom Wheel. See to it. Don't have much winds of magic left. Woman. Okay. 600 kills with this, that's pretty good. See how their armies split up all over the place? It's exactly what we want. We just look for the weak spots and hit them hard. Yeah, make sure you get rid of this, otherwise we've got to deal with it again next turn. Next battle. Uh, Tykin83, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Come on, we're gonna destroy it. Good job, Carl Friends. Really good job. Good. Yeah, that's a that's a annihilated unit. Even if they were to win, well, that doesn't really matter. Um, that unit's annihilated. It's not coming back. I'm not going back to fight next turn, excuse me. Formation! March! No lingering! Alright, still need to take him out. But there's also the teeth breakers, they're dangerous. My rule is absolute! The poison wind waters are not dangerous to Carl Franz, but they are dangerous to my cavalry. If I can kill the Lord, it'll also make it easier to rout all of these storm vermin. Well, all of their units, not just the storm vermin. Celestial wizard. Okay, isolated units like this we can take out, no problem. Focusing on that, that dude there. Ready for war. Good. All right. Now it's going to be way easier to to route them. 
prepare the charge. Right, still gonna take out that Hell Pit Abomination. Where did that go? That's not it, but. It's over there. Take the ground! Reichsguard Knights! Charge! No, no. Oh, okay, I thought that was. The Empire endures. Okay, it's fine. It hurts a bit, but it's fine. Uh, Popcorn became a member for 21 months. Finally caught you live. Loving this campaign and wanted to say congrats for the pregnancy. All right, dude. Thank you for that membership. Appreciate it, dude. Good amount of them routing there. There's a few clan rats, that's nothing to be too concerned about. Okay, don't fight the Hell Pit Abomination, that's what Carl Franz is supposed to do, but he's tied down with his other guys. Okay, this one's taking a bit too much damage. Let's pull it out, but I think we're... Yeah, we just caused the army losses. Good. And obviously try to run down as much as we can. Good, I'm pretty happy with how, it, with how that went. Does this campaign have more viewers than the Tyrion No Defeat one? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, at this stage at least. We'll see how we go. I mean, that went for, what, 11 episodes? This is episode 5. So, we'll see. Um, it crass... Oh, what the word? It crass satatory. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Thank you very much. Um... There is mentioning of a flying siege weapon built by Scryer, purpose built to take one specific city, but I think I don't think there ever was a unit with stats and all. Okay, that would be end game. Cry uh, sorry, um, end times, wouldn't it? Doesn't look like we're going to kill this one's too close to the edge. Might hit it one more time, and I missed that one. Ready at speed. No. Um, hang on a sec. Oh my god, what's with these names? I can't fucking read them. Um, oh my god. Aparashive Sebastian. Is that what it says? Sebastian, did 25 RON Super Chat. Hell Legend, I'm watching you for. I'm sorry, I'm watching your content for the last months. I began playing the game. I love them despite CA problems. Love you and congrats, Daddy. Alright, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. <laughs> I had no hope of pronouncing that. If there's another race pack in the future, do you think... what? Who do you think it is most likely? Okay. Most likely... Um, I'd say probably Dogs of War. And that would probably include Marienburg, Border Princes, Estalia, and Tilia. Probably. I'd say that's most likely. Next most likely I would say would be... Um, Araby. Ready for war! Then maybe Ind or Kuresh. Those are the four most likely. 
I know some people want Nippon, but I would say that that's the fifth, like, most likely. I don't think we're going to get five more race packs, though. How long until Gelt confederates Reichland? No, you can't do that. What's that area south of Cathay? It's called Kuresh. Uh, Tuomas, oh, oh, one subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. So yeah, definitely worth running down these storm vermin now, so I don't have to fight them in the next battle. All right, that should be enough. Hey, Legend of War. Been a long time. YouTube viewers, since your early days of Rome Total War, would you be interested in a Dark Ages Total War? The time period after the sundering of the Roman Empire, but fully fleshed out. Total War Attila was not particularly good, but I think there... I think there is a lot of scope in the Dark Ages if CA did it well. Yeah, I I'm, don't really care about the time period. Uh, I just want it to be a good game. That's all. Uh, Requiemen. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. And, hang on. Adrian Naghel did a 50 RON super chat saying, great stream as always. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Do you think that Neferata is going to make it to Warhammer 3? And if so, do you think she'll be Vampire Accounts or Tomb King Edition? Thanks, super chat. Oh, wait, well, you didn't super chat. <laughs> She's a vampire. She's not a Tomb King. She's Nehekaran, but so is Vlad. Vlad is Nehekaran as well. And I think Manfred is from Nehekara as well. And so is Luther Harkon. So, just being from Nehekara doesn't make you a Tomb King. So, Arkan the Black, for example, he's a Tomb King because he's got that curse, right? He's a, he's like a, a skeleton. Um, he's not a vampire. So, Neferata is a vampire. She's got vampire units. She's got a Lamian bloodline for vampires. There is no way in hell that she is going to be a Tomb King. Vlad is. Vlad is in the Hekaran. Yeah. Most of the original bloodlines owners, uh, like the bloodline originators, are Nehekarans. So. Let's see. Uh, the, the original ones are Neferata, bloodline of Lamia. Vlad, bloodline of Von Karstein. Ushoran, bloodline of Strigoi. Wusoran is not Nehekaran, I don't think. He was an acolyte of Nagash. So that's the, um, Wusoran is the, it's not, <sighs> can't remember what it's called, but it's in the, it's in the game, the bloodline. I just can't remember what it's called. Then there's, um, Abarash is the blood dragon bloodline. And I'm pretty sure Abarash is Nehekaran. Bring me to my men. So actually, Wusoran might actually be near current. I just, I just can't remember all this stuff. Ulrich's will. So you no longer think Nagash Neferata is coming? No, I definitely think they're coming. Creative Assembly would be silly not to include them. Necrock, that's what I meant. Yes, Necrock. Thanks, dude. The Necrock bloodline. Yeah. Alright, Karak Asgal. Ooh. Okay, I might actually be able to purchase Marienberg from that. Let me have a look. I trust our dealings will bear fruit. So this settlement is called Karak Asgal. Not currently. What? Yeah, the more military buildings you build, the more it's worth in a diplomacy, so we'll just see how that goes. Is it time? Alright, Clan Moors is practically defeated now, I think. If we have a look at his strength ranking. This won't work. Yeah, he's more practically heads, defeated. He was strength ranking pretty much one at it. one point. Jaws. 
What about Noctilus? Noctilus is a Von Karstein. He's not a bloodline. Um, he's not like the head of a bloodline. He is... Um, what is his actual name? Noctilus is Nick Nicholas. Nicholas Von Karstein. I'm pretty sure. Jade Wizard. Luther Harkon is a vampire, and I can't remember what his bloodline is. I think he... I, I don't know. I just can't remember. I can't remember his bloodline. What does the Emperor bid? I refuse such orders. Alright, any other construction needs to be done? Averland... We wanted to get... Just get money, yeah. For now, because I'm not going to bring back Averland just yet. He's a blood dragon? Okay, thanks. Luther Ar Harkon is apparently a blood dragon. Alright, so what we're doing here, we're going to build a lot of military buildings. So that it increases its value in diplomacy and try to swap it for Akendorf. Before they built, oh, they've already built a military building, but I'll have two here. Th three, technically. But I think the red ones are worth more. Let me just see, if I look at the Pills of Grogni at the moment, the it's currently worth 32, so that doesn't seem to be very high. Maybe I'll get rid of this one as well. And build... Build one of the red ones. Because we want to get this as high as possible or else they're not going to trade it. I trust no man. Alright, I reckon my next stop will be Death Gorge. Well, Floating Village and then Death Gorge. Or maybe even Morgheim. Yeah, I'll go figure that out. Alright, I don't see anything else that needs to be done, apart from maybe just moving some heroes around. Show me the accused. Seems fine. So yeah, next turn we get started on our Doom Stack. Which, I don't have any warrior priests here for that. It's, it's going to take a few turns, but that's okay. There's no rush in it. And we've got capacity for how many warrior priests? Good, I can get a full stack of them. So we'll attach this one here into it. Finding paths. Is the Winds of Magic here good? Ah, oh, damn it. What about here? Okay, well, I can, I can recruit them there, but just bring the character over here. Who calls? Doesn't have to be in the region. Uh, yep, you need that. Your Winds of Magic is pretty much sorted. Good. Ready to do the kills I might get a Steam Tank Doom Stack, we'll see. Don't underestimate the Green Skins. Oh no, I'm not underestimating them. That's why I tried to wipe them out before they became the endgame crisis. I just didn't get them all done. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. I'm pretty sure I did everything that I need to. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rogue Armies. Always gotta check for Rogue Armies. Just in case. Yep, it's all good. Tools of judgment ready. They will be judged. Did Legend prevent the in-game crisis? No. Not yet. I don't think I will be able to. There's not enough time. The endgame crisis is likely to trigger today. Hello, my name is Disciplined. Yeah.
What's the best Doomstack for the Empire? They don't have many good Doomstacks, but Warrior Priest Doomstack is pretty good. Um, Beast Wizard Doomstack is alright. Steam Tank Doomstack is okay. Empire Captain is okay. That's about it. I missed the Super Chat, did I? Sorry. Um, Oxy said a CHF2 Super Chat. Could Games Workshop be responsible for costs are up? No. No. That was entirely Creative Assembly. Like, this is what, this is what Games Workshop will be responsible for. No hag mothers, okay? So, whenever something isn't coming into the game, or is coming into the game, the way something might look, like, for example, Beaks, that's Games Workshop, right? But as for overall business decisions that Creative Assembly makes, that's not Games Workshop. In fact, that's probably not even Sega. Yeah. You've got to understand that Games Workshop is not uh, does not own Creative Assembly. They have a partnership. Creative Assembly is borrowing their IP to make a Total War game. So they're combining two IPs together. Cre Creative Assembly cannot dictate to Games Workshop on their, on their like business decisions and vice versa. So, costs are up is just Creative Assembly's fault. <laughs> Why Beast Wizard? What makes it good as a Doomstack? Because they the only Empire Wizard that can ride a Griffin. So you basically, it's a Griffin Doomstack. It's very expensive. I don't really recommend it because even though they're on a Griffin, they're not really that strong. No, I'm trying to build up my, um... I could do it. Maybe I should do it. I'll do it next time. When will they make a Sonic Total War game? I don't think that they will. I don't think you're being serious about that. Because, let's be real, the next Total War game is Total War Harry Potter. Total War Hogwarts. I find the Beast Wizard Doomstack way worse than in Warhammer 2. Yeah, because in Warhammer 2, you could get so much huge reserves of wins. Oh, I guess you could do that now with Warhammer 3. You could do it now. Total War, World of Warcraft. The only thing with that is that if... If Blizzard wanted to make that, they would just make it. They wouldn't need Creative Assembly. It obviously wouldn't be called Total War World of Warcraft. Total War Warcraft. And they'd be like, Warcraft... The... I don't know, shit. I don't know what they'd call it. Warcraft 4. <laughs> When do we get a modern Total War setting? I think, well, it depends what you consider modern, but I believe the next Total War game, the next historical one, which is either coming at the end of this year or beginning of next year. Personally, I think it's going to be early next year, maybe mid next year. Um, it should be 19th century. 19th century warfare, post-Napoleon. That's what I've heard. Take it with a pinch of salt. I haven't heard anything else since I heard it. I've heard it for a couple, from a couple of different sources. So that leads me to believe it's at least reliable. Usually I don't mention this stuff unless I've heard it from multiple sources. But that doesn't mean it's correct. There's a continued rumor leak of 40k. No, that one's that one's 100%. 40k is coming. That's still like the worst kept secret ever. 40k is coming. It's actually kind of good that Morgan is going. Up. Actually, I think he did. No, he blew it up. He didn't make another Herdstone because we'd see it. Could you prevent Dwarf Endgame Crisis? No. No, you can't prevent that. Oh, I, okay, here's what you do to prevent Dwarf Endgame Crisis. You try to get every Dwarf faction confederated. So, um, yeah, they have to be actually confederated. It can't be recruit 
defeated legendary lord mod. If you could somehow get them all confederated into one faction, then the confederated factions won't come back. Is Pharaoh any good? I don't know. Make up your own mind about it. Why don't you go and have a look at the Steam reviews? I haven't played it. Chances that CA learned how to not make new tiles. I really hope 40k won't be butchered. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let's be real, when 40k Total War first comes out, it's probably going to be a little bit on the mundane side. It's probably going to be like three or four factions. You know, basically be what Total War Warhammer 1 was. And it, it'd, it'd be another trilogy. I can't wait for Total War Warhammer 40k 3 and for them to botch that launch again. Yeah, so we did the Realms of Chaos again, except in 40k. Why don't people like it? Now. Oh no! <laughs> okay, 10 turns. Well, smack bang in the middle of when it could have shown up. Okay, end game crisis in us, upon us. So... Turn 115 will be... There's no way that I can take out Morgan, um, as a... What's his name? Wurzag in that amount of time. There's no... Oh, hang on. He doesn't have that much territory. Five regions. Ooh. Well, I can take Morgheim. Uh, I can't split my forces, in though. The name of Magnus. Yeah! Summon the Elector Counts. Now. So, over here, let's just see how much Pills of Grodny is worth. What brings you now, here? It's worth more than it was before. So, if we want to trade it for Akendorf, we still need a lot more. So, just make them all red buildings. Yeah, and they should, they should buy that. Seek out the heretics. What? On march! The Empire. Uh, what are the chances that I could borrow an army that could go and take Death Gorge? Because if I go down south and I'm not... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. If I take all of this territory here from Wurzag, then he'll show up over here, which gives him the longest distance to our territory. That's really the Seek best case scenario, I think. So, probably ought to resolve this. Our army's in good shape. Fight for our nation. Yep. I wasn't expecting that to put a much of a fight. One thousand one hundred viewers on Twitch. Nice. Welcome, guys. That is a new record for me for sure. Remember when Legend went back to Warhammer 2? Good old days. Still can't believe how bad Realms of Chaos was. Yeah, I did not expect that to happen. Holy crap, I even uninstalled the um, Warhammer is the 2 shield <laughs> before Warhammer 3 came out. That was weird. Okay, so this is worth 120. I don't think I'll be able to get Marienburg for that. No. What could I get? I could probably get on. I could get Wrecker's Point. What else is there out here that I could get from him? We don't want anything from out here. Have I forgot to move him every turn? I'm not sure. No, I never gave him Dark Hold. Okay. Um. What about Karak Eight Peaks? Let me have a look at this. If I the purpose of Karak Eight Peaks would be to maybe sell it to Karak Kadrin. I can't get it because I actually don't border Karak Eight Peaks. Could get Black Crag, I'm sure. Yeah, 
Black Crag is pretty safe now. I think I'll just go for one of the ultra safe ones over this way. So let's get Wrecker's Point. That way it consolidates that province and I get a whole bunch of money. Cool. I will. Oh yeah, that's right. I was saving this for a, a big swap with Marienburg. Swap it for Marienburg. I trust our dealings will bear fruit, friend. Ten grand to get Marienburg. I think that's a decent deal. I don't need this settlement. This is a, a pretty good trade, I think. Let me just check, though. What is the growth rate? Okay. All right, we're going to get Marienburg itself. And this, will, this is an electric composition. I didn't even think to swap that one. So, Mar it's called the Black Pit for Marienburg. I forgot about that. 10 grand. Well, that'll take about 10 turns to make its money back. Oh, I just realized as well, if I had done that first, I could have gotten all of that money back straight away. I can probably still get that money back straight, because otherwise he's going to spend it. Uh, if I sell him a region... What if I just sold him back Wrecker's Point? The Empire's unity is the surest shield against our enemies. For Arnau? Okay, what about the other one? Gorsal. No, he doesn't want that one. Okay, and I'll get some of the money back. Cool. Right. <laughs> swapping things around. Cool. Ally loses outpost. That's fine. I'll build another one. Okay, so let's get rid of this and this. And I'll keep that. So upgrade that. And we'll keep that. Because this is on our border now. You never know when... Someone's coming down this way. But there we go. We've got Marienburg, which also means the elect account position can go to... Income from ports or provinces, so that's a global effect. It doesn't matter who it goes to then. Okay. That actually did not increase our income by very much. Probably because I actually don't have that many ports. Oh, no, no. It did. It made a big difference. Just needed time to go up. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay, Morgheim. We can probably do a similar trade. I just got to build the barracks first. Yeah, whatever. And then we come up over here and try to swap one of these settlements with Clan Carrick Angrund for Akendorf. Yeah. Probably would have to be Ekrund. I don't think they're gonna... Oh no, I was gonna do that over here, wasn't I? We just haven't done it yet, because we're trying to build the actual value of that up. We could make that worth more than a major settlement. All right, and then... Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Tools of judgment ready. There's the other army. Oh, God. God damn you. That is not a joke. Dumfoulmancy. Huntsman General. What's the quarry? Alright, if we want to do this, it's important for this army here to launch the attack, I think. What level is this character? Level 10. Okay, no lightning strike for him. So the other characters can be sitting around here, out here just fine. Don't bother calling them. Yeah, they're not going to come and help. Uh, yeah, it only gives them an opportunity to, um, to cancel it. Uh, Dan does subscribe with Prime, Drewzilla0, subscribe at tier 1 for 6 months in advance. That's super generous of you, dude, thank you. And Justal Geek, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. 
Alright, we need Forward to man. launch the attack yes. with this one, but yeah, I need to make some swapperoonies. I will do anything for Sigma. Cast evil Is Grimgore out. dead? Yes, Grimgore got killed. So he's not coming back, I think. But I don't think it's possible for me to get rid of Wurzag within general. 10 turns. It's just too much. Huntsman so you general. come in, you're just like you're extra there. bounce power. Is it time? Swoop, 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 swoop. And yeah, we're probably not going to be using the guns that much. Swap, 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 swap. Okay, that looks good. Death to the faithless. For the Emperor. So do what we can here to buff ourselves up. Actually, you might need Sigmar's ward, might be a little bit better. Okay, you could use Leg Biter. Huntsman General! Alright, here we go. Sigma I'll definitely have to us. fight this manually, or else it's likely to leave me in really bad shape for the next fight. Things are churning. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got an idea. Okay, I need to put all of my Empire Captains off their Pegasus. I might be able to do this with zero casualties. These ones here, it's fine to be on the Pegasus. I don't actually want that on the Griffin. Just makes it easier to target. Could be really good. Not gonna fuse Grey Crap to get something better? Not for this battle. No, no, I know. No, I've got a plan. Okay, we're gonna not control Large Army because there is a lot of stuff here that's really slow. You get where I'm coming at? You get what I'm what I'm thinking? <laughs> I'm gonna cheese it. Because not only will that be quick, but I'll take no damage. Items for you guys? Nah, it, it'll take too long. It, we, we don't need it. No problem, glad you're on Twitch. Alright, thanks dude. Um, does the Order 66 strat still work where you can reinforce at their cap point? I don't think so. I, I, I can put my... Reinforcements there and have a look. You have 43k income. Why not just have more armies to deal with the green skin? Seems super inefficient to me. Um, I think that it's important that we actually let the end game crisis trigger, or else people will feel like it's not as challenging like we need i need to allow the the end game to happen the fact that it's only going to be one is not so bad we'll just deal with it now you're not wrong except if i here's the problem with uh empire armies if you just build any old willy-nilly army you're asking to suffer a defeat like it's not that big of a deal to suffer a defeat normally but in a campaign where we're not allowed to suffer any defeats whatsoever that's actually really bad Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, what we need to do here is just create a breach here, I think. Ready to serve. By Sigma. Alright, we'll check our reinforcement positions, even though they're not going to be coming in. I'm pretty sure you can't pop it in from the back anymore. Yeah, yeah, they fixed that. Yep, I'll just let them shoot. I have my orders. 
Now, here's the thing. We don't actually want to wipe out any units because it's going to bring in reinforcements. But we definitely want to destroy this section, which will actually cause them to fall down and die, won't it? Oh, well, a couple of units coming in is not that big of a deal. Yeah, they fell down and died. Okay, here we go. That's all I needed them to do. Away we go. Okay. Let's go. Without delay. Ready for orders. Agree. So the wizards are just to pop down the heels. But here we go. Double time. Just let them fire at whatever. Actually, this is, there's a chance this will fail, and if that's the case, I might need these guys to pick up the slack. This guy must be fleet-footed. May have to kill off those Advance fire glaives. In the Emperor's name. Follow my lead. Taking position. To the foe. Go. Moving out. Seeking advantage. Taking position. Don't want to fight that one if we can avoid it. And this will give us a bit of an idea of how strong the warrior priest doomsday could potentially be. Awaiting your command. Send them on a wild goose chase. Okay, they're now both control group three, because these ones here lag behind. Got to get rid of all the fast units first, because I can't get out of that fight. Okay, you need to get over there and heal them. They must have wiped the unit out. They might actually be able to take on the entire garrison just as it is. They're doing really well. Over here, we'll pop down a pit of shades, get rid of some of these crap infantry. I actually maybe shouldn't have controlled large, well not controlled large army, I should have controlled large army so they had more units here to begin with so they could kill them. Actually, it looks like it's going pretty well. Scrunch Crime said a five pound super jet. No defeat, Campagnings, Hero, Doomstacks, and Big Garrisons. Not nervous at all. Not one bit. All right, thanks, dude. Follow Appreciate that support. Me. Nice, nice English. <laughs> Sage Wizard. Ready to serve. Taking position. Awaiting orders. Yeah, there's too many fast units in this army. I'm having a real hard time 
capping all the points. You need them all to be slow. Because, yeah, this guy here is pretty quick. Too many barricades. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't be fighting that. Just go around it. Go to the foe. Follow my lead. Servant of Sigma. War. Ready for war. Ready to smite. For Helden Hammer. Don't want them fighting these two. On their own, they're not strong enough. Even Ulrika. Yeah, I think I don't think we're gonna be capping the town square. I think we're just gonna win with the heroes. I, I should have just kept these two with them. All right, I gotta get back all the way back down here and just try to get to them. Plenty of wind reserves remaining. The Empire endures. Awaiting your command. I'm pretty sure Grand Shield of Faith. Yeah, it does. It stacks. Pray for glory. It stacks. So they've got 40% ward save. Grand Hammer of Sigma also stacks. Well, if this is an indication of how powerful a Warrior Priest Doomstack is going to be, I think we're, we're going to be okay if, if we make enough of these. Should be okay. Ready for orders. At once. Like, that was pretty heavy-duty army. Battle, and they handled that really Go well. Oh wow, we got a lot of subscribers. Um, oh, sorry, like Bantheus, subscribe with Prime, Buddha DRNS, subscribe with Prime, and G uh, Genesis Sopas, subscribe with Prime. <laughs> Thanks guys, appreciate it. Um, Abdallah Alzal Al 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 Alzamil, subscribe tier one. Thanks, dude. This man. Never gonna pronounce all these correctly. Let the priest cap. Well, we got pinned down at the very beginning because they had a lot of fast monsters that just I couldn't get past them. So that's why we were stuck there fighting for so long. Faith and then the that took out half of their army. So the, what's left? This is nothing to be concerned about now. We're Sigmar's heirs. Feel thy snow. Right, take the damaged ones over here. Wolf's Paul chucking in 10 euro super chat. Subscribe with Prime. No, you didn't, but thanks for the super chat. So when they face off against something like a a bull centaur, you can see they definitely do take damage. They are anti-large though, these creatures. There's two of them. Although that one looks like it's a garrison one. So you would need to have a bit of equipment like a um, Warrior's Bane, Glittering Scales, Tormentor Sword, all these kind of stuff. Uh, Helm of Discord, that would all really help for these. Nice 
Thing is, though, you're very unlikely to ever, like, go into a, an army that's full single entities, except for, like, a right in front of the glory army, which I don't think the Zemin are going to be something we need to worry about too much. And even so, usually there's only a couple of carnosaurs that you got to worry about there. Also, they're getting a stat boost because of this location. Ready to serve. Advance. Quick march. Sons of Sigma, attack. <laughs> Awaiting orders. In the name of Sigma. Ready for orders. Immediately. And this many heroes is really good for capping points because they do it just about instantly. At once. Yeah, that's another thing. You can't just come in from the back now and just capture that. You have to capture this one as well. So even if you could come in from the back, it wouldn't work. It is an honor. By Ulrich's wrath. I don't know if I'm going to need this um, Ember Wizard anymore. Hero stack versus Dragon Ogre Shagger stack, who wins? Uh, Dragon Ogre Shaggers would win. They're, they're super strong. Our guys are not anti-large. The main purpose of them is to pin the enemy down so you can use, like, spells. So that obviously wouldn't work. And, yeah, I can get that fast enough. Didn't even use a single flock of doom. Why would I? No, I've got better spells. I flock of doom's good, but these are better. All oh, right, I think. This is wrong. And yeah, we're just about out of winds of magic here. Good thing I used this army, not the other ones that were pretty much out of it. Definitely not invincible. But, you know, two full stacks. I only used one of my armies. So it's definitely not the full power that it could be. And they have next to no equipment on them as well. Points locked again? I know, but I'm stuck in combat. I can't be running back. This guy here is having trouble. Let's get him out of there. He's only level 14. Just keep him close by so we can provide support, but yeah, he's spent.
Should have saved up for more of the um, drills belows. I can deal with all this infantry now. I don't think the army losses is too far off because we did wreck the first army completely. All the heroes are gone. Uh, Matthew Jackson did a five dollar super chat. Man, I missed two hours, but anyway, keep up the good work, man. All right, dude, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. What if they all had decent equipment? Well, then it would obviously make them even better. Ready? Get them! By Ulrich's trust. What if they're all disciplined and they kill a lot quicker as well? And again, we've still got this. This is why the Warrior Priest is so good. Unlimited effective winds of magic with this. Will Volkmar have his own warrior priest? If I ever confederate him. Oh yeah, this one here. Ooh, damage resistant. I should be using this. Keep thinking that that's a leadership buff. It's been such a long time since I've actually used this. Because it only applies on themselves. Oh, get this one over here. He's got the uh, Reichland rune fang. The Empire endures. Ulrika, manifest pain. Darkness empower me. Forced by Ulrich's wrath. Charge. Sigma. Eager for battle. So with all of that, yeah, they can get over 60% world safe, well, temporarily, like that. Very durable. That's good. Okay, we army lost them. The problem here is just the unbreakable units, which I think they're in melee with us right now. Well, I wasn't able to cap the town square. I should have... It was actually detrimental that I denied enemy reinforcements here because it would have been better for them to be a bigger blob on us so that my magic could have done better. So I actually gave them... Not the advantage, but I took away an advantage for me. Because I was totally going to just come in and cap these points, but they were too quick. I couldn't stop them. Come on, get rid of it. Matthew Jackson did a two dollar super chat. What is an in-game crisis? An end-game crisis, not in-game crisis. So, 
when you reach a certain threshold of turns or by victory conditions, one or more factions in the game or one or more races will basically become super powerful just instantly and basically zerg at you. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was that was a good learning experience. I definitely could have done that better. But no casualties. Yeah, building armies like this, you know, a few variations, I think it would be quite good. Currently number one in Total War Twitch category. Thanks, dude. Yeah. And on YouTube as well, <laughs> I think. Now just loot and occupy. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. What's we'll use worry? this We're army here. Hunt. 13 units. Mm, maybe not. Who's this? The Tanda Black? No. Mission accomplished. Equipment check. By the silver hammer, yes. So I'll be selling this to Balthazar Gelt. I don't know if I can sell it to him right now. No, I need to capture the connecting region. So we have to capture Vale of Woe next turn, which is a field battle with 15 units. I'm gonna need three armies. Well, actually, no, this one here handled it, handled it really well, didn't they? A successful foray. Huntsman General. Thing is, if we don't get over there, they'll basically rebuild to full. Superb huntsmanship, man. The Worry about that afterwards. Doors. Just We're one there thing at a time. To untame lands. Cool. Don't worry about the bling They're not going to attack us in the intent. Okay, so over oh, here, we are still trying to make our way over here, but it does look like we're not even going to take any attrition, but... Getting out of here. I don't understand why. These guys are not immune to chaos attrition, so... I'm not sure what's going on there. They will be judged. Keep an eye on Astrogoth. Carl Franz has moved. Cool. Also, we should try to make sure as many barracks has been built here, so that... Oh, but it's red territory, so it's not going to get built. Yeah, just hold on to it like that. Don't worry about building anything, because I'm going to sell it all next turn, so starting a construction now is pointless. Bring me to my men. Okay. Is it time? Oh yeah, there as well. Two turns, so don't even bother with that. It's all red. I trust no man. Okay. So we should get a text up for um, end game crisis because I'm sure people are going to be asking. There we go. Put that up here. So I think we just got commodity training. That's good. Trading. Uh, recruit rank for infantry units. Linkers. Ah, let's get that, some of this stuff going. We're almost finished our tech tree. All right, construction time. It's my favorite time. And I don't have much to construct. Trust no man. Alright, checking for what's available. Oh, that's right. We can now start recruiting the other warrior priest doomstack over here. Oh, 
Oh wow, we don't have anyone available. That's not. Well, we've just got one. So here's what we want to do. We want to start having somebody in here. Now, I usually like to get an arch elector to do it because his stuff stacks with theirs. But we could get Toddy. Because he's not a siege. He will be a siege attacker because he's got the... Um, the thing. Um, he's a griffin. We'll do it with Toddy. Fucking Toddy. Alright. So. 450 upkeep. Midland Rune Fang. Let's give him some nice armor. Let's see what we got available for him. Yeah, keep him with Midland Rune Fang. Hang on, armor. I don't have any really nice armor for him. Guess we'll give him that. Do I have a Talisman of Preservation for him? Fucking toddy. I do have one for him. Nice. Enchanted item. Don't worry about healing. Others Trickster Shard could be good. Yeah, pop that down on them. I don't think that's going to matter here. That could be a good one as well. Actually, I think that's better. I think that's better. That's a really good item. Okay, then attach this Great one magic. in there. Start generating Winds of Magic. While we get these guys in from over here. So it'll be rank 14. At rank 14... Oh, they don't get... Oh my god, I need one more rank for that. And yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a few so. turns to get this going, but that's okay. Give Todd a Steam Tank Doom Stack? Why? He doesn't do anything for that. By the comet. That makes no sense. I'll give it to Balthazar Gelt if I ever get him. Alright, we're definitely going to want to... Reduce upkeep cost on these units. I'm definitely going to want Lightning Strike, and we're going to want Headhunter, yep. We don't need to go down the red line for anything specific. Hold the line is good. Also, we might as well have a look for Empire Captains, but not really a huge priority. Okay. Campaign movement follower. Yes, he should get that. Let's let's worry about. He's already got one. We'll worry about that later. It's going to be a while before he leaves this area. It's going to, it, this is going to take a long time to build this army. All right, I think that's everything I can do for now. If Astrogoth ever declares war on me, I'll need to recruit like crazy over here. But you know, he'll also be going to war with all of these guys as well. Maybe he'll go and focus on them first. Yeah, right. Excuse me. Okay. Alright. Everything's looking pretty good. We're not expanding very quickly. Like, by this point in the High Elf campaign, we had over maybe 150 settlements. And I'm currently at, what, 40? 50. That's not too bad. I mean, we've got a lot of confederations we can do. But we're definitely not as fast at conquering as the High Elf one. Nowhere near as fast. Alright. Check for rogue armies. Do you not bother fusing all the equipment you're not using? No, I don't bother doing that all the time because it's a, it's a, it. T okay, I'm live streaming. I have to be entertaining for the viewers. So spending five minutes every turn fusing items is a big waste of time, and ultimately, it's not going to win or lose us the battle at this stage here. So what I usually do with items is I store it, get a huge stockpile of gray items, and then fuse them all in one go. But not right now. Yeah, I get that some people, they as soon as they get a grey item, they want to fuse it straight away, but I don't do that. Because sometimes, sometimes the grey items are actually useful. Doesn't all have to be blue ones. Alright, let's move on. Nothing else to do. Blazing Sundoom stack? No, that's not very good. What brings you here? Show me the accused. Yeah, Blaze, Knights of the Blazing Sun, I would not say are very good at all. You 
have my allegiance. Toddy might be the FLC Lord in Thrones of Delay. That's not what I've heard. I've heard it's a Nurgle it Legendary done. Lord. Okay, we also need to put this down to nine turns. Can I make it a little bit transparent? I should be able to, just give me a sec here. If I put a filter for... Do I have... Does color key do it? Opacity, there we go. If I pop that down to 50%, 60%. Ah, there we go, how's that? Is that better? Legend, do you believe CA has to... Sorry, what do you believe CA has to do to make Woma 3 as good as Woma 2 was? Um, I don't know. F fix a lot of the bugs. Make the AI as competent as it was in Warhammer 2. Not a lot of things. It's not like it's, it's way behind, but there's just a few things I think that it's lacking compared to Warhammer 2's overall gameplay experience. Just currently to the five dollar super chat. Uh, did you know if you use the variant selector mod, Toddy has a second variant with his helmet visor down? It looks pretty badass. Mm, okay. Thanks super chat. Hi Legend, do you think there will come a Total War game that will overshadow Warhammer anytime soon? Not anytime soon, but I would be very surprised if Total War Warhammer 40k didn't take a gigantic shit on, on this one when the time comes. Uh, not Maybe not initially, but by the time that Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 40k 3 has been fully developed, it'll probably be a lot better than this. Probably. CA so yeah, should play the fucking game. The leadership at Creative Assembly should play the game. Trust me, the developers are doing the best they can, but the tools that they have are not very good. That's the problem. Do you think Tamrakan will be the Nurgle Lord for Thrones of Decla Decay? Yes. Yes, I do think he'll be the, the Lord for it. How big is map in Warhammer 3 compared to Warhammer 2? Oh, it went from like this big to like this big. No. Uh, Warhammer 2's map at the end of it was about 350 Speak. settlements. I will hear you now. He wants 20 grand or else he declares war. Look at that strength ranking. Oh, 20 grand. But Legend, that's like half of your income. <sighs> okay, so here's... I'll give you my train of thoughts. If I, if I deny this, he declares war on me and goes to war with half the planet, basically. But some of my allies are finishing up some of their wars. So if I ex if I accept this, I buy them a little bit of time to finish things up, then they can concentrate on Malekith, so I don't have to. If I do it now, like if I if I say deny now, then Malekith will likely sweep over Albion, land over here pretty soon, start causing problems. Now, we're in a position where we've got a lot of money, so I could I could raise more armies. That's not a big deal. We also have a look here that he's at war with quite a few factions, so they're not likely to let up on him while this is going on. It'll also take a long time for him to go there. Give time. Give it time. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just having a look, because it... Yeah. Because I'm at war with some allied to Avalorn as well, who go to war with them, and Safari. We also want to buy more time for them to deal with Marathi. Yeah, he's already at war with Avalorn, so he'd only go to war with Safari here. 
Repance. Are there any other allies? Yeah. I also want Lou and Leoncourt more time to deal with this. Because this isn't finished yet. At the end of the day, 20 grand is not that big of a deal. I'm going to accept this. No, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> oh, you bitch! Oh, oh well. I'll reestablish that alliance. So we're now at war with Malekith. Alright. I don't know how many turns it's going to be before he arrives, but, you know, we'll just... We'll see. We'll see. We need to spice things up a little bit. It's not like we don't have an endgame crisis about to trigger. I've actually found that um, Kislev is one of the most unreliable allies in the game currently. Man, look at Talson. What the hell? You guys actually got to a point where they had no armies, and you somehow pissed the bed and allowed him to just rebuild all of these settlements. Friggin' Clan Angrid. What are you going to do with Carl Franz in the next few turns? I have to keep fighting against Wurzag. Oh, I see. He's not prioritizing Talson. Oh my god, look how many armies Talson has as well. What the hell? Do you know what that was, then? That was the equivalent of Danzig or war. <laughs> Malekith is like, give me gold or war. Okay, war it is. <laughs> oh, crap. Anyway. Check the landmark in Astalia. It's pretty good for adding ranks for Warrior Priest. Yeah, it, well, it adds one extra rank. Uh, I am going to go down and grab it soon. That's what Toddy's gonna. Well, that's what Toddy was going to do, and we'll see how many Dark Elf armies show up. I enjoy this more or less in Tyrion campaign. Um, less because I prefer playing Tyrion, but it seems like you guys are enjoying it more, and that's more important. Yeah, come on, do it, do it. No! No, what's going on here? No, Bretonia. You were the chosen one. We, we just went to war with the Dark Elves. We don't have time for you to fuck around like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Bretonia, you suck. I kind of feel like I made a mistake. I should have just—I should have just gave him the money. Swear you never read chat. Half of what I do is reading chat. I can't read every single chat message. Backfired. You made Clan Angren go to war with Clan Scryer. Yeah. Do you know what the annoying thing is? Was Talson was just about finished, and the AI just sat there sacking their settlements, going, "Yeah, I'm gonna make loot out of this." Interesting. Interesting strategy. They're trying to run away. Oh, 
Okay. Well, you know, we've got sight over here. So... There's no Nagarond armies on their way. So that's okay for now. Uh, but this is a problem, Protector for sure. I may need to do something about this pronto. My god, what the hell? How the hell? Like... One with the forest. These settlements changed hands so many times. Luckily he's at war with too many people, I think, to worry about me, but he hates me. Because all he'd have to do is jump over here, and I would, of course, sell all this territory over to Wissenland. Toddy should be able to handle it when the time comes. Keep him coming. Yes, son of Sigma. All right. Oh yeah, need your melee attack. And what do we get for Empire Captain? Nothing. Just what recruit. does the Emperor bid? Huh? Direct me. Well, things just got a bit spicier, that's for sure. So, looking at our strength ranking, we're 13 compared to 48 regions. Wow. Well, that being said, I do not have much military. I'm pretty weak, comparatively. I am prince and emperor. I got, I got some money. I, I, can, I can figure something out. So. Yes. Casting the runes. Onward. Yeah, what the hell? We don't take it to any attrition here. Is this army just immune from attrition or something? How am I supposed to borrow and steal that army if I can't cause any attrition? Obviously don't want to go too far up that way. The hell? What is with this army? How is it immune from attrition? I have no idea how that's happening. Let me try something. What if I took this dude here? No, not that one. Uh, this one here. It causes reduced attrition from chaos undivided corruption. What if I just said, hey, you're fired. What am I, else am I losing if I do that? What do you want? Heading it's got out. nothing to do with it. No, I'll get on it. I have no idea. What orders? All right, so it's to keep in mind. Huntsman General, awaiting orders. Is it time? I do kind of need to wipe out these guys. If I leave them with even one region, that could be a problem. Huntsman General! What? Ekuldi! So? Report! Great. Alright, what I could probably do is just send the most dog shit army I've got right. down here to deal with the Veil of Woe. I probably won't be able to order resolve that. So I'll maybe have to send another one. Because I just disband this straight away after I've captured it and sell it to them. Because I would like to eliminate this... This army here, if I was attacked over the end turn, I can likely hold on. Okay. Fall in, These two armies come down here. Into the fray. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't think I'd actually win that in order resolve. Okay, fine. All or nothing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then just get rid of this army because it is dog shit. Let me respec him. Yes. Cool. And then sell the Veil of Woe to Balthazar Geld. Dealings will bear fruit, friend. Not going to get much for it, but that's okay. Hmm. Could potentially do it. If I make him go to war with Servants of the Conclave, then they're just going to retake everything. So we definitely don't want to do that. So just give it to him for money. I will. Because yeah, these guys are only at war with me. I didn't drag anyone to war with them. So what I imagine will happen is if I champion of the faith. If I use this army True here to attack Falls of Doom, Sima. this one will come up through here and try to... They may go into Raid Stance or use the Underway Stance to try to avoid attrition, but eventually what they'll do is try to get down over here and fight that settlement, and I'll have to raise an army to deal with it. Ever vigilant. To battle! For the Because, yeah, this is not going to just eliminate them. But we'll certainly have time. The other army won't make it over here in time. That's fine. Um, Anthony, look, luck. I'm not sure. Did HK25 dollar super chat? Is Car France campaign of Warhammer three uh, in Warhammer three still very frustrating experience compared with the release of Immortal Empires? Um, I would say yes, but some people love it, some people don't. So it depends on who you ask. The nation calls. All right, so they're taking nutrition now. Equazuk. They will probably want to go to Tsar Nagrand, probably. I'm leaning team. towards disbanding all of this. What, what level is this character? Level? I'll keep the Light Wizard. Light Wizard could be useful later down the track. Um, it's a lot of guns, experienced guns, but that's not a big deal. I can replace them. The problem here is that if I make myself too weak, other factions will start declaring war on me. I serve Sigma. Protector. Can I recruit any heroes here? And get a I can get another witch hunter. Let's recruit a witch hunter here and send it over that way towards Malekith. Keep an eye on him. I want to know what's coming. Show me the accused. So yeah, send him out this way. Yes. Alright. Interesting stuff. Yeah, the campaign did just get a little bit more spicy. Warrior of Sigma. So next turn, what I'm thinking is that we take all of these heroes out of the army and start sending them back to Mount uh, to World's Edge Archway. But maybe I should destroy this army first. It depends what happens with with them. Scope this one bigger. here, stay in camp stance and move over here. Don't disband you Please, just no yet. One no one is likely to launch an attack against you. We've got pretty good intel here. If, it, if someone comes running up through here, you'll be able to back off. Actually, I should probably get just a little bit closer. There's no military presence there, so it's fine. Okay, we need to sell Zar Nagrand. I trust our dealings will bear fruit, friend. Okay, I want them to go to war with Malekith. Is that no? That may not be a good idea. Um, SU did a ten dollars super chat. Great campaign. What is your favorite game outside of Total War at the moment? Moment. Probably Power World. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, is that all? 
I'm not going to get that much. Oh, well, I'll swap it for something. Let, let's see what settlement we can trade Zara Nagrin for. All right, we could maybe get this one, or we could get... We could secure the full province of... Um, what's that one called? Gorsal. The Wasteland. If I give him 80,000 for it. <laughs> uh, there will be better opportunities. For that. That's not the highest we've ever seen. Alright, well then, what about Steingart? It's pretty safe. What are some of the other settlements he owns out this way? There's Wrecker's Point. He might want to trade for that. He considers that high value because there's lots of military buildings there. There's nothing over here that I want to swap for him. Alright, so swap it for Steingart then. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. God, alright. Um, there's nothing out here that I want from him. Maybe repair Zarnagrin first? No. No, don't need to do that. I guess I'm just going to trade it for money. I don't think I'll be able to get it for the Black Pit. Let me just check. Yeah, he considers that way too valuable. What if I sold Zar Nagrin to... No, I don't do that. Um... I mean, the Black Crag is pretty well defended now. And what I could do is with that is build it up so that I could trade it for Arnau. Okay, let's do that. Very well. Okay. Oh god, jeez. Um, I didn't realize it was that bad. But we got loads of intel out this way, so it shouldn't be a problem. No one's coming out from this way, I think. I, I think you should go back that way, but be careful. Alright, we'll need to upgrade that. I'll need a noble, dude. I need to speed that up. Alright, one turn. Cool, better than nothing. And we'll need to put two military buildings in here so I can make a trade for something better. Alright, and then over here we need to fight against Wurzag. This is good. Hopefully we can still actually get more trades. Although I don't think he's gotten that many trades so far. Forget it. They will be judged. Ready. Actually, when I you go forward no and you go yes, back. For now. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, I've got to get to Ekrand. On it. As quickly as possible. Alright, if I attack right him here, I doubt he's just gonna run across. But let's have a look. Attack. I command here. SKN912 did two dollars Hey Legend, any chance of a clan Mulder campaign? Um It could happen. I usually don't think beyond the campaign I'm currently playing. So what for the fort? I can't. Um, it's too late now. Cool, yeah, we don't want to be fighting in the underway. Or to resolve that. Yeah, yeah. That also saves us a lot of time. Come on, physical resistance. That'll be really good for car friends. Good. Who calls? 
All right, we take a little bit of attrition coming out this way, but if I go into encamp stance, I'm not going to be aggressive enough. I doubt there is any. They will be judged. Yeah, I doubt there's enough out here to be a problem. He's not the end game crisis yet. Yes. So. Move. Hang on, sell Morgheim first. I'm up here to sell Morgheim actually for. Gorsal. I trust our dealings. Oh, did you mean Fort Bergbris? I didn't even think about that one. It's not worth as much. Fort Bergbris. I probably could have so traded it. Thing is, that has no economic value. It's better if he has it. So this one here. Yeah, I think I'll just sell it to him for money. I thought I'd get a bit more out of that one, but it could be because it's red territory as well. Hard to say. As you say, sir. Confederation offer from guilt in two turns. Well, I'm definitely not ready for that. Because I need to get Akendorf off them first. Otherwise, I end up with a lot of territory that I can't get rid of. So, it'll have to be in the next set of 20 turns. By the comet. Yeah, I'm not ready to do the um, the Confederation yet. Summon the Elector right, Counts. let me see. If I have Force March, I could get over to here and just not take attrition. Let's go. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. Won't get any replenishment though. Okay, so that way we go Morgheim, or maybe actually I'll go Bitterstone Mine first. That way I can sell it for me, uh, sell it to them maybe for Akendorf. Problem is it's red territory, so I'd have to hold on to it for a few turns to build it up, and then we, or maybe I'll have to sell Ekrand. I'll figure it out as I go, but that's that's fine. All right. Yep, that's fine. These are all wizards there. What orders? All right, I think I want to get this army going sooner rather than later, so I'm going to put in this guy, ancestor hero. Yeah, do it this turn. But not this one. Because this needs to be attached into a, a different army. Actually, actually, let me have a look at how he's been leveled up. Guardian would be good. Alright, respec. Yeah, he'll just come back from here. And I'll respec you as well. Yeah, Guardian would be good in this, because that just gives them 15% extra physical resistance. These guys don't get Guardian by default, so that's actually really good. Getting a Thane attached with these guys would actually be really handy. Interesting. i got to get more Thanes. Are those Idle Hero and Noble? Yeah, these ones here are. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, they're Noble, so they're increasing the income. Yep, yep, yep. It is time. All right, let's have a look in diplomacy here. See what shenanigans we can do. Loyal servant. All right, let's let's get some more Welcome trade agreements. I got a feeling I may need the money. Are those the heroes you stole? No, I recruited ancestor heroes. What would you have of me? <laughs> I totally didn't steal them. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I think once we have taken these territories away from Wurzag, I should probably make my way over here and get rid of the Skaven. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely not have enough time to deal with all of this. I'll need three turns. Hang on, let me think about this. So, t eight turns remaining, seven turns remaining, six turns remaining... I could get there in six turns. 
I might actually be able to get rid of Wurzag. No, I said I would allow him to show up, but we can't have no endgame crisis. People, people will feel My ripped off by that. I don't know what to do about this guy here. This is nowhere I can send him to where he's going to take attrition. He, he seems to be just immune to it. There is, n like, even swamp attrition. Not... He just seems to be immune. Completely immune to attrition. Do you know... Do you know why that... That what might be happening? I think when I got him, he was in the underway stance. And because we don't have the underway stance, he still has the effects of the underway, even though he's not actually in it. That actually might be what's happening. He might be immune to all attrition. See, there is nowhere we can go where he is going to take attrition. Even if I look at the sea, and I go out into the open ocean, no attrition. Even if I go and have a look at Noctilus. Yeah, look, no attrition. Ugh, doesn't like it when I do that. I don't... Th hmm, okay. Well... I I can't get that guy then. We we need to fight a battle. There's no battles to be fought out here, except for maybe Howling Rock. But I think that would be a mistake to do something like that. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I'll bring him up here to Nashrak's lair because at some point we're probably going to have to fight against them. And I'll just keep seeing if I can borrow him again and again. Maybe maybe that might work. Okay. I don't know what else to do. All right, checking for... Okay, all good. Uh, Spudlife2010 did a $10 super chat for Sligmar. Thanks, dude. For Sligmar indeed. <laughs> Thanks for super chat. We ZY887 did a five euro super chat. Just get rid of Wozak. Malekith is your end game crisis. Nah, let's have both. <laughs> Fight a treasure pile out at sea. No, if I lose a battle, the game is over. So if I fight a treasure pile, I will lose the battle. Can't do that. <laughs> you were rebuilding Pillars of Grugni for trade for Akendorf? That is correct. Yes, that's right. That is correct. Why don't you use it to fight the remaining Chorf army? Because it'll lose the battle. If I lose the battle, the campaign is over. So it has to be a battle that we can win. That's the problem here. Yes, Grimgore was destroyed. Wurzag is the endgame crisis. Which in many ways is actually worse. Because um, he provides so much physical resistance for Savage Orcs. But that being said, Savage Orcs shouldn't be that big of a problem for us. I have faith in you guys. Take him out. Good job. I mean, together with your armies. Well, they're just... They're not around. They're just not, not close by. Isn't Grimgore and Wozag going to respawn anyway? Grimgore, no, any any defeated greenskin faction doesn't respawn. At least that's what we've seen so far. That's what happened with the High Elf campaign. In the High Elf campaign, we only had to fight Grimgore. And he's he he beat us in one battle. <laughs> it only takes one greenskin army. Because the thing is with greenskins, it's so easy to underestimate them. Because you think to yourself, oh, it's just greenskins, they're so stupid. But... Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Does military buildings give them more trade value? Yes. Yeah. It's a bit weird. That's what's economic value. It's most valued. Is military buildings. They value it a lot. If they can recruit units from there.
Okay, well, it looks as though Marathi is getting pushed back. That is good. Hopefully, Malika spends most of his time fighting High Elves. And mm, I don't even want him to be fighting Bretonia because it looks to me as though the Wood Elves are also a problem. So here's to hoping that the Golden Order is able to finish off the last of Clan Moors. I mean, I, I did most of the work. Because they're limited now to just tier 3 buildings. How did Agaron become so strong? I don't know. I only recently got visibility over them. So I just don't know. When the crisis hits, if one of the Greenskins is still alive, do they get their crisis armies at their current capital, or do they spawn at their original capital? They usually spawn around their faction leader. Actually, I'm, I'm really not certain about that. I think it would, whatever, what, whatever was their most uh, recent capital. So if you take their original capital, but they've moved somewhere else, then they should show up there, but I'm not sure. Probably 50 plus settlements. They've got 48 settlements last time we checked. I'm really counting on Belagar to actually finish off the Wood Elves properly this time. Because I've secured his south. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. If he could go over there and... I can't I can't borrow that unit <laughs> if it's not going to attach to an army. What is he doing with it? But yeah, if Belagar could take on the Wood Elves, that'd be great. I'm not at war with them right now, but they could declare war on me as soon as they feel comfortable. Will we see some tanks in this video? Probably not in this episode. Probably not. Black arcs count a lot towards strength ranking for some reason. Yeah, but they tend not to get too many of them. I'm not sure, actually. Are you planning to give Carl Franz another army? No, that's his his army. That's it. It has so far proven to be very effective, actually. But that's the army that he's going to keep. Why does Belagar have a shit army? Stupid ally AI. Um, I don't. I can't explain to you why he did that. Did CA fix the bug? Will Dark Elves just keep recruiting Black Ox? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. It would explain why their strength ranking is so high. Oh, come on. What? What is this? What is this? You've got tier 5 settlement and you're recruiting trash. What is going on here? Oh my god. Coron, you let me down so much. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, there's nothing else in here that I need to see. Alright, I do need to see what these guys are up to.
Cool. So they're just going straight for the fallen. Dude. Yep, stop the wall. We do not want that going on. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on. This could be our chance to fight Wissenland. Because we're never going to confederate them. At the same time, we should keep Wissenland around because I may need to feed Karak Norn territories to them. So yeah, not this time. Not this time. That is short-sighted. If you think about um, just getting... Like, it's good territory, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we got red alert, guys. The There's going to be a bit of lag. It shouldn't last very long. It's not the CPU, it's the internet. Yeah, because if they jump over here, I've got no one to feed it to, except for Golden Order, I guess. Plus, I don't exactly have much of an army here yet. What do you require? Shield of faith. I will rouse the men. Show me the accused. Okay, and I think what we want to do with Ready. him is actually... Let us go move. into channeling Let's stance. Right. Try to generate as much winds of magic as possible. While we're not doing anything. So yeah, these guys here. Oh, what are you doing? I don't like that. Seek out Maybe that you should evidence. stay here for now. Can I help you? It's as good as done. They will be judged. Because these guys here. Grat, grat, and He's actually got a lot of enemies. All friggin' elect accounts. Oh, and Katarin. Hopefully he focuses on her. So, Katarin, what you did was kind of bullshit. How about... Well, she did pay me a lot of money for that alliance, so... Whatevs. Whatever. Alright, Falls of Doom, we want to get rid of that, but I also want to keep an eye on... Is that where heretics lurk? Huntsman General! Okay. Alright, I can launch the attack on this dude. In fact, both of my armies can launch the attack on him. It is impossible. Oh, how can you squeeze in there? Oh, I know. On the trail! There they are! And this should be the end of the Servants of the Conclave. Yep. Blip. Easy. YouTube dropped the stream? Yeah, there was a... There was... There was lag. It happens. That's unfortunate. So, Service of the Conclave, gone. Good. That's another faction at least eliminated. And we actually stripped this region of all of its Chaos Corruption. So that's nice, I guess. And then the next question here is like, do we do we keep these guys here, or do we um? I was going to disband them, but now I'm not so sure because uh, I think Astrogoth is going to. I could use, I could use this army here, if it stays there, to get this guy wounded. If I keep them, yeah, okay, the, okay, all right, okay, yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right, we'll do that. All right, we're going to go to war with Astrogoth. I will do anything for Sigma. Huntsman General, step to it. 
Okay, and I need to sell the Falls of Doom, which is not going to be worth much, but that's okay. Is more valuable than gold, or so they tell me. So he's out of money. Still, you gotta pay. So he's a. I think that's a recent affair. He went towards the disciples of Hashut. Right. All right. Cool. I trust no man. Uh, beer manga, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. All right. Ricky. All right. Just wait for my armies to get there. So over here at the Pillars of Grogni, we wanted to swap that for Akendorf. It might be better to wait till next turn, but let me just see if I can get it. These dark times, we should stand so Pillars together. of Grogni for Akendorf. They'll accept that with a very big payment. So let's just see if I can... But how long will this take? Two turns, two turns. All right, if I build a no... Uh, recruit a noble character here. Well thought out. It doesn't save us any time unless, 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 unless I can recruit a hero here, which I can't. Okay, never mind. Huntsman General. Oh well. Huntsman General. Zinchis in the internet against us? Yeah, it happens. It was only a short one. Ready. The short. nation calls. I am prince and emperor. Alright, I can't quite get to Ekrand. The axe thirsts for war. Oh, what are you doing? No, blame you, you. Oh, freaking idiot. Rip that army. Definitely, definitely gone. I can't see that surviving. Stupid fool. Maybe I'll have to go over and finish off Clan Wars myself. Tools of judgment ready for Sigma. And then over here, we're trying to do something, make it valuable so that I can sell it to. Yeah, back to um, Guild. Well, I can't reach Ekron, so I might as well go Bitterstone Mine first because. Bitterstone Mine is where they're recruiting some of their units. Dragon Horn Mine is where they're recruiting trolls, though. But I want to be able to swing back down this way. Otherwise, I'm further up from, from that angle. Bring me to my men. It's quite a bit of territory over here that we could maybe hit Dragon Horn Mines, grab Gronti Mingle, and just trade all this to Balthazar Gelt. Or even, I even maybe Thorma, to of the cult of Sigma. Welcome. to him, because we still haven't got an alliance with him, and I think that would be a good idea. Balthazar Gelt won't confederate him. Okay, so we'll, we'll go for Bitterstone Mine. Should be easy order resolve. You. Yeah, should be fine. I don't anticipate they're going to counterattack much. We got extra replenishment, so the red territory here should be bypassed fairly easily. Yeah, still taking a bit of damage, but it'll be okay. Glittering scales is nice. Tools of judgment ready. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. 
All right. Well, our income has been increasing. That's good. But yeah, this here, this is really bothering me a lot. This might be where Toddy has to go first. Because honestly, if this is the kind of armies that they're building, and he's got lightning strike. Wait, does he? To the provinces. Yeah, I respect him, so he does have lightning strike. Um, when the time comes, it's still a while away from that. He should be able to handle it. Oh, but then again, these guys here don't have the bombardment spell. They'll need their equipment. But yeah, if I lightning strike these armies here one at a time, he's got tons of winds of magic. We should be fine to handle them. And I'll just, like I said, I'll just clear this out myself. <laughs> Freaking Bretonians. They had him. They they had him defeated, and they pissed it away. Can't believe it. All right. I can't see myself being at war with them anytime soon. So okay, non aggression with them, and they're allied with them, so that's fine. Kothik, sure, why not? How wise. Okay, nothing else I can do there. Which endgame crisis triggered? Greenskins. It's the only one that could have triggered. Uh, Zekrelau. Subscribed at tier 1. Thanks, dude. And Pung F. Subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate all that support. Yeah, really generous of you guys. Okay, so we need to check for rogue armies that could be showing up. Haven't seen any in a while, which means... One's bound to show up soon. Hmm. The Empire. Yeah, keep an eye on him. You just stay right Lord there. I, I can still borrow him again. Because we'll have enough influence to be able to do that by the time that one expires. Because he stopped giving me missions. I hope... Uh, actually, I don't... Really, hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright, I've done everything that I can. Let's just move on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a good amount of warning. From that. There's Daniel the Demon Prince. Do you have any allies? Oh, good, you're at war with them. That's hilarious. Oh, let's, let's do a little bit of diplomacy shenanigans. Uh, probably nothing available, but let me just check. Poxmakers of Nurgle, no. No. Uh, no. Can't do anything about that. Okay, he's trading with Tal- um, with whatever they are. Yeah. Maybe this is where he was getting all that money. But if they hate him, maybe they'll declare war. I don't know. Could actually end up making him stronger. Why don't you go to war with them? No, they won't do that. Alright, and how are we going with elect accounts? So we've got every elect account position now, except for Gelt, Wissenland, and... and Ostermark. I had Ostermark at one point, but I had to give it up. Yeah, they took Vitevo. I was very happy with them for that. Tier 5. Okay, let's move on. The nation calls. Quiet. Listen. Who calls? Swing around. Can an enemy agent wound a borrowed hero? Yes, it is possible to do that, but if it's an ancestor hero, they have minus 100% um, enemy agent action chance. Why not kill off Wurzag Capital and leave him with Death Gorge? That's what I'm going to do. Did Kislev push Archeon back? Yeah, I didn't even need to get involved. Kislev did it on their own. Or 
So, man, is Whistleland still seriously at four fields? 107 turns into a game where you were positive Imperial for all but the first five turns? Yeah, I know. I know, right? Yeah, we've gained no uh, fealty from them from having positive Imperial Authority, which is insanely unlucky. But that means that we'll probably just have to go to war with them. Uh, I've got plenty of Imperial Authorities, so I could just outright declare war on them. It's not that big of a deal. When the time comes, I'm not ready to do that yet. I'd much rather confederate them, but it's just... Yeah. Just gotta wait and see. Which faction race do you think has the best early game economy? Norska is actually surprisingly good. Um, early game economy. Dark Elves early game economy is actually really strong. Warriors of Chaos early game economy is not that strong actually. Um, Bretonia early game economy is pretty good. Vampire Count early game economy is pretty good. Dwarf early game economy is pretty good. Cathay early game economy gets going really quickly. Do you have an army in Death's Pass waiting for Grimgore to spawn? Grimgore's not going to spawn. I think the fealty due to authority is capped at 3 or 5 points. That's cool, but we've got none so far. Can't you spam improve relations to increase fealty? I can only get plus three. We're currently at plus two, so I can get one more fealty, but there's really no point being at five fealty. It won't do anything. All right, well, they're not really advancing on us. And it seems like Malekith is sweeping across the Chaos Waste. That's fine. They, they killed Emil von Corden. See, Emil, you would have lived if you had have um, confederated with me instead. <laughs> I keep forgetting about this hero. I need to move it up. What's the closest call so far in this campaign? I can't actually remember. Ask the chat. I'm finding dwarves slow to start. Though I am doing... S am I doing something wrong? I met mostly play Beligar. Beligar's got the worst economy. So... Yeah, Dwarves have a good early game economy, except for Beligar, because it's my plus 50% extra upkeep costs. Come on, come on, win, 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 win. No. <laughs> How many settlements does Malakas currently have? Probably about 50. I've just changed the followers only chat to 10 minutes on Twitch, because I think 30 minutes is a bit excessive. No. Maybe later. The Malekith in this campaign seems to be warmer to Malekith Endgame Crisis. Malekith. Oh, yeah! Okay, that's it, they're winning. Uh, from my memory, I'm used to him having like a hundred settlements, at least. In Warhammer 2. And having all of the bloody confederated Dark Elves factions. What are they doing? I'm never gonna get that one. Yeah, that's it. Keep pushing Zinch back. Go all the way to the Chaos Wastes and, and finish him off there. Because I'd much rather fight you guys in the Chaos Wastes than Zinch. Is it worth trying to get engineers for Empire Weapons Team Steam Tank stacks? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Especially Skaven weapons teams. <laughs> so it would be pretty good to borrow a Skaven army for that, but I think that the chances of me actually succeeding with that are pretty pretty much slim to none. I don't know what they were doing with that. Twenty four hour live stream once you get to five hundred K subs? Nope. No, at 500k, you get nothing. You, we gotta surpass the official Total War channel. That's what you get. That's the goal. Ancestor Hero has been attached to a small army. Okay, uh, whereabouts? It's obviously not the one that's going into the Darklands. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to borrow it because I'm already working on a different hero army from uh, Clan Angrind. And they're not giving me any more missions. Sulfur, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. We're at 388 subscriptions on Twitch Prime, uh, which is Twitch. They're not necessarily Twitch Prime. 388. That's nearly twice as many as what my previous record one was when I last live streamed on Twitch and was partnered. Uh, Lee Wilson did a final super chat. Just want to say thanks for being open about your first pregnancy. As someone going through something similar, it's nice to feel less alone. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I wouldn't say it's no problem. It was horrible, but um, it helps to talk to other people that have gone through something similar. I understand that, and I definitely wasn't willing to do it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Okay, it's Wissenland itself, so I know that there's an army there. So send the prestige, we should be able to just auto-resolve this. I, I just, actually, there's a lot less there than I thought. But it wasn't very much, and it's an easy auto-resolve, so it's fine. But yeah, if that had been something serious... Actually, this army is better than what I've seen previously. That's actually a pretty good one. Like, Outriders with grenade launchers? Okay, but now we've got five fealty with Wissenland, so that's something. That's something. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Ah, that was Malachus doing. Jaff25, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Almost 1.1k viewers too, really growing fast. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if we actually became bigger on Twitch than we are on YouTube? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so that one there. I defended their settlement, so it was worth one. So the, um, okay, I'm at high relations, plus three. It can't get any higher than that. So even if I threw all of the influence that I've currently got, so all the prestige, it's not going to do anything. What I could do is somehow buy one of his settlements off him, then <laughs> abandon it. Hang on, let me have a look here. I might be able to buy Dotten back. Come then, only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. I might be able to buy it if I sell it for something like Grunberg. If I like make Flensburg, hang on, let me just see here. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. Okay. So this is a really silly way to go about it, but this is exactly what we did with with them. So we, well, sort of, we buy this settlement, demolish it, like just abandon it, give it back to them, and then I buy it back again. And just keep doing that? Wait. No, that... Yes, that's what we need, fealty. Yeah, so if I make the switch from Flensburg to... Hang on, can I go with Wissenberg? I could with money, because that one's worth more. Nah, too much money. This is really... This is really dodgy shit. But this will work.
It'll take me a few turns to get this done, but if we do this, I can confederate him. You're gonna, you're gonna give me more, right? Because I'll just get Flensburg back. Very well. Okay. So now what we do is just recruit a lord here. Any old lord will do. He ne needs to be here ready next turn. We abandon the settlement. It'll be a ruin and I give it back to them. Now here's the thing. As soon as I give it back to them, I buy it back. <laughs> now, here's the next thing. Um, we have to wait five turns before we give it back to them again. Does Legend have Ogham Stones yet? Plus 20 wins the magic faction wide tier 5? No, I don't have it. It's not something that I... It's not not worth going to war with Bretonia over it. Show me the accused. Okay, so that, that's one way we can manipulate them. Let me just see. Is it possible for me to sell... To buy Wissenberg? Yeah, well, because... Okay, okay, okay. See, that'll also improve relations with them. Yeah, that's what we really huge. Sure. What if they claim the ruin? Ah, well, that's the beautiful thing about it. The settlement gets abandoned at the beginning of your turn, so it will it will not be able to be recaptured by them. Can vassals betray even if they have full slanish seduction? I don't know. Uh, Jaff25, subscribe with Prime, and Combat Wombato, subscribe with Prime. Uh, Judge Strongbad, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Okay, so yeah, if we do this, thing is, every time I do this, it's going to cost me a settlement, but I'm just going to get it all back after I've made five trades. So we'll sell off Vertbad next. So I'll need a barracks here. But like I said, I'll just get it all back. I'll just trade him these settlements along here. Until and it'd only be for um actually yeah I could be wanting to die. No, just actually don't build anything. It's not gonna have time for it. Actually no, do build on. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so it's still gonna take about twenty odd turns to do this, but the alternative is either going to war with them or just not doing it at all. All right, we need to go Ready into encamp stance here. Your word is my command. Camp and forage. Move out. Who calls? And I also need this army here to be very bloody careful. But we're going to transport it over here to them. Setting off on my way. I should have a clan wars army just runs up through here. GG. Sin did a. NOK50 Super Chat, now that money really isn't a thing right now, maybe time to start getting a tank stack and prepare for the West? No, not a tank stack yet. May maybe later, but not yet. Thanks for the Super Chat, though. Not quite. Alright, let me just see we'll about Akendorf for Pillars of Grogni. 50 grand. Hopefully when those two buildings are finished, they'll be willing to just trade it fairly. Is this a new faction that just showed up? Eh, it's not really my problem. Yes. For Sigma. The Empire. Are they at war with the Golden Order? Yeah, they are. Okay. All right. So, with Bitterstone Mine. To war. Good, we get to Ekron this turn. With Bitterstone Mine, uh, just sell that. St oh, wait, 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 wait. What if I could trade it for Iron Rock? Welcome to my throne. Can Doc Karaz be bought? 
of Valea. Maybe. What? March on the witches. Okay, need to keep an eye on that border. All right, I need to sell Bitterstone Mine to them. Welcome to my private study. Wine of palest gold will wet In exchange, for, I'm probably not going to get any territory for this, so I just take money. On it. By the comet. No peace, just war. Can we auto resolve this? Because that would be nice. It says medium casualties. Because this is red territory, if I keep auto resolving, these guys here are never going to recover. But I know people don't like sieges. Because that's going to put these very badly damaged. And this is not a difficult fight, so I need to fight it manually. Savage Orc alert. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, Meth Beaver, <laughs> nice name, subscribed at tier 1. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Scarbrand the Exile, subscribed at tier 1. Eddie, subscribe with Prime, and Judge Strongbad. I think I already read that one out. Also, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Hello, I enjoy your YouTube videos. Thank you for those. I started a campaign with Dark Girls, and I'm losing already on turn 3. I don't understand their gimmicks. I'm also a Total War noob. Um... Best would be lower the difficulty a little bit, learn how to play it, and then up the difficulty. Uh, depends which Dark Elf you're playing. They, they can be a little bit confusing, for sure. So I don't blame you for having a hard time with them at the start. Chant the battle hymns. We're Sigmar's heirs. Doug did a $2 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, there is really nothing that's dangerous here. It's just, it was just a bad order resolve. That's all it was. That was a good bloody lightning bolt. Holy crap. Maybe I don't even need Carl France to fight them. Alright, Carl should do pretty well against those trolls with Galmaraz. Uh, Rango Sebevan. Sebeven? I don't know. Subscribe with Prime. Elemental. So, Element Eater. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. YouTube down. Uh, it should be up. Everything's. We've got 2,850 people watching, though. Does some damage. I reckon we had such a bad order resolve because we already had a damaged army. Yeah, if you just keep order resolving, eventually you reach a point where you just can't order resolve anymore. Especially if you're not replenishing much. Doug Dutrilla, let me chat. Can't hear you. It can't hear you. It can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Zubi chat. That extra physical resistance for Carl Franz really coming in handy now. Fireblade, subscribe with Prime. 
Thanks, dude. Prophesize. Subscribe with Prime. The Southern Nerd 2018. Subscribe with Prime. And Warm Whelm Love. Subscribe with Prime. 400 subscribers. How about that? Appreciate that, guys. 400 subscribers on Twitch. So that is twice as much as I've ever had on Twitch. You know, when I previously live streamed on it. that. Yeah, you've really got to pin them down if you want to use a spell like that. They always they dodge it every single time. I mean, we still zapped like one of them, but that's not really worth it. You want to get a nice big cluster. So what you want to do is pin them down and then attack them with it. Alright, just get the healthy Rikes guard. Let's bring him in over here. And we should just be fine to uh, smash on in. I'll have Carl France come and help. Carl Franz actually has the highest replenishment rate. Oh, you know what I should be using? Because they're savage orcs. I should be using this. Because I don't have much armor. Bring them in. Are these biggins? No, they're savage orc boar boys. Not biggins. They were not interested in fighting Carl Plans much. They're taking damage pretty quickly. That's okay. I didn't realize they had artillery. I, mean, I could have seen that, but I should should not be in a blob. We need to go sort that out immediately. Well, at least they're hitting their own units, so that's good. They should be fairly close to being army lost at this point. Carl Franz might be better at getting these guys. Oh no, he did it. Got him off the uh, artillery. Okay, well, if he saw that out, then that's all I needed him to do. Okay, this one here, I should try to get it out of the settlement before it takes two more casualties and be lower than these guys in terms of replenishment. But yeah, just being on equal numbers is uh, totally fine. I sense convergence. That should break them when that pops down. Did that guy get out of there? Right, yes, 
Am I excited for 4.2? Yeah. Yeah. Having seen what Kislev are getting, I'm pretty excited for it. I guess. Alright, there we go. Army losses. Good. Just wait for them to get a bit of healing. Alright, so overall we should recover in strength over the end turn. Be a little bit stronger than what we were at the beginning of this turn. Hello, Jen. You stop st uh, just stopping by. You at the end game crisis? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. You you try to help people out. You try to tell them all the information you can in the title and on the screen. People don't read. <laughs> right. I don't think that's even worth looting. Received a level three hype train emoji. All right, here you go, guys. Choo choo. Uh, yellow fella, two four seven subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you. Bring me to my men. All right. Don't sell it this turn. Show me the accused. I'm not sure where this one is. Uh, what's? Is this like really? Stop pushing it. Off. Why can't I block this army? Why are the odds so bad? I don't know. Whatever, I can't do anything about that. I don't want this one here getting away if we can... Yeah, look at this. Uh, there must be something about Wurzag's faction that doesn't allow that to happen. I'm not sure. Can't explain it. The nation calls. It shall be done. Is that where heretics lurk? Ulrich's will. Hmm. Okay. Who calls? Alright, 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 so, yeah, we're keeping an eye on this stuff over here. Oh, I do not like what ended up happening here with the Wood Elves. Do not like this one bit. Seems like Malekith is going to take his sweet time getting here. So I'm not too worried about that. I trust no man. Alright. To strengthen the empire, I will rouse the men. Sigma heals us. The, heal, uh, the hero army is forming. Still, just not getting disciplined. I might actually leave it empty this turn. I'd not recruit this turn because this guy's not going away, and by not recruiting him, it removes the chances of cunning from showing up again, which increases the chances slightly for discipline to show up. Direct me. This is why I usually only recruit one out of the three. Again, yeah, that never guarantees anything, but, you know, you try to increase your odds as best you can. Because disciplined, a whole bunch of them would really help. Okay, yeah, they keep an eye out over there. What, what kind of... Oh, okay, no. it's, it's not too bad. There's a lot of garbage in here. There's nothing... The only thing that's really kind of dangerous is that one. I think we should recruit an army here because I'm pro I'm going to declare war on Disciples of Hashut. Now that he's no longer at war with Grimgore. 
And so we need someone that's able to defend this area. So let's just get a... Yeah, level 8 will... No, look. Yeah. It goes there. Arch Lecter. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. This guy here really should be the commander of the warrior priest doomstack. But maybe at some point I'll give him one. Okay, now what units are we going to give him? I could go with Flagellants. We can recruit a whole bunch of units in one turn. Um, given what they've got here... In addition to the garrison... Praise be to Sigma. They still take two turns. I am leaning towards crossbows. Crossbows are pretty good. What are some other options? Mortars? Yeah, if we're defending the territory, some mortars would be pretty handy. It doesn't matter if they take two turns to recruit. We're not at war with them just yet. Not too many mortars. Two should be enough. Get some flagellants and some crossbows. Okay. This isn't going to be an attack on them. It's just... If they do come down here and we have to defend ourselves, that so we've actually got something that can manage it. They will be judged. As you say, sir. Because yeah, we're going to clear on Astragoth soon. Can you ask Orion to join some of your wars? Sometimes they try to get involved and move their armies. It won't work because he hates us. Like there is nothing that we can get him to join war against that'll work. So, it's, it's kind of like a moot point. He's completely surrounded by enemies, so he's not going to go to war with anyone else. So that's good there. Get that. Carrot Kadrin, this is good. Let's, let's see here. What do we need? More wizards and... Yeah, more witch hunters would be good. Karak Norn has just reached tier 5. As long as they don't jump over here and attack at all, should be fine. Um, yeah. I guess they can still feed these territories back to Golden Order if I absolutely have to. If he declares war on me. It's just that that's a lot of bloody armies. The Waker of Trees. Yeah. Alright, switch this over to money. So yeah, there's a landmark here for Knights of the Blazing Sun. I just don't think that Knights of the Blazing Sun are good, so I'm just never going to recruit them. <laughs> yeah, reduce upkeep costs for Empire Knights and Demigriff Knights. I just don't care. Hang on, let me just see what else I need to get. There's this one here. I haven't got any of those yet. That could be good. So I've already got those two. We don't have this. And you know what? Whatever. People like landmarks. Oh, and there's this. Get rid of that. And this. Get rid of that. So yeah, there's still another build slot for something else. Uh, oh, I might sell Kemprabad, actually. Yeah. Alright, let's just build this up and I'll see, because it's going to be a few turns before we do it again. I actually need more witch hunters than I need wizards. Yep, go with money, and I want more of those, thank you very much. Ekron's red territory, so I'm not going to be able to build anything before I'm going to sell it, so don't worry about doing anything there. All right, that's all the construction done. Let's have a look for... Sorry. Do you think Orion will declare war on you? I think there's a decent chance. He is at war with quite a few people, so he might... Right, let's have a look at his strength ranking. So his strength ranking is at 10. And his main concerns right now are this one here, strength ranking 22. So he's stronger than them. And definitely stronger than, than this one here. So he may want to try to hit these guys up a little bit first. Also, I've got a lot of allies. He may not want to drag into wars against me. Against him. Our 
common call. Chocolate can soup. Sigal sarzul can bottle charm can. Good. Loyal servant. Red. Okay, that's all good. Uh, Fede Kian, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Uh, Ray Finkel, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Why does that remind me of Ace Ventura? <laughs> okay, there's nothing else. He Actually, no, there's some heroes that I've been forgetting to move around. Yes. This one's going to replace the heroes that are attached into Carl Franz. What brings you here? So get that life wizard in there. I trust no I've got a hero over here that I was meaning to Seek check up in this area, just keep an eye on them. Hammer, yes. And also, it gives experience when you search their ruins. By the comet! Yes, blessed is this action. So yeah, we'll start feeding some of Astrogoth territory over to Balthazar Guild. Alright, already checked diplomacy, already done construction. Recruiting an army over here to defend against this when the time comes. My order okay, moving on. Yeah, economy's looking good. Tools of judgment ready. Hunt them out. So I believe Morgor is somewhere hanging around over here. So. Okay, moving on. Have you tried exchanging Lorelon Forest for a treaty with Orion? It's not possible for me to give him that settlement. You have to border. The region has to border them in order to sell it, so that it's impossible. Uh, DKK17 did a. Sorry, DK. Sorry, CH did a DKK17 super chat. Heard any rumors reading the Ruins minigames? No, I have heard nothing about that, sorry. Um, TGM Tell13, subscribe with Prime, and Midi, Mini Dingbat did a. Uh, Mini Dingbat46, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dudes, appreciate it. Yeah, I can't I can't trade him Laurel on Forest. Rogami check, I did that before the end turn. You forgot to assign in the Edict and Taylor Backland. Oh, okay. Is it a common strategy to switch the best magic items to the Lord that is about to fight a battle? Yes. It's a pretty good idea to do that. Um, is the AI getting better in Warhammer 3? Mm, no, not really. It's still a, a major bitch. I feel like they're maybe getting a little bit tougher. It's tough to do a, a no defeat campaign because the AI is so like they don't want to fight your armies; they want to fight your minor settlements, and it's difficult to defend them. So it might seem like it's difficult because you're losing battles, but the thing is, the AI goes for pointless victories. Why did you decide to decide to stream on Twitch as well? Well, I, I can dual stream at no detriment to YouTube, and I can make more money, and maybe grow grow my fame a bit more. Who knows? <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, Twitch ANZ reached out to me, and were like, hey, we'll give you some support if you stream on Twitch, and I was like, yeah, all right. I'm not going to hold a grudge forever. <laughs> what am I, a dwarf? Um, Woshiyech Chaz Chachachachachach did a 5 PLN super chat. Dude, that might be the most difficult name I've ever seen. Chaz Chawashiwitz. 
You might just have the most difficult to pronounce name I've ever seen, but thank you for Super Chat. Do you have to watch every turn in this game? No, you, you don't have to. I do, because I have to pay attention. Just try to avoid that word this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I love my Polish fans. But man, some of your names are hard to pronounce. Holy moly. Vimmerain did a CHF 10 Super Chat. I did it, Legend. Very hard, very hard campaign. Winners Chaos Dwarves on turn 264. So now Iron Brow Guy is most funnest dwarves, you say? Yes. G uh, congrats, dude. Good job. Thanks for Super Chat. Hey, may I ask why you are playing Warhammer 2? Um, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Nisius, how's it going, dude? Legend, why are you playing Medieval 2? No, I want you to win. Don't back off. See, this is what I'm talking about. The AI, they don't capitalize on their victories. Would you prefer us to watch on YouTube or Twitch? I'm okay with both. I'm okay with both either. Just pick whichever one you want. I want you guys to have the best experience um, out from a stream. That is what I feel like is going to benefit me the most. Because if you're enjoying it, then you're more likely to continue watching. And that's what I want. So... What, whether you want to watch on YouTube or Twitch, it doesn't bother me. The only thing I could ask you is that while you're watching me is please don't play Total War Pharaoh. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, tell you to subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. YouTube tends to run less ads. Yeah, YouTube tends to run less ads. Be well, here's the thing. I've got a big ad button. I just never press it. So YouTube gives me full autonomy over ads. On Twitch, I don't have full autonomy over ads. You'll get about three minutes of ads per hour. Um, but on the plus side on Twitch is that you get more chat features. So, yeah. It's up to you which way you want to go about it. You said it yourself already not playing Pharaoh. Let me confirm that. Currently has 797 players. Yeah, alright, fair enough. <laughs> On the Sunday night. Yeah. yeah, you're right, no one's playing it. Teo, subscribe with Prime. I can't remember if I already mentioned that. Also, if you subscribe on Twitch, you don't get any ads. So I just want to bank that. That, that being said, if you're a member on YouTube, I don't think you get anything. <laughs> okay. This is not worth it at this stage of the campaign for 3,000. Oh, I can't. I can't. I, I can't feed these to an elect account. As much as I really want to get the Golden Order, we haven't set it up yet. I wish I could delay it by 10 turns and not take the Imperial Authority. But if we confederate him, I will just not... I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this turn. I'll have to give it to the bloody dwarfs. And that just means I'll have to conquer it again one day. So we'll have to just assert their independence. I really do want to get uh, guilt. But we've, here's the things that we have to do in order to get guilt. Alright, it's turn 109, which means the next time we're offered is turn 129. I have to get Akendorf off of them. Which we'll see if we can make that offer this turn now. In these dark times, we should stand together. K 
Can't make the trade. He's never going to give that up. Alright, maybe there's another way. Because it blocks us from being able to connect these settlements. If only he didn't build this here. I just didn't build this stuff quickly enough, didn't think about it. Can you damage the buildings in Akendorf? I'll take a reliability hit if I do something like that. The other alternative is to feed Balthazar Gelt territory along... I can't. Karak Izor blocks that and I can't get that off him. It's like, wait, that's not their capital. There's no way I'll be able to get that off him. That's way more built up than... Akendorf. Karazza Karak for Akendorf? I don't think they'll trade that. Welcome. I don't think they'll make that trade. I can have a look. Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Yeah. It's not it yeah. It's not as built up. Try to do it through Karak Kadrin. But how what through this way? No, it, not possible. It's too much. It's just this one connection here. Because, yeah, if I bring Averland back, I need to be able to feed them territory from here. I guess we can check to see if it's possible. Because, who knows, I might be able to just... You can't, you can't skip over a... You can't skip over a province. This province doesn't even connect with Grenstadt. You, you've got to get Akendorf. Maybe I could get Natorka. Maybe. Let me try that. That might work. In these dark times, we should I can't ask together. for it, though. Can't you connect it over the Kalsdorf territory? Okay, so you got to understand this. If I've got Averland here... How am I supposed to, when they've got one settlement, how am I supposed to give them these territories? How am I supposed to give them any of this territory out here? That's the problem. Why do you need the territory connected? Because I need to be able to sell all of the territory out here that I'll confederate from Gelt. Like, Gelt holding onto this allows me to essentially own it while not owning it so that I don't get attacked out these areas. I need to... If I'm going to confederate Balthazar Gelt, I need somebody else to take over. So, the closest one is Avaland. I can revive Avaland from Grenstadt. However, from here, I can't gift him these two settlements. If I can give him these one of these two settlements, then I can feed all the way along into the, the Chaos Dwarf territory. Just give them all of these settlements. But I'm completely blocked because of Akendorf. So what I may have to do if I want to do this is actually declare war on Clan Angrind. Probably not something that we should be doing right now. Because I cannot get that settlement out of their grasp. You know, that is about as high value as I can possibly make it, if I show you. Pillars of Grugni are worth 116. And in order to get Akendorf, I need like 160. I don't know how I'm going to get that much. I need like a tier 5 settlement. That they border. Is Karak Dramar connected to the Forest of Gloom? No. No. That doesn't work. I've tried that kind of stuff before. That doesn't work. There needs to actually be a pathway connecting them. They're, they're technically not connected. Can you buy Akendorf? There's no amount of money. Men of the Empire. So what money only has a here? limited amount of... Um, diplomatic weight that it can provide. So if I show you, if I go Akendorf, and then I go, as you can see here, it doesn't ask for money. If I gave them, if I gave them 100,000, we'll probably hit the, the limit with that. So, how much did that provide? So from 143.9, it's 15. Yeah, I think that's the most you can get out of it. You can get, so even if I asked for every... 
So even if I offered everything I had, see how it's the same amount? There's a cap on how much you can spell. There's a ruin under Matorka. A ruin under Matorka. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I, I can't do anything about that. This It's just not important. So yeah. It seems like there's no way to make that work. I need to figure it out. Because I do want to confederate guilt. But if I confederate guilt, I will have to sell all of this to Clan Angrand. And that is just not worth it. Just to get guilt. Because we were out here for quite a while doing all this stuff. I'm not giving up all that territory to somebody that we are going to have to go to war with at some point. So we're just going to have to wait and see here. Unfortunately, I just didn't think about this until it was too late. I could have maybe made the trade a few turns ago, but I didn't think about it. Oh well. Alright, we've got to keep pummeling them. Is it seven turns now until endgame crisis? It's seven. Got to update this. Get Forest of Gloom, then build it up. I don't think that'll work, dude. I don't think it'll work. Stregor Nevets, subscribe with Prime. Con Raiden, subscribe with Prime. Yeah, I don't think it'll work because, for one thing, it's only tier one and it will take forever to grow. So I just don't, I don't think it'll work. of the Empire. What brings you here? Yeah, I don't see any way of being able to snatch it out of them. Sell to Volkmar. That could work. That could work. If I... C okay, yes. That could work. I could sell it to Volkmar. If we connect Volkmar to Balthazar Gelt. Good thinking. That will actually work. Good thinking. And that's actually better. The nation and that way I don't even need to revive Everland. Good thinking, dude. Really good thinking. Also, over here, we have to remember to Protector give this back. So, return to Elector. So, we got one fealty for that. And now I need to buy the settlement back. Because if we have a look at it, dot and back should not Empire be worth much. Day. I think it's because I just gave it back to him. Um, Bye, Sigma. Let me try Kemperbad. Welcome, my countrymen. Yeah, no, I can make that. <laughs> yeah, I can trade that. Uh, we don't want to abandon and give it back straight away because there's a five-turn cooldown. If you do this every single turn, it um, you lose imperial authority. He's got no money. Because I'm going to get the settlement back. Very well. <laughs> Servant of okay. The faith. So, Ready don't abandon it now. We need to wait five, four turns before we um, give it what back. Be Alright, we've got... Hang on, I've got to want to make a few adjustments here. Yes, I want this to actually Sigma. not look like shit now. biscuits. What does the Emperor bid? Um, actually, no, I want you in first. Then forth. you. And then the rest of you. Shield of faith. Sigma heals us. Healing. Good. Okay. Then, yeah, we gotta wait another turn. Confidence not too bad because it does give leadership. Yeah, wait until next turn. Ah, uh, what about nobles? Ah, uh, nobles. Um, empire captains. Still, nope. Not getting anything. I'm not in any rush to recruit an army full of them. All right, that's fine. The Empire. I suppose so. Seek out the heretics. Let's make sure Cut there's nothing out. here that can attack us. Good, then I want Awaiting orders. to move over Get here. And move over here, because yeah, we're going after this army. And you, you 
Maybe don't force march, but just uh, tag along Setting over off. this way. Make now. sure we're... Shouldn't be any enemies around here that can hit us. On march. Keep an eye on things there. Good. Yep, that guy just needs to stay there. The Empire. I don't know what's going on with him. He's going all the way back now. Uh, do we have any missions? Nope. It seems like in the late stages of the campaign, they stopped giving you missions. Not sure why. Now, march. Our paths have crossed. Okay, I've got to sell Ekrand, so sell that to Balthazar Geld. Our dealings will bear fruit, friend. Hmm. I will. Yeah, I. Th Target effects minus 61. Something's reducing it by a ton. I'm not sure what it Pick is. Up the pace. Moving off. So yeah, if we can just get ourselves these settlements here, we can connect that with the Cult of Sigmar, and then yeah, we could we could just do it that way. That was that's a really good idea. Good thinking to ever come up with that. That will work. So the next next time that's offered Confederation, we should be able to manage that because I don't think it's going to take me. 20 turns to establish that. And that way, I don't even need to worry about Akendorf. And yeah, we just need to be able to connect all of this to the Darklands, which it looks like we can get that connection work pretty easily. Okay, that's good. Because yeah, I can't hold onto those settlements. No way in hell. All right, all of that looks good. All right, let's have a look for diplomacy, see what's going on. Wonder Jarl, subscribe to tier one. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. I'm on Twitch. Red. Yep. Okay, nothing there. You're welcome. That's okay. You know, 90% of the time, chat comes up with really shit ideas. But sometimes, really good ideas. So, <laughs> I appreciate that. Also, let's check to see if... Oh no. Marcus Wolfhard is dead. Okay, well I have to revive him at some point. That's okay, we can be revived. The way we do that is using Empire Captains. So we'll need to send an Empire Captain army over to... to Lustria. Uh, I don't think an Empire Captain army is very good. Because, yeah, you need to have the public order penalty one. Um, Alright, as of next turn, I'm going to start building that army. Because I've got another life wizard here. And so we'll send it out this way. It'll take a little while. We'll send it over to Lustria to go and revive um, um, Marcus. Piece of fucking crap. <laughs> wow, that took a long time to get to that point. So I did that so that I could sell it for higher price. Okay, we got one more building we can put here. Let it be Lord Recruit Rank Faction Wide. You know what, I'd much rather put the barracks here and increase our capacity for those heroes. I just don't need Lord Recruit rank. Because we've already got a bunch of high level lords. Not yet anyway. So Dragonhorn mines red territory, don't bother building that up. Wissenland, yeah, don't bother with this, it's just going to get abandoned. This guy doesn't need to be what here right now. This? How about revive Avril and borrow small army, abandon settlement, and let them ruin dwell? I can't borrow army from elect accounts. It's not possible. We can't get an alliance with them. Good idea if it would work, but no, that, that won't work. Yeah, you, we can only do that with... with Cult of Sigmar and... Um, 
Hunt's Marshall Expedition. They're the only ones. All right, looking for rogue armies. Because yeah, I'll show you. If we come, uh, if we come over here to Nordland for a, not Nordland, um, Ostland, you see, I can't establish an alliance with them, which means it's impossible to borrow their armies. You can only get an alliance with three factions within the Empire: Marienburg, who can't come back now because Gelt um, confederated them. Then um, Cold of Sigmar and the Hunts Marshal Expeditions. They're the only ones. I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. Ah, crap. For Sigma! Seek out the heretics. Alright, so next stop for us is Grunty Mingle. Okay, nothing else to do here. Scrunge Crimes did a $2 of Jack Gilt's gonna confed Volkmar, lol. No. The AI does not confederate other legendary lord factions. So no, that won't happen. I'm pretty sure. But if it does happen, then <laughs> then Gelt has to stay. Also, Gelt and Bal uh, Gelt and um, Thingy Mabob, they haven't met yet. But they will meet soon. Oh. Will you try to claim Estalia's territories in the foreseeable future? Yes, the army that I'm building with Toddy, fucking Toddy, he's going down to Estalia. So no confed for Gelt. I've had offers, but it would be detrimental to the campaign to confederate Gelt right now. We're working on a way to confederate Gelt. And someone came up with a good idea that I'm going to put into practice. But it'll take it'll take uh, another 20 turns before we get another offer. It's also why I'll never be as good as Legend. I can't stand broken promises even when it's by an ally. I want full control. Yeah, well, I say, so do I. But at the same time, we got to understand what campaign we're doing here. We can't be doing stupid things to jeopardize the campaign. Like, imagine if I went to war with Clan Angrand because I wanted to tidy up the provinces. And then somebody... And then I lost a battle because of it. It just it wouldn't be worth it. You think we can get Wurzag before Crisis spawns? I'm not going to try to. I'm going to allow uh, Wurzag to be the endgame Crisis. It's only one faction. We'll manage. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'm not really bordering him, so... Unfortunately, Cult of Sigmar is, so that's going to be a problem. Okay, I think it's six turns until... I reckon I could potentially get rid of... Wurzag in that amount of time, although he did go down further south. I thought Toddy was taking a detour via Wood Elf lands. Oh yeah, right. Um, yeah, you're probably right. We should do that. What's the worst endgame crisis that can happen to you in the current position? Dwarfs. I lose all my allies. Karazza Karak would come back. Karak Norn would come back. Karak Hiran got confederated. Uh, Zuffbar got confederated. Uh, Kraka Drak would come back. Yeah, that'd be the worst one. Faction 3 spawn anyway for the endgame crisis. Not with green skins, they don't. Uh, Sin did a 50 and okay super chat. Any chances you'd make a. Uh, any, sorry, any changes you'd make to sieges to make them enjoyable aside from the obvious things like ass ladders and pathing let any units destroy gates well why don't we get that first and then we'll see what needs to be done I kind of feel like if those things happen it would drastically change things and it might make sieges more fun but typically speaking I don't enjoy sieges in any total war game they're always a chore they're just really bad in Warhammer that's all
Guild Confederated Friends in Myos Dankia campaign. Okay, well that yeah, okay. If I feed territory to um to the cult of Sigmar constantly, he won't confederate, so well we'll see. Hey legend, are the elect account summoned yet? No, not yet. I mean they're all friendly, but they're not summoned. We're getting there. Hey Snake Nerd Gamer, how's it going, dude? So yeah, I'm really hoping Geld focuses on Clan Moors. I just want them gone. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you gonna jump in the underway and attack Grimhold? <laughs> I've got, I've got defenses. I mean, I've, I've done. Def I don't have defenses there. I've got. Um, Friends of the Empire. Come. I've got regiments of renown I can recruit. Should have been about ten turns now. What kind of army comp or race counters you right now? It's not about army comp or race, it's about catching me with a minor settlement with my pants down. If we're going to lose a battle, it'll be lost on the strategic map. Not because I, I lose tactically. I mean, because it, it'll be something like a full stack attacks a minor settlement, which is impossible to win tactically. So that's what we're really going to a lot of effort to make sure that no enemy armies threaten a minor settlement. Because otherwise my armies can handle whatever's thrown at us. Good. Okay. So I kind of got the feeling like he's going to jump over here. And he's high level, so I doubt I'll be able to block him. Oh, it's doing that, is it? What have you to say? Oh, we did block him. How about that? But yeah, if he did jump over here, I'll just... Rec oh, if he jumped over here, he could potentially threaten both of these settlements. Alright, so let's prevent him from doing that then. We need an army that's going to be able to stop him, just in case he jumps over here. So, probably won't be able to jump this turn, but we can see what he's got here. There's a fair bit of large units, so I reckon going full Halberdier wouldn't actually be the worst thing ever. Get a few crossbows. I live to serve the Emperor. It shall be done. Judgment is death. nice. I am Prince and Emperor. Great. We've lost the movement range thing. I can get it back as soon as I fight a battle manually. My but usually that's an indication that the game is going to crash. Mm. Yes. Good to be fully replenished. On march. Yes, to unite the provinces. Okay, we'll take a little bit of attrition, but it'll be okay. Men, we must attack. By the comet. On march! Tools of judgment ready. Yes, blessed is this action. Not from there, okay. 
Okay, we got to sell Dragon Horn Mine. We cannot keep it. The Empire's unity is the surest shield against our enemies. It looks like these guys are going for Stone Mine Tower. Indeed. Can you move the Crisis Turn counter down a little? It's blocking your treasury. You're right, it is. Okay, hang on. What if I do this? Well, fucking great. I can't see what I'm doing begins. here. Leave no one behind. Okay, that guy does not have lightning strike, and he's also not immortal. Warrior of Sigma. And this settlement here is it's a field battle. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Getting out of here. Which means I would have to launch the attack with this guy here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's much easier if it's a siege. What? Step to it. Eight units. Huntsman General. They will be judged. Onwards. March on the witches. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see how we go with getting this guy here killed in the next fight. Which will make him become mine. Which is what I want. Okay, we want to get more growth going in here. I'm not too fussed about slamming the gold down. Um, I'm not probably going to trade this. I'll, I'll get rid of that and I'll put the gold building there. So I'm not going to trade Pillars of Grogni anymore, so I'm going to replace the other buildings that we had here. Don't need to go with walls. I'm going to get rid of this. This, this region's now safe. The Empire. Okay, so over here. I will marshal the band. Four more turns until I abandon that one again. All right, let's have a look here. Regal and Monster Tracker. All right, so I'll recruit the confident one. Of course. And that'll be attached into this army Ready. here. All right, we need to be putting in those followers. Have we been doing that? Nope. So we can start storing up this Winds of Magic. So Hedge Wizard and... Student and... What was the other one called again? Apprentice Wizard, that's it. So that gives us a nice big boost in Winds of Magic. Okay, now with Empire Captains, where are we best recruiting them? So recruit them at level 9 here, or level 13. Why are they level 13 here? Because I built this, that's why. Okay. So, an Empire Captain army, I think we'll get an Arch Lector. Maybe I should switch it around. Maybe he should have the Empire Captain army. Okay, well, whatever. I can make those switches later. Um, we don't need to re recruit the Lord right now. Just recruiting Empire Captains. Just recruit them one at a time. Sir? And if we want to revive Marcus yes. Will... Well, I didn't say Marcus Wilfart. Um, Marcus... Wilfart? Yeah, that's it. We need to... Put points into con spread control, or else we're not going to... Um, Drop down the control enough. I think we've also got a disciplined character here somewhere. Oh no, the disciplined one is all the way over here. It's over here. Alright, all that looks fine. So this will be possibly coming down. As, it'd be good if I can drag Katarin into this war. We just need to wait for this penalty to expire from when she cancelled the agreement. I could give her some money. 
it's not that big of a deal. Oh, she's already at war with them, so what does it matter? All right, we need more troops here. Just some, just some basic ones is fine. We just need to make sure that they don't capture the settlement from us. They are not. A, they are at war with Astrogoth, so that'll be interesting. Astrogoth doesn't seem to be coming down this way though. Okay, but we're going to war with Astrogoth next turn. Yep, and I'll feed the territory to Gelt, and then hopefully one day be feeding it to. Um, Cult of Shitmar, Sigmar. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Telebackland. Yep, go with that. Wissenland. Nope, don't bother building anything there. So we checked this. There's nothing new there. Yep. Maybe send Huntsman Lord for ground stalk unit. Having one stalk unit, it's not important. Doesn't really provide much value these days. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. So I can actually recruit un infantry units at higher rank for emergencies. That'd be good. And they'll also be cheaper to recruit. Um, over here, it seems like the high elves are starting to get control of the situation a little bit. It's definitely... I've seen it worse. My visions predict failure. High level characters starting to make their way over. All right, that is interesting. Are you at war with... Are you at war with Nagarond? Okay. Are there any more deals that can be made? Let's hear it. No. All right, moving on to the next turn, and there are just five turns until the end game crisis. Which, even if it shows up at Akendorf, sorry, not Akendorf, at Ekrand, it's fine. I definitely don't want it to show up there. Oh no, it's not fine. If it shows up there, then that'll disconnect. Um, the Cult of Sigmar. It shouldn't. It should show up. Wherever Wurzag is, that's what, what I think. A lot of armies over here, good. Push over Clan Moors. What? By the silver hammer, yes. Yep, keep an eye on all the stuff over here. That looks good. These guys need to be making their way down. And yep. Battle wizard. I cannot open. Let's move on. They will be judged. My timer is off. Oh, it's... Okay. Wait, is it four turns? Did I, did I miss a turn? I'll check it next turn. I must have forgot to switch it one turn. Can you cause a revolt at Akendorf? No. Not possible. Doesn't matter. We've already found a way around it. It does show up at Ekrand. Well, we'll just we'll see. What's my research rate? Like two hundred and sixty percent, something like that. We've researched all the good texts. Everything else now has pretty minor amount of value. Empire attack really needs some more stuff. I agree. Sword Cunt, nice name, did a five euro super chat. Hi, Legend. I'm perfectly capable of reading, but I don't want it. How long until the end game crisis? Uh, 50 turns. Thanks, super chat. I wonder why they stopped the puzzle reward for searching ruins like they had in Warhammer 2. I have no idea. Don't know why. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? Warhammer 3 turned two years old today. And it really hasn't improved that much in two years. I remember when people were complaining. Well, I remember talking to... Um, staff members at Creative Assembly saying like this is not really an acceptable way to launch the game and they said look it took us a while to get things going with Warhammer 2 just give us some time we'll get it there well you've had two fucking years now <laughs> that was two years ago that's not that's not a short amount of time
Still got bad sieges. Still got a lot of really bad bugs. Like, the game's good, don't get me wrong. But it's pretty clear that a lot of people aren't really happy with the state of the game. It's not as good as it should be. It's like... It's not bad. It's just, like, slightly disappointing. I mean, you say that, but we didn't even have Immortal Empires on release. You're right. Immortal Empires has only been out for 18 months. You're right. I should I should give Creative Assembly a little bit more time. How about how about five more years? Okay, maybe we can complain in five years. <laughs> five years from now, still waiting. No, five years from now, Warhammer Three will be over. It's fine. Whatever. Let's just let's not talk about this too much. A bit negative. They definitely have made improvements, so I'm not going to deny that. They have made improvements. Okay. Rip hero, what happened? I didn't see. Well, if Morgo jumps in the underway, he'll probably get intercepted by them. Skaven assassinated my character. Like, wounded or full on assassinated? I guess I'll find out next turn. Good, Thoric. Take it. Take it, it's yours. Take it. Oh, what the fuck did they get? Oh, I bet that was Zinch. <laughs> Fucking Zinch. Why, why do the AI insist on sacking everything? I don't need that settlement. Just, it's gonna sack everything. How's the campaign viewership? It's pretty good. Yep, three thousand on turn. Sorry, on part five. That's very good. Plus, we've got how many people watching on Twitch? Let me just check. 983 viewers on Twitch. So yeah. So more than 4,000 people watching. Unless, of course, people are doubling up, which could be the case. Don't see why you would. I don't need to watch any more of these. Only 65 factions remain. Yeah, the last 20 factions, you don't need to watch what they're doing. Goromandi tribe got wounded. So, okay, it was just wounded, and it was... Right. What happened to them? They've gone hiding. I didn't see them anywhere though. He couldn't possibly be here because we'd be an underway stance.
Okay, you can see here he's targeting right in there. So he is still there. <laughs> he's giving the game away there. Watch. Good. All right, these guys here, they're there catching up. Good. We got our friend. movement aura back. Never. And we didn't end up taking any attrition because we stripped away the enough chaos corruption. That's nice. Show me the accused. Step to it. I trust no man. Yeah, I was a turn behind, so it's actually only four turns. There. Okay, there is no way I can take out words like in that amount of time because Zinch basically ensured that he's going to show up. Even if I was prioritizing it, they did that. This guy's remained in Force March stance this whole time. Is this a good army? So, no. Left. Okay, that's good. That. Mm, okay. Yes. I trust no man. Another thing to consider: if these units here get wiped out, it'll be easier to reborrow the army again. All right. It is time, Astrogoth. It is time. Right, he has no allies. Let me just make sure he has no treaties with anyone before I do this. All right, if I declare war outright, I'll be dragging a lot of people into this war. Which could give me missions for for stuff, so I'll do it. War declared. Everyone joined me. Good stuff. All right, so we've got. All right, you need to make the attack. Casting the runes. And we have to fight this manually because the whole point of this is to get this guy wounded. It's going to be a field battle. To battle. To send him in straight away, hopefully they wreck him. What might end up happening, though, is that they end up routing him and then just giving up on trying to kill him. So that might happen. And then these guys come in. Now, we definitely want this army to be the one that comes in, because it's so much better. We've got a few levels up I can distribute, but honestly, this battle should be pretty easy. I'm not going to worry about it. Then again, I am being lazy. Let's, let's not be lazy. Yeah, it doesn't help to be lazy. How did I skip that one? Crown of Command actually useful for a change? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I'll put the Crown of Command on him, actually. That's a good idea. So this is why I don't do it every single time they level up. It's just way quicker this way. And I don't really want to use auto oh, I could. I don't like it very much. Won't get all the skills that do actually have some value. Ulrika. Uh, I shouldn't need that. Spell resistance. Yep, that could be useful for her, and yep. That's pretty good. So she's still got a fair bit of leveling up to do. That's meaty level up. Tree, skill tree.
All right, let's launch the attack. Crown of Command plus Leadership Banner. Leadership Banner. Okay, I've already got the Leadership Banner. I just put that on him. How did he do that? It doesn't belong on that army. You can actually give banners to other arm, other um, ones of your army. Yeah, we have to fight it manually. All right, they come in in a minute 13, so that's good. All right, shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, all we have to do is just not get wiped out within a minute 13, and then the rest of this should be pretty easy. But what we do is we just throw this guy, actually throw all of these, because I don't need Clan Angren to own these units, throw all of these at the enemy and hope that they destroy all of these units especially him. Once that's done, I can just give this army back. There's one more crown. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How long have you been on Twitch for? Don't think I've ever heard you mention it. About a week. Yeah, about a week. Alright. Maybe a little bit more than a week. Alright, so you have to survive this battle. But the rest of you don't. Now, the whole point of throwing these guys away is that if I fail to get this guy killed in this battle, that I can still borrow the army again, but it'll be cheaper for me to uh, borrow it because I don't have much allegiance points left with Clan Angrand. Plus there's other heroes out there that we want to get. Legend, why are you sending him into melee? Him completely surrounded. Also, yeah, we don't want him to shoot because that'll force them to. We don't even want these guys here to shoot because then they'll they'll start charging at us. I don't want them to happen. Just charge on in, get killed. You guys go go fight something like a bull centaur render. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, they don't... What did damage to this? Uh, I think he got terror routed. I'm not sure about that, actually. Yeah, he did. Terror Rattled is just a timer thing, so they can't always come back. No, don't attack me. spells because I don't want this guy to heal at all. Dwarf sitting there being like, that guy's in the book of grudges you fucking ungy piece of shit. Still ends up breaking. And they just don't care. So it may take more than one battle. They just, this is why I need to have a siege. He's still got this going on. Come on, rally. Get in over there and get killed. Oh, 
<laughs> How dare you? Did don't notice me. Good. Why is he sending his units into Mithra like this? God, they don't care at all. Yeah, go fight this. <laughs> they, they, they do not care. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Oh, nice! Now, fucking kill me. I got terror routed. No expire. Damn it, it's too, too late in that. No! Come on, oh, come on, come on, please kill me. Come on, hurry up. Come on, rally. Probably gonna need another shot to get this guy. Come on, get in there. Get in there, bitch. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Please kill my guy here. What could I do to cast spells on him? I guess I could use Dwellers Below on him constantly. That could work. Don't know how much Winds of Magic I've got, though. Come on, kill me! That thing is gone. Yes, ready to strike. Come on, if this doesn't. Right, I need to tell my units to stop shooting because we're going to get army losses on them. <laughs> and we haven't done... Wait. Oh, you fuck! He shattered. I need 17 wins of magic. Oh, you fucking turds. Might as well win the battle now outright. I don't know how much wins of magic I've got. Like, okay, there's the army losses. God, this guy is so annoying. Use the gun army ability. Yeah, you're right. That could do something. Not much. He'll store rocket batteries, they might do something. <laughs> Come on guys. Come on guys. I don't think I've got any more winds of magic. Oh my god, it's definitely doing something. Yeah, that's it. Turn back around. Turn back around. 
I don't think I've got any more. That's another thing as well. If I cast a spell, it will actually heal him. Unless I use shadow magic. Let's go, go, go. If I use... Is there anything I can do for some magic? Oh my god. My only hope is to be able to use Pit of Shades. And this one again. Mortars too? They're out of range. And Mortars horribly inaccurate. Alright, here we go. I gotta aim this just right. Magic. <laughs> 51 health. I don't have anything left to do. I'm out of magic. I thought this might happen. Uh, there's. I got nothing left I can do. Like, these guys here aren't going to be able to keep up with him, and I can't. He's not an enemy, so I can't. Um... Yeah, I can't knock him back. I got nothing left. Gaining ground. All right, we'll just have to get him in the next battle then. Ulrika. There's nothing I can do. Will he take attrition? No. Nah. For some reason, this army is not taking attrition. How important is it really? It's not that important, but you should try and do it. No bounce spells? No. Flock of Doom won't work on an allied unit. Attrition anywhere? Nothing has worked. Manual fire won't work. I'll never be able to hit him from that distance. Imagine if he equipped the second Crown of Command before the battle. I had the Crown of Command ready to use. The problem with Crown of Command is that it doesn't rally the unit. You have to, you basically have to predict when he's about to rout, which is very difficult. That's why a Crown of Command is actually a really terrible item. Because if a unit routes and you hit the Crown of Command, it actually stops it from rallying completely. It's a really awful item. Lord of Clan Morgrim. All right. At least, at least by doing this, he is taking no replenishment. Can I merge these two? No. I didn't wipe out any of his units. All right. We have to be able to hit this settlement here. Next turn, Desolation of Drakenmoor is. No man. By the silver hammer, okay. yes. The land provides. You get in there, get the a little bit of replenishment. Keen. Yeah, we have to basically just try again over here. This is why a siege would be really useful for us. Okay. So just try again next turn. It's fine. Because, yeah, it's easier when he's already really badly damaged. Well, we might be able to get him next turn. So it's not that bad. That's why we're going to put up contingency plans. It's all good. Alright. What are you doing? You're coming up this way? Champion of the faith. What happened to... Okay, I think an army... That's actually pretty good if that happens. <laughs> uh, this is a defensive army only. Just stay put. Alright. So Carl France still needs to move. We've got this settlement over here to go and capture. That should be easy. Attack! It is, like I said, it's not going to matter. We'll get him next turn. Okay, now I want to 
see if I can I give that to you. Volkmar. Good, I can Let's actually start feeding territory over to, uh, to uh, Volkmar, which I will do. I can give him... Sigmar Wait, no, mighty. I can give... I can take he Gorgazan, but I can't Kotho. give him this other region for some reason. Grunty Mingol. Well, I guess I'll be giving it to them. Because, yeah, I can't have it. Ha, my faith and it will take me Christ. two turns to get there. I will not obey. Alright. The council is disappointed. It's alright, as long as they're connected. That's the main thing there. Praise be to Sigma. If only I had an item that... Oh no, I can't equip General. those guys, can I? So yeah, that wouldn't matter. Just thinking an item that had Unbreakable on it. Alright, so over here... The Empire. This guy attaches to he, that army. This will you the just nation. chill over here Our for now. Words. Still not getting what we want. Sir. What? So we're the training a, a uh, Empire Captain army to go and revive Marcus Wolfart. Which, you know, it'll take a few turns. And we're recruiting a Warrior Priest Doomstack to actually go and fight and do a good job. But uh, let's see how we go. Because, yeah, I think if we send a full Warrior Priest army into here, because with Lightning Strike, we should be okay. Should be okay to manage that. Especially with loads of Winds of Magic, and this guy here who has... He's going to have Guardians, so they're going to have extra physical resistance. And I'll give them loads of equipment when the time comes. So Relentless, yeah, you got to be able to keep up with those guys. Why is there two skills here for charge bonus on a dwarf? Seems a bit seems a bit not needed. So right. So it's it's slowly coming together. It'll take a while. Imagine if Geltz confederate Volkmar. He shouldn't. That shouldn't happen. Especially if I give Volkmar any territory. That shouldn't happen. So that's good. But yeah, if Gelt does confederate Volkmar, that would obviously be very annoying. But what can I do about it if that happens? Wait, doesn't this increase our recruit rank of Empire Captains? Yeah, that's good. Okay, don't bother with that because it's red territory. Karazza correct. Let's try to get things growing again. And don't worry about Whistling because we've still got a fair bit of shenanigans that we need to do to sort out this. Fair bit of shenanigans. Okay. Uh, are there any new wizards we could recruit? Not yet. Okay, all good. My axe thirsts for war. So I'm definitely rooting for Belagar to smash through here. Because if I was to come over here, this would be easy. Uh, Frag and Wagon did a £2 super chat saying no message. No worries, dude. Thanks for super chat. Is why coming, guys? Yep, it'll be coming. So we've got four turns until the end is nigh. It's happening today. Because we get through our turns fairly quickly. I don't fight that many battles every single turn. Because I don't have that many armies. And I do a lot of auto resolving. Yeah, I want to search that to level up my character. Nice. Is it time? <laughs> Think me full for search it again. Yes, Good. Levels him up. Seek out the heretics. Greetings. Okay, that's that gets reasonably strong. All 
Alright, checking for rogue armies. Good. Keep this guy out here, just keeping an eye on the Dark Elves. Check diplomacy and then we'll move on to the next turn. Valiant Lord. I wonder who... I reckon it's Yuan Bo. Could be Clan Pestilence. Could be a thousand Moors that own that. Bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I will I hear. never fail. They are one people. Like the motherland. Gotta re-establish this friggin' alliance, but, you know, she's paying for it. Lord, do you know? Lost all of our yes. allegiance points, though. Green profit. Alright, looking at this... Yeah, there are no missions for us. We're not getting any missions at the moment. And let's move on, because there is nothing else to do. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind it if they came out. Oh, no, no, no. I really would prefer it if Katarin took out Archaon, so I don't have to deal with him. <laughs> That'd be good. Alright, let's move on. Hey, Jin, any idea how to put the both schools of magic on the same spell wheel if the hero has them of course instead of swapping pages i have no idea how to do that do you have any unbreakable or frenzy banners i don't think so that would that would be good i don't think i've got any i can have a quick look i don't recall that the empire gets any like actually interesting banners like that crisis counter thank you i'll do that you are not welcome in my why don't you just why don't you threaten me first hey what's with this <laughs> we don't border him this is why I gave all the territory away so it's not that big of a deal um, yeah drag everyone to war with him the war host of Zara is pretty strong though It seems like Miao Ying is doing very well. What's this? Oh, the Blessed Dread is pretty big as well. Yeah. Do you think the alliance, alliance system needs work? I find it inconsistent with missions to gain points and the limit of alliance recruiting I find annoying. Uh, it could maybe use a little bit of a tweak, but I think it's better than what we had in Warhammer 2, that's for sure. It's actually worth getting alliances now. I, I really don't think they've got anything I need to see. At Legend Total War, ask your audience to cancel their subscription on the official Total War channel. Cheesing this contest? What? With them as Cheese Lord? Uh, no. Look, I'm not gonna do that. That's pretty... That, like, that's really spiteful. I'm not gonna do that. I can't stop anyone from doing it. And you're right that if Creative Assembly's sub count goes down then that is this like if their sub count goes down by a thousand then essentially my goal is increased by a thousand so you know if if for example creative assembly tonight went down to four hundred and ninety four thousand subscribers then i would have technically surpassed them and then you get your reward so yes that is technically correct but i'm not going to encourage people to do that <laughs> Yeah, if you want to cheese the system, that's up to you. I'm not endorsing that at all. <laughs> I doubt there is much overlap between your subs and CA's official channel. Who knows? I'm Look, I'm still subscribed, and I can show you. I'm still subscribed to the Total War official channel. I did not unsubscribe from them. Alright, I'll bring up... The thing, I am currently subscribed to 
the Total War channel. Okay? I just want to show, show that. Because I don't think I'm going to be that petty about it. Surely it's okay for you to unsub to game the system? Um, well they're still subscribed to me. Let me just confirm that. They're still subscribed to me, so unless they unsubscribe from me, I'll remain subscribed to them. So let me just, let me just confirm that. Yes. Yeah, so... Total War is, has been subscribed to my channel since March 9, 2020. Yeah. So they've been subscribed to me for three years. On, on YouTube. So until, if they unsubscribe from me, then I'll unsubscribe from them. Um, like what they did with Twitter. See, we were both following each other, the Total War official channel on Twitter. And then I, through my support for Voland in terms of the um, uh, the DMCA strike, and I will stand up for anyone that gets DMCA striked by by a company, unless of course they're just re-uploading straight up videos of them. I will stand up for anyone. Um, but I stood up for Voland, and then they immediately uh, unfollowed me on Twitch, uh, Twitter. <laughs> it was like like that. I was like, fair enough. Wasn't happy about it, but whatever. So then I unfollowed them. Fuck them. <laughs> Just saw CA sub count increase by one and then decrease one. You shouldn't be able to see it increase by any more than by the thousands, but whatever. How do you support freedom of speech? Hmm. I mean, it's definitely a grey area with reaction stuff, but I'm pretty sure it was safe. So, I don't know. No, Morgo, fuck off. Yes. D you won, right? I think they lightning strike. You can see exact numbers on third party websites. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, I don't think people care enough about YouTuber goals to actually go and unsubscribe to other channels. And I, d I don't want you to go and do that anyway. I'd much rather increase my sub count than decrease theirs. I've n I don't want to decrease their sub count. Here's the thing though, it is inevitable. We will, on YouTube, surpass the Total War official channel. It'll happen one day, it will happen. I've been gaining on them for years and it's just now that we're getting kind of close. It will happen. It's just, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, that's all. It may happen this year, it may not, who knows. Another faction destroyed. Oof, that who it is. They got some they got some distance on them. Alright, we definitely need to sell the howling rock. I could I probably the reach the, the blasted expanse. So step to it. There's another army over here. Oh, all of these are outposts. Isula Makas. 
All right, so here's the thing to note. Vengeful rune lord. Is that? I trust no man. If I go and capture this settlement, then they can attack me and force march this one over here. Two armies against us. I could attack this one here. Now, and then it's just one army. And I can give that to Gelt and be standing outside the settlement. To untame lands. But ooh, it'll be right on the edge. There's no corruption here. No attrition. They'll likely have a fair few armies up north. Obviously, I can't tell exactly. Try to get a little bit further north. The Empire. Is this army here? How strong are they? He's on our tools. Too bad. Do you think they should be defeat trait for legendary heroes? Absolutely, yeah. That'd be awesome. Master of Runecraft. But this army's gonna have to actually come in as reinforcements. Hang on. Send in. Get on it. There could it always be an army launch. in ambush stance, so send this one here. It has to launch the attack. The other ones can't make it. This army here getting ambushed, it would survive. Cast evil out! Oh, what I could also do is just sack the settlement. I don't have to actually capture it. Is it time? Well, it'll use up all my movement either way, so I might as well sack it and then just give it Move to Guild. Armed and ready. All right, here Come we off. go. Here we go. Oh, look, he's still got that banner on him. That's interesting. Hunt Let me just general. see real quick. Do we have a better leadership banner? This one's plus eight. That might be a little bit better. For the Emperor! And yes, I will equip the fucking Crown of Command. Alright. Piece of shit item. I hate this item so much. It's trash. Alright. We obviously have to fight it manually, unless Order Resolve actually kills him in... Let me just check. It does. <laughs> I'll take a lot of casualties, though. Because here's the thing, he's not going to have leadership penalties from being this badly damaged. He's not going to route straight away. Comes in in a minute 50. Which is after this one. Hang on, let me just check. I just need to know if this guy up here has lightning strike. No way, not possible for him to li have lightning strike. Strike. Didn't I just kill this dude? They must have switched, switched, switched their armies. This guy could be immortal. Death to the faithless. All right, I think I'll auto resolve it because that'll guarantee I get what I want. And if they attack us, well, we can heal, so it should be fine. Problem is, it's going to be a close victory. I know we can do better than that. Ah, fuck, it's fine. Alright, we got him. We got him. Alright, we will... Occupy it. Then we will force march this army here. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Protect me! I'm the greatest ally. Huntsman General! Alright, if this one attacks me, yep, we're backing each other up. Alright, I gotta sell a couple of regions over to um to Geld. Alright, what's it called? We gotta sell Howling Rock. Empire's blessings, yes. And then blasted expanse. Oh, piss. The settlement doesn't fucking border it or something. Hang on. What's going on there? It absolutely does border it. Friendship no, it's a T. It's the blasted expanse, not blasted expanse. There we go. I was worried there for a second. There we go. 
Okay, now, by doing that, if they end up fighting us and I just don't want to fight it, well, then I can just back off and it's fine. Good, the guy got wounded, and if we have a look here, he should be mine now. Yeah. Ah. Oh, another warlock. Uh, another. Warlock. Just another engineer. Good stuff. Because these guys. This one here is a war with. Yeah, Golden Order. Okay, good stuff. So they'll back us up in battle. And also, by doing that, the garrison should have fully replenished. Yep. Now, we'll need a little bit of time to replenish. We'll come back over here. Uh, should be fine. Huntsman General! Yeah, all this looks fine. Because this army is not it's as dangerous as that one that we just fought. Warrior of Sigma. Nah, there is no way in hell I'd be able to win against a beefed up garrison like this. With that piece of shit. Yeah, just keep an eye on him, please. Okay, well that was interesting. They will be judged. Yes, for now. Yeah, scouting ruins, if there's nothing there, doesn't give you any experience. The nation calls. Pick up the pace. No scaven out here, nothing to worry about. The nation calls. Guys here are what trying to catch up. They're getting there. Alright, Grunty Mingle. I don't think I can sell that to I you, can you I? Welcome nope. in the I should be able to sell you. Galbaraz, though, but I'm not holding on to that for a single turn, so we'll sell it. Bronte Mingle. Or so they tell me. Oh, come on, you got more money than that. Yeah, give me that money. All right. Do chorps keep, do chorps keep dr grudges like the dwarves? No, I don't think so. I think they get over it fairly quick. Your orders? Compared to a dwarf, that is. I will marshal the men. Shield of faith. Alright, what do we got this turn? Thank you, Jesus! Sigmar, I mean. Finally! What do you require? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Awesome! Finally got a disciplined warrior priest. So yeah, don't get this guy killed. So that'll improve my entire army by a little bit. Yes, General. By the comet. Still not sure what I'm doing with this one here. That guy's got a lot of movement range. I find that the stolen heroes do have a lot of campaign movement range. Um, this would be good for Balthazar Gelt's army, for sure, when the time comes, I suppose. I guess I'll just get him to boost income in the meantime. I think I prefer to go with long range. Then again, you get... Gives him stalk. As opposed to Vanguard deployment. Get 20% extra health. Melee defense plus 12. Hmm. I usually do go Deadeye, but I might actually go Grudge Raker. Definitely going to get that. Doesn't give him much range, but makes him way better in melee. I don't know. Okay. Can always just tag him out with that again. What does discipline do? It's not a big deal on its own, right? Leadership plus two, all units in the army. Melee attack plus two, all units in the army. The thing is, if you get 20 of those, that's 40 melee attack and leadership. It basically makes all of your units unbreakable and makes it so they can actually hit Archeon. Bring me to my men. 
All right, I think we're good here. All right, what I want to do is go into ambush dance. Order to serve. I want to, I want this guy to jump in the underway over here sooner rather than later. Ever vigilant. I'll definitely recruit some regiments of renown if they're going to do that because I want to make sure I've got a full stack. This guy should be able to handle it though. All right. So three turns left. Yep, three turns left until the end is now. Okay. Still got black crag, but it's pretty safe. Good. I don't want to lose this. It was good to see the Bretonia took out a whole bunch of their armies. That is very nice to see. Uh, I'm definitely rooting for Belagard to defeat Orion. Of course. Fuck Orion. Yeah, don't build up Dotten back. Pointless. Protector of the weak. That's pretty good. I hope. All right, do we have any missions from allies? Corone's got us a mission to defeat Morgur. Uh, hang on. We are. Actually, far more likely to fight this guy here, so I'll do that. Morgan might just decide not to attack. Um, don't bother with that. Neither of them are within range at the moment. Wait for better options. Alright, looking for whatever quick deal we can find. What? Love. None shall. All good. And. Rogue armies, there are not. Checking up on Malekith's potential invasion. He'll land in Albion Ready. before he lands near Marienburg. But we need to get scouts over here, just check. Just in case. That all seems fine. And over here, this all seems fine. It shall back be over done. Here. Ready, pick up the pace. Where's the land? Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to see that Balthazar Gelt is at least not losing territory. This is the big thing. This is one why you want to give them these territory. The AI will just sack settlements if it's owned by the other AI. But if it's owned by the player, they'll occupy it. Most of the time. Okay, let's move on. I don't think there's anything I forgot. How long till victory? Uh long time. Yeah, it's got a long way to go to victory. Who has the sword of Kanin? <laughs> Kanin! The sword of Kanin. Um, I think Avalorn has it. Really, O'Re really O'Reilly, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Isn't ballistic calibration way too good? Ah, uh, nah, not really. It's, it's okay. It's not way too good. Overrated. Will you revive Averheim? Averland? No. No. There's no need for it now. <laughs> Suck on that, Clan Angrid. No, I don't. I can't deal with two. Well, at least at least Ungram is going over there. He should be fine. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Is territory or army strength the main factor behind strength ranking? It's army strength. That's the only thing that matters. You could have five hundred settlements and no armies, and it will say that you're super weak. 
I kind of feel like the uh, the Chaos Dwarfs are going to dominate. Oh no, look at that, they actually... Okay. Well, good. You, you go, girl. How come you play turns on a slower speed? Because I need to see what's going on, that's why. We can't miss a single thing in this kind of campaign. We miss one key detail, campaign is over. Do you think a Chaos Endgame Crisis will be added soon? If I had to guess, I'd say no, but I've got no insight on it at the moment. Hey, look at that. He's borrowed units from me. You have to love those right angle tessellation on the Chaos Corruption. Yeah, it's weird because they actually, it looked good in Warhammer 2. It, there was none of that in Warhammer 2. With Chaos Corruption. Because the way it worked in Warhammer 2 is that it spread out from the city. And it was just like a... It wouldn't necessarily spread out to the entire province. And so it looked, it transitioned well. Even with, like, inconsistent corruptions everywhere. Now, what they did with Warhammer 3 is they made the cor uh, corruption look more vibrant and have full spread over the entire province. But what they what they really should have done is try to find some way to have, like, a, a blend, a gradient between regions of no corruption and high corruption. So, I don't know. Maybe that was too hard. I don't know. Two years on, it's not been fixed. Do you prefer Warhammer 3 Endgame Crisis over Warhammer 2? No. When I play Warhammer 3 in my own time, I usually have Endgame Crisis turned off because I think that it lowers the amount of fun that I play. I have on this game. It actually lowers it. I don't like Endgame Crises. I only put them on in these campaigns so that you guys can enjoy watching me suffer. But personally, I turn them off. But Legend, it's a challenge. Never watched a Total War streamer before, casually play myself, in absolute awe of your economy. It's alright to be a casual, it's alright. Here's the thing, my economy is only high because I'm not spending money on military because I don't need to. Um, and trust me, we'll spend that money soon. Uh, Tucian, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. You're the 415th subscriber. You <laughs> damn mock the mighty Canini. <laughs> What's an ideal endgame challenge? What's happened with Malekith is exactly what you want to see with endgame crisis or an endgame challenge. That's what you want to see. A faction that built up naturally and just played the game, you know, with cheats, obviously, but didn't just spawn these armies out of the ground and become incredibly frustrating to deal with. So what's happened with with Malekith, that is the kind of stuff that happened in Warhammer 2, but with every major faction. So, you know, the dwarfs, the Auditide, I guess, um, they, they just naturally build power blocks. And that's, it's, I'm actually surprised that it happened in Warhammer 3. Although, in Warhammer 2, it would have been way bigger. When Warhammer 1 came out, didn't you have millions on your vampire count playthrough? Oh man, I don't know. Maybe when I had the whole map. Are you disappointed with your progress so far? I would have liked to have captured more territory, but as long as I haven't suffered a single defeat, then that's all that matters. I'm pretty happy with how many of the endgame crisis factions we've prevented. Greetings from Sigma. Nope. The Kappa Dane subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Can you make a vid how to revive every lord, or at least the place where they can revive him? 
Uh, most of the Mads Discord has something along those lines. You should check that out. the attack on Orion. That was a mistake on his part, I think. It's really good that they're pushing Zinch out. I was worried about that for a bit. Sounds like you are the kind of Pokemon trainer who finishes the game with 40 max revives in your backpack. Not only that, I'm the kind of guy who never uses the Master Ball. Yeah, that, that is me, basically, yeah. No, Bretonia, why you have to suck so much? No, Belagar, why do you have to suck so much? Don't friggin' sack it! Fuck, bloody you piece of shit! You're just gonna get killed! <laughs> Uka Rocket did a five dollar super chat. If they gave rewards for beating up the endgame crisis, scaling according to how strong you choose, make them be enough to fix the mechanic. Yes, that if that was what they did, I would probably put ultimate endgame crisis on all the time. If there was a reward per endgame crisis that you took out, that was that was like relative to what you defeated. Like let's let's just say you defeat the green skin endgame crisis. And it gives you, say, physical resistance plus 10% faction wide. Fucking amazing. I'd, I'd like that. Um, and let's just say Skaven was. I don't know. 20 wins of magic reserves faction wide. Something like that. Who knows? No. We don't want to confederate Ostermark. Yeah, there's only a handful of technologies left. Uh, Frag and Wagon did a two pounds image. Maybe Belagar sacks because he stole his heroes. I don't care. <laughs> Could be right. All right. My orders are to move. Alright, can I give this to you? I am Volkmar, no, I still Grand can't Field. give it to you. I command here. Alright, well I don't need to sell this straight away since it has no garrison. So, I'll, if I get to Stormhenge and then get it to you, that could work. Maybe I should just give it to Guilt anyway. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, I think Wurzag has got something where On like assassination march. chances are reduced. Don't fret, they'll be open. I trust no man. Servant of the faith. I'm a little bit concerned that they are thinking about coming down here. A little bit concerned about that. So this guy here is fairly low level. Maybe let's try blocking him. Speak. Tools of judgment ready. Good. Show me the accused. Ekwazak. Champion of the faith. Hunt them down! Turn 109 was the turn where you got the settlement from Whistleland. Okay, thanks, dude. Well, what was the turn that I gave it back? That was the that was the number I actually needed. This would have been turn 110, I think. I serve the Helden Hammer. Good amount of replenishment. Target spotted. Enemy hero success chance minus 50 faction wide. Right. Well, that would explain it then. Alright, looks like I have to fight this manually, or else my characters will die. Don't have a choice. 
Smoke with pandas. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. I can't believe we're on episode 5 and we've got 3,300 viewers. Really appreciate everyone being here. Hope you're enjoying it. Okay, 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 okay. So... It would be good if we could get some life magic to heal the heroes as they come in. Unfortunately, I chose the army that doesn't have much winds of magic, but that's okay, we'll make do. There's nothing dangerous about this. Should be fine. And if they wait for us to... Yep, they're going to wait for us. Wait, are they? Yep, okay, good. Yeah, we don't have much wins. It was also 109? Okay. Okay. Doesn't have to be exact, but yeah. that That is how we're going to get Wissenland, is by doing that shenanigans. Twitch with 900 plus people? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Them as well. <laughs> Let you do forget about the Twitch. No, you're right. Okay, move on. I don't think we're going to heal all of them. But we can definitely heal some of them. At least they all get the life bloom, so that's good. Probably should try to focus on the ones that are the most damaged. Oh, this guy's got a potion healing. Use it. It's way more efficient to use earth blood as opposed to regrowth, because regrowth, while it does heal a lot, it's only one character. Whereas this provides it to four, plus you get the um, the life bloom on everyone. So everyone gets a bit of healing. So what we should do here is get the ones that are most damaged, move them up front. Uh, here we go. Let us go! Yeah, I mean, if they want to do that, that's fine by me. Shit. I watched your old old world stream of Queek and quite liked the map. Seems like a good challenge. Yeah, it was it was a good campaign. Performed okay. Nothing spectacular. One last little heal. Neil of Orange subscribeth Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Will the game waste heals on fully healed targets if they are in range of the heal? Yeah, uh, so the AI. 
So yeah, the AI will cast heal spells on units that are damaged that have that started the battle damage, so you can't actually revive them. So they'll use Invocation of Nehek and Earth Blood on on units that don't actually get any healing because all they checked they looked to say, oh look, damaged unit, not at full strength, must put down a heal. So they will waste their magic in those cases. Move in, scouts. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. What okay. does the Emperor? A little bit of replenishment. Cool. Seek out the heretics. But yeah, we'll give that to Gilt next turn, so it's not under any threat. We have 40 passive... Oops, we've got 40 allegiance with Clan Angren, so I'm not going to be borrowing any of their armies for a while, it seems. Bring me to my men. Let us forge our... Oh, here we go, here we go. Summon the Elector Counts. Yes. Hang on. Ready. The nation calls. The stars blink agreement. All right, and finally we've men. got the... These guys have finally made it into this army. They've been traveling for a really long time. A time to heal. I'll keep the disciplined wizard here, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to send them back to, to the Empire. And so this guy here is now providing a little bit of extra melee attack to these guys, because we already had one discipline, now we got two. So otherwise, if we didn't have any disciplined, they would have 60 melee attack and 94 leadership. The leadership's not the thing that I'm trying to boost, though. They will be judged. No, don't do that. Forward. So after we've captured Stormhenge... If I was to go over here, I've got to be very careful because there's no elect account over here. I could just go straight to Skaven Blight. There is a large military army, uh, presence there. Where will we send Karl Franz afterwards? Because also the endgame crisis is two turns away. He'll probably have to deal with it. Yeah, I think what would be best... Like, this situation over here, it's annoying, but it's not urgent. The Endgame Crisis is likely to be summoned around either Death Gorge, Ekrand. If it shows up at Ekrand, we need to immediately get over there and put a stop to it. I guess we'll just have to see. We'll find out in two turns, won't we? All right, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do this turn. Okay, that's all done. Looking at my military forces. Yep, that's all good. We're waiting to see what happens with Morgur. Is there any chance that not for the kind you could join war against Morgur? You would already be dead. No, you won't do it. So, I'm saying an ambush stance here in the hope that he'll jump in the underway. We have met before. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed sacking it because you're going to die because of it. Yes. Photos. Okay, construction. We've got a little bit to do. Good. Finally, Sylvania. Castle Dragonhof reaches tier 5, which doesn't really provide a huge amount of benefit, but it's better than nothing. We don't need any growth buildings, which we don't have, because this actually provides money. Yep, okay, that's fine. Nordland. Yep. I don't see myself giving this settlement up. Yep, we want more of those. That is fine. Don't bother with that. Don't bother. And don't bother. So... We can give this settlement back... Maybe next turn or the turn after. I'll give it one more turn, just to... Because I, I feel like it's five turns, but it's, it's hard to say sometimes. And I don't think there's any rush. Yes! All right. The rights of war are ready. Sigma heals us. Come on, discipline again, discipline again. No. Anyway. Yes, General. What do you require? Good. 
So, this yeah, it's coming animation. along. It's, it's got a bit to go before it's ready. Alright, I think we are done here. Items for Car France's new heroes. Uh, Who calls? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Actually, you could have kept the student. There is power within prayer. By the comet. All right, let's see. I think we've got a book of Ashur. Are you gaining winds of magic? No. All right, let's have a look at arcane items first. So the other guy had a power stone. I've got I got two trickster shards. This piece of shit. I hate this item. Fuse it. That's not as bad. Forbidden Rod. That's actually not too bad for you because you can heal yourself. So we'll give you that. And that'll give you some spell resistance as well. Then an enchanted item. You should not need a potion of healing. We shouldn't need any more potions of healings in this entire army. So enchanted item. I guess you could have the other tricks to shard. That way you can dish out more damage if you hover over them. Then talisman. Obsidian Lodestone wouldn't be too bad because these guys do tend to get targeted a fair bit by wizards. Then Tormentor Sword would be good. And then for basic armor, probably glittering scales. No, actually make it make it helm of discord. Yep. Cool. And then this guy here. What should we give him? To see what's available here. Oh, that's a decent debuff. Uh, I think I want to put that in my uh, my actual other army. Alright, I'll give you Beast Slayer. Okay, that's fine. And Talisman. I think I've got a Talisman of Preservation here for you. Yep. An Enchanted Item. I've got... That's crap. Alright, Talisman of Endurance will do for... N no, hang on. I was looking at enchanted items. Van Horseman Speculum Scrape. I've only got one of those. Potion of Toughness. Definitely don't want to fuse those. Potion of Speed and Potion of Foolhardiness is garbage. These sort of anti-heroes, they're nothing that special. I'm going to fuse two of them. Sort of bloodshed is nothing too exciting either, but I'll keep that for now. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a particularly good enchanted item, so we'll just give him a mediocre one. Okay, cool. Happy. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. We've checked everything. Check for rogue armies. Yep. And we've checked out here. Seek out the heretics. Okay, moving on. I think my biggest concern at the moment is whatever these guys do. If they both start coming down here, we need to immediately start Your recruiting another army command. because this will not be able to repel it. Of it's good that this one here was able to block it. If it could just gain three more levels, it'll become immortal. That'll be really handy. Okay, and let's move on. Is there a reason not to equip Stalberg's letter? I'm not fighting any of the vampires. There's a couple of Wands of Jets. I don't like Wands of Jet anymore. It was good in Warhammer 2, but in Warhammer 3, Wands of Jet sucks. Peace, for that is all I ever want. Now you want an alliance? Recently signed treaties. That's weird that it says that, because what it really means is recently broken treaties. So, no, you can pay big monies for that. <laughs> you can pay big, big monies.
Yeah, Castelton, yeah. Kill it. Oh, for fusing, right. Uh, don't worry about it, it's fine. Yeah, you're right, I would fuse them. I'll probably just end up with more trash. I don't want to spend too much time fusing stuff. Is the Reichsguard Doomstack actually good? It is surprisingly good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not the best Doomstack in the game. And it's not like it can just take on everything and win. But if you're careful with it, we can win in most situations. We've, yeah, we've, we've handled situations where the order resolve has been like valiant defeat and we've been able to win without losing any units. No, 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 no. no go for Ungram. Kill Ungram. Yeah, do Ungram. Uh, Ungram lost. I won't be able to pursue. At least Ungrim took out a lot of a lot of them, so that's good. I gotta wonder though, how does an unbreakable character not get wounded in the battle? Can you confirm it's still zero defeats? Because I'm finding that hard to believe within the Empire. I can show you that it's still zero defeats. And the everybody else in the chat who has been watching can confirm. I like sort of bloodshed. It's just not very interesting. It's just like an extra melee attack. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like the. It's not a bad item. I just prefer something a little bit more tactical, like the Tormentor Sword. R three mix subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Get my fat Prime fave Total War Warhammer streamer. All right, no, dude. Yep. Could you kill that half damage Chorf army and then disband your army? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to reach it for one thing. Dil Floxo subscribed with tier one. Nice dude, appreciate that. We've got four twenty subs. Blazing. <laughs> Next milestone is 690. Out of the 37 ish hours I've seen of the Carl Franz, zero defeat. I haven't seen a defeat. Well, I can promise you right now, if we suffer a single defeat, the exact same fate awaits us as what happened in the Tyrian campaign. You know? I fought the battle, I lost, the campaign ended. I didn't want to lose the battle, but I didn't want to end the campaign, but it ended. Um, which I guess is why I'm being so cautious this time, because I don't want the campaign to end. How do you subscribe with Prime? Well, that's on Twitch. So I'm live streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Good. It seems like the High Elves are starting to pummel down on the Dark Elves. Thing is, though, whoever wins, I still have to fight the remnants of it. So what's easier to fight, Dark Elves or High Elves later down the track? Probably Dark Elves. So I kind of want the High Elves to hold on to Ulf 1 and then just indefinitely keep fighting Dark Elves. Yeah, I like that. You can finally buy a Yath. If I knew what a Yath was, maybe I could. <laughs> Go down to the store. Hello, sir. I'd like to buy a Yath. Okay. Uh, 7 Seer 7, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Question, will the update this Thursday break the save? Shouldn't. I reckon Dark Elves are stronger. I've always hated fighting High Elves more than Dark Elves, so kind of... It just depends. Wait, are you back to dual streaming on Twitch? Yes, we are dual streaming, so I'm on YouTube and Twitch right now. 
So I think we got about 900 people watching on Twitch. Let me just check. We've got 913 people are watching on Twitch. 300, sorry, 3,374 on YouTube. So more than 4,000 if it, if it's all unique viewers. Update the crisis timer. Yes, that's a good point. He means yucked. I know what he meant, but he didn't type that. <laughs> I am Ron Burgundy. I will read anything that you put in the teleprompter. Wait, why are you back to? Oh, oh why am I back to streaming on Twitch? Uh, well, Twitch got in touch with me and we're like, hey. We'll make you an affiliate straight away. You start making money off Twitch. And I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. And since it's not... Because the reason why I went off Twitch before was because it was either... Uh, either you can be partnered on YouTube or partnered on Twitch. You can't have both. In, as far as Twitch was concerned. And since tw uh, YouTube live streaming was way more successful for me, I abandoned Twitch. But since now Twitch has eased up on those guidelines and you don't have that exclusivity clause, you can stream on both. So Twitch has, you know, made themselves a little bit more competitive by doing that, which I can appreciate. Twitch is getting desperate. Twitch is so desperate that they're getting washed up Total War YouTubers to stream on their platform. <laughs> Demon Nikus. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, I don't have 420 anymore. I've got 422. That number doesn't that doesn't interest me. <laughs> if you should pick a race to do a Total War No Defeat campaign, what race do you think would be the hardest? Um, Reichland is one of the hardest. Uh, Katarin would probably be a hard one. Um, same thing with Boris. Skaven can be fairly difficult to do a no defeat campaign. Nurgle would be fairly difficult. Basically, factions that use kind of weak armies would be difficult. So Morgor's not interested in jumping over to... Oh, it looks like we got pulled out of Ambush Dance. As long as I'm aware of where he is, it's fine. If he comes into Britannia or whatever. At this point in the campaign, would you steal any characters? I just did steal a character, actually. <laughs> any plans for 500k subscribers? No. The, the plan is to surpass the Total War official channel. Nothing until then. Um, is, is it more taxing on your PC to stream on two platforms? No, I don't think so. Seems to be running about the same. It's just taxing to have OBS running. Like, if I take off the recording software, my game runs a lot better. How about Vampire Count Zero Defeat campaign? Yeah, I think you could do that. Vampire, excuse me, Vampire Counts are super strong. They're just boring. And that actually might be what makes them boring. Ikiclaw no defeats next. I can't, uh, no, I don't want to do Skaven no defeat campaigns because not suffering defeats. Cinch, you fuck. But luckily, that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> you, you, you fuck. Welcome to the halls. <laughs> do you know what I have to say to you, Zinch? Fuck you, Zinch. As you say. <laughs> Fuck you, Zinch. I hope you used up all your goddamn grimoires. 
<laughs> Wait, that's not allowed. Yeah, is it just like, how many uh, Grimwilds do we use? All of them. Are oh, they just pieced out the next turn? S silly mechanics. Fuck you, Zinch. That's why nobody likes you. Do you know what Zinch is? Zinch is the kid in the playground who steals your sandwich and then spits in it and then gives it back to you. A time to heal. Your orders? Yes, Graf. Cleanse the Empire. What do you require? Because, you know, most people are just going to throw out their sandwich at that point. And they're just like, yes, throw out his own sandwich. <laughs> Zinch is just a troll. But he gives it back? Yeah, give. Yeah, whatever. True servant of Sigma. Alright, so I don't think I'll be able to reach. Be to Sigma. I can actually reach it. My faith forbids it. For the wisdom of the This guy came in close enough that if they were to come over here and attack, we would be able to repel them. So if you could just stay right here, that'd be good, because I don't think either of these guys have lightning strike. Yeah. That guy's immortal though. Can we block this one here, please? What have you to say? Failure. Can we try again? Ready? By the silver hammer. Good. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Champion of the faith. Force to track. Tets up. We're there. Yeah, we get more replenishment in foreign territory than we do in our own. Following Sigmar's path. The nation calls. Okay, and then we need to sell off Desolation of Draken Moor. in Sigmar's name. Because I don't want All right. That was a lot of money. Thanks, guild. I mean, in this case, you profited off Zinch's fuckery? Only a little bit. Nothing, nothing I am much. Prince and Emperor. So one turn until the endgame crisis. I guess we'll find out where it actually shows up. What, it, what it's a uh, beacon to. Sigma compels us on... Okay, good. I wanted to try to generate some wins. Should still be able to make it there next turn. Show me the accused. On march. All right, so these two yes. here, they're going. Righteous fury. That guy can go and attach into time. into what's his face's face. army. This one. I Take him some time to get there, though. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, they'll just slowly make their way up. All right, this guy can't reinforce here, so we've got a bit of time. I can recruit one more unit, grab another unit of flagellants. I just realized as well, I don't have a scout here, so if an army comes rampaging through here, I'm not going to know about it, so we need another witch hunter to be sent there. I prefer them to be recruited elsewhere, where they've got higher recruit rank, but main thing here is I just I need intel. Because one extra turn of heads up means that I can globally recruit and properly prepare for it. What? So, okay, you. I trust no man. No, you. What head back over here that because I. Learn? That might be where the endgame crisis is about to happen. It shall be done. 
Balthazar Gelt has not been losing territory, which that is pleasing me. Sexually. No, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. I think that's it for this turn. True servant of Sigma. They don't seem too interested in charging up here. He's going into encamp stance to recruit more units, so I'm going to recruit more units. But they're doing great swords. Great swords are awful. Um, yeah, someone said, why not equip Stahlberg's letter? Why do I need to equip that one? Let me just have a look. So that one there, the key to Strad Strad. It's okay. Starberg's letter. Yeah, it's a not a global bonus. There's no value in it right now. Can I equip this one here with Starberg's letter? No, no, not that one. Yeah, yeah, I should have this one equip this because that way I get income from all buildings, local region plus ten percent, and from ports. How much extra is that? Wow, it's like 300 gold! Rich! Unlimited money just came my way. Alright, we're at max winds of magic with this character, so now what we need to do is... Increase our max winds of magic using the followers. So, we've got... Hang on, did I just skip over one? Yeah, Apprentice Wizard for 18. And then down here, Hedge Wizard. Good. And another one... Hedge Wizard and Apprentice Wizard. Good stuff. That way we got a, a nice big fat... Oh, 183 max Winds of Magic. This is why I'm standing here in Channeling Stance. I want to make sure I'm nice, fat, fucked up Winds of Magic. So when we give this... So when we take the settlement here, we should be able to give these two over to Volkmar. It's not going to improve him at all, but... Oh, I'd love to get the Black Pyramid. Oh, that'd be so nice. I don't know how I can get that off her, though. Without declaring war. One day. We'll see how we go. Alright, moving on. There's nothing else to... Oh, hang up. we got to check for endgame crisis. Not endgame. Sorry, rogue armies. Nothing there. And also check what's going on in diplomacy. Go check every turn. Let's hear it. Okay, I'll you trade may with approach you. and make your request. Hmm. I mean, I might as well take her money. Of course. They'll probably just get confederated straight away now. That's okay. Protector of the realm. Sure, why not? Friend. Fine. Wait. Okay. Mistress of ice. Mistress of the undying forest. All are welcome in my court. The time is now. They are what? Ready! Bretonia is patient when listening, and I will at once! Okay. Not and then with question. the ice court, looking it at this, responsibility to we, if we sign it next turn, we can get more money out of her. Ice Queen of Kisnev. Oh, the ice court absolutely hates the orthodoxy. That's interesting. The great orthodoxy backs you. We must the frozen kingdom field. welcomes all its allies. That is interesting. I wonder why. Is Wolfheart alive? No, we're going to send an expedition to go and revive him. That's what these guys here are do to do. That's their job. But we've got to um, go do a fair bit of preparing so for that accused. first. Alright, and then we got construction to do. Yeah, Marcus Wolfhart was alive up until very recently, but then he got he got he got 69. <laughs> 86. Alright, this turn here is where we get rid of Dotten back again. Warrior of Sigma. 
and then we give it back to them for imperial. Uh, sorry for fealty. So it takes it takes a little while, but we're gonna get it all back eventually. What needs to be done? Okay, and let's move on. Yes. Legend could build five armies and have them def defend key border settlements. Yep, I could do that. But all of my border settlements are defended by friends. So why... W Actually, you know what? I've got armies defending key border settlements. When you bring Wolfheart back with these legendary heroes come back with him, they should. All immortal characters should come back. Why is he abandoning settlements before trading? Okay, we're trying to get uh, fealty with Whistleland. So what we're doing is we abandon the settlement and then with that army, we ruin dwell the settlement and just hand it back to Whistleland. Then I buy that settlement back, wait five turns, and repeat the process. And that's how we get influ uh, fealty with him. Because I want to confederate Whistleland. I don't want to go to war with him. Uh, would you be ready if Chaos Dwarf declared on you? Uh, the Chaos Dwarfs are at war with us. <laughs> we are at war with the Chaos Dwarfs. No. Well, it looks like the Chaos Dwarfs are going to take over Cathay at this rate. Nod Landmark is nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It wasn't essential, but... What is Nurgle doing all the way there? Jeez, this is a weird campaign. What do you do versus infantry blobs in the captain stack? Use magic to, blob, uh, to destroy them. The captain stack will have a life wizard. The life wizard will use dwellers below and destroy infantry with ease. You're hoarding more gold than smog, and you still want to squeeze the air for more. Act okay, that's... I just want to point out that somebody actually did a calculation on how much gold smog actually had, and it was roughly about $2 billion worth, alright? I do not have $2 billion in in gold. You know. Or was it 20 billion? That's how much roughly in gold Smaug had. You wish you had though? Yeah, of course. I wish I had billions. I don't know anyone that's like, oh man, I've got too much money, I wish I had less. <laughs> so Smaug can't even buy Twitter? Yeah, so apparently Elon Musk is richer than Smaug. If Elon Musk was to put all of his net worth into just gold, it would have more gold than Smaug. Apparently. Which that seems so unbelievable. But, you know, a billion dollars is a lot of gold. No way, had entire mountain full of gold and diamonds. That guy had wealth in the trillions. That's what you'd think, but apparently not. Apparently it's only wealth in the billions, not trillions. Twenty billion Australian is like one billion USD? Well no, twenty billion Australian is like ten billion USD, actually. No, not even that, it's like fifth fourteen billion?
I looked it up, it's around 13, 133 billion. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the exact number. I just knew it was in the billions, not trillions. I don't think there was that much gold on this planet. Maybe. Maybe. I think the point of this is that I just don't have as much money as Smaug. Uh, Philippe Garcia did a ten dollars super chat. Legend, I've been dying to ask you, how do you rotate a unit when you are moving it with Alt? Love your Ru channel. Mia, your streams. <laughs> Hope you are ready to be a father. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite super chat today. Thanks, super chat. Um, you hold down. So when you're holding down Alt, you also hold down Control, and then you press Delete. No, I'm just kidding. You hold down Control, and that'll allow you to drag it and uh, rotate it. Legend of Super Chat was in caps lock, that means you have to shout it. Can you say it again, but probably some. My wife's asleep. I'm not gonna do that. Friends of the Empire, come. No. Alright. Endgame Crisis is. Now. Here it comes. I love how Legend never misses an opportunity to fully read a typo. It's funnier to read a typo the way it's actually written. Alright, here we go. Alright, they show up at the actual capital, not where their original capital is. So there they are. So this is what we got to deal with. This is 200 strength endgame crisis. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, hang on, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight armies. No. Boss wants teeth, so we is gonna smash. Come have a go at us, you stinky git. Okay. Have oh, you been sitting here for that long, have you? You are judged. Critical success. Nicely done. And you gained a level up. Show Even better. Accused. Who calls? Onwards. Forward. That doesn't really matter. Healing to the provinces. That's the same trait. Let us forge our faith. I hope we get at least one more discipline for this army. Okay, so someone was asking before about the fealty stuff. So, I just abandoned the settlement. Now, hopefully we don't lose Imperial Authority. I give it back. Yeah, I didn't lose Imperial Authority. See, it goes up to 7, and now what I do is I buy this settlement back. So I go, hey, can I have Dotten back? And they're like, yeah, you can buy it for that much. Okay, but I can afford that. So if I sell him Vertbad, or maybe the Moot. Let me just see what I can sell him. The Moot. Yeah, he'll buy the moot. Uh, the moot does have a global bone. I mean, I'll get it back soon. Vertbad. What about needling? Let's try needling. Yeah, alright. So we sell that for money. Oh, 
Actually, you know what? It'd be better if we just wait five turns. Oh, no, no, because he'll build it up. He'll build it up and then the price will go up. So we need to do it now. Because if he builds a military building there, then we won't be able to get it back off him. So we'll give it to Needling. Because here's the thing. When we confederate him, we get it back. Sigma's will. So we get it back. And then we do it again in a couple of turns. Arch Lecter. So it's turn 115. So the next time we can do this is either turn 120 or 121. Something like that. It's hard to know the exact number. Can you get the Green Knight from Bretonia as a permanent hero? No, it's not possible. Because when the Green Knight gets wounded, he he departs. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. Well, capturing the Silver Pinnacle will be good. Not seeing yes. any problems here. Yeah, keep just keep pace. moving up this way in encamp stance so you get replenishment. And this is better territory. In fact, if I occupy this, I think I'll hold on to it and we'll bring this army down here and this will be our new frontier. And I'll try to get these settlements as well. I won't be able to get Karak Raziak. It would have been good if they took it off him. Okay, now Katarin. Yep, she's no longer got that penalty from the other thing. So let's get Defensive Alliance first. She can pay for it. And then Military Alliance and pay for it twice. Yeah, took your money. And didn't call you back. <laughs> Does rain hurt archers in medieval too? Yes, it lowers their damage output. So yeah, if you've got archers in medieval two, not by heaps, but if you've got archers in medieval two, you should uh, try to avoid wow. rainy days. If you're going up against a lot of archers, you should attack in the rain. Ready. Oh, imagine if I did block the. Oh, I could just jump over. Yes, blessed is this action. Mm -hmm. Alright, I would love it if Balthazar Gelf wins here. I would love that. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I imagine that Wozag is probably going to go wah pretty bloody soon. Now... Now, onwards! Oh, what the fuck? You guys had this settlement in the bag, and you're just like, nah, I'm not gonna capture it. I fucking morons. I Alright, well, we've gotta you. take Stormhenge. So. Alright, and I should pace. be able to sell it off to them Sigmar now and get mighty, Defensive Alliance. So if I still him Stormhenge, to those who are yeah, I can. To and we'll, we'll get the Defensive Alliance as well, why not? Yes. And then I can get the Military Alliance. Yeah, you I would like to be able to see indeed. what's going on with him. And then we've also got uh, Galbaraz over here to deliver to him. The Empire is beset on all sides by the Savage and the Sigmar. Cool. That's will. more than what I paid for it, so that's good. And there we go. Now, if we confederate Gelt, I will be able to transfer all of these settlements. So that that's happening in, I think, 14 turns. I trust no now, Carl Franz needs to come over here and start the fight of his fucking yeah, life. <laughs> yeah. Endgame crisis time. This guy got wounded. He needs to swing back around here. Morga is somewhere in here. I can't believe how many bloody armies these guys have. So as long as things don't change in terms of territorial stuff, we can we can make the transfer just fine. So I, I can get Balthazar Gelt now. Or or
Yeah, yeah, give, give Balthazar guilt, because I don't want him confederating anyone else. Yeah. Yes, uh, Carl Franz has got Lightning Strike. We obviously need that here. Alright, so because Morgor is in this area, I need to make sure my army is re ready to go. Uh, Ever vigilant. Yeah, you need to be careful there. Try to they block these armies, judged. stop them from going anywhere. Report. Failure. How dare Tools you. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, you're not going to block that one. That one's too high level. Report. Double failure. Anyway, we've got Katarin coming in here. She's coming to put the smack down on Chaos Dwarfs. Archeon is coming back for another try at Kislev for round three by the look of it. Alright, construction. Let's have a look here. So, Hockland. We got that going. Good. We can pop that down. Public order here is actually really good. We can tax this now. For 80 gold? Nah, just keep it not to being taxed. Just leave Dotton back exactly the way it is. Alright, well, there's the endgame crisis. Volkmar gives more global bonuses than guilt. Yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, what I could do is confederate Volkmar and feed all this territory to Gelt instead. But then I won't get Gelt. I mean, Gelt is... Gelt is Gelt, man. Gelt is... Gelt is pretty freaking good. Then maybe I could revive Avalanche and give all of that territory to him. Maybe. Because, yeah, I would like to get um, Volkmar. He's a good character. But also, he'll be more aggressive than Avalanche will. Alright, let's have a look at any deals that we can make. Valiant, do you do Nothing. Anyway, we got a good couple of good deals last turn, so that's fine. What's this? Okay. Is that all provinces? That's weird. Alright, and I've already recruited the heroes. Okay. I don't want Smoke and that. We want it to be life wizards. Got a bit of variety with the other ones, but it's not what I want. Give me, give me another disciplined life wizard. Okay, cool. That is all I can do this turn, I think. Let me just check for another. Yeah, all good. I missed the super chat. Sorry. Uh, Philippe Garcia did a $5 super chat. Lol, that was my bad. I have loved your channel for a long time. For a long time. What do you think of the delay? Also, would you ever stream a historical one? I'm, I'm fine with the delay to, to it as long as it's good. You know? I'm not in a rush to have content. I mean, I'd like it sooner rather than later, but at the same time, I think the most important thing is that it's just, it's just good content. Um... Yeah, get um, get Ungrim on top of this. Not Ungrim, Belagar. He should be able to take this army next turn and just immediately smack that, because that's that's I don't know where he's going, but I don't like it. Um, yeah, I would I would stream a historical Total War game every now and again. I, I do it every every now and again, but they don't perform as well as Warhammer. Nowhere near as well. So it's hard to say. Like I'm never gonna touch Pharaoh. Yuck. But Medieval 2 is pretty good to cover every now and again. Alright, moving on. How's the campaign going? Endgame crisis manageable? Well, the endgame crisis just started, so we'll see how we go in terms of how that manages. Yeah, it only just started. Can you not get them both? What's the limitation? Well, if I confederate them, I'll have to abandon the territory, which defeats the purpose. Like, it's not worth losing that much potential territory 
just to get the Legendary Lord. Because what you do in this situation is that you don't hold the territory yourself. We are far more likely to lose a minor settlement battle than any other type of battle in, in this game. We just cannot adequately defend ourselves in the late game um, with minor settlements, right? So what you do is, if you don't want to suffer a defeat, your armies go around and give territory to factions that you can confederate. You conquer the entire map, give it all to your elect accounts, and then just confederate them. And that way, you don't suffer stupid minor settlement battles. Now, that being said, you can still lose a battle on the attack, like what happened with the High of Campaign. Um, but at least you don't get some really small army that just, hidden in the fog of war, comes over, it smashes one of your minor settlements, and then pff, that's it, it's over. Will I play Mana Lords? Um, not opposed to it. Good, I'm glad this army is coming down here to Silver Pinnacle, because I want to kill it. What do you think of a No Defeat Rome Total War Seleucid campaign? Sounds fine. I don't think that's impossible. I don't think that's even anywhere near as difficult as this. Rome Total War is not a difficult game. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. Good. Where they won. Uh, Philippe Garcia, the two dollars in Medieval Three. I want to unalive the Pope again. Yeah, everybody wants Medieval Three. People have been very vocal about it for a long time. Creative Assembly is uh, dragging their heels with it, though. I do think that Medieval Three will happen, but I think it's going to be around twenty twenty seven or twenty twenty eight. So you've got a bit of a wait to go. Unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, Creative Assembly thought it was uh, a better investment on their time to make shit saga games like Troy and and Pharaoh, rather than focus on big historical games that people actually want. Will you will you try Choa's Dwan? What? <laughs> Chaos Dwarf. Chaos Dwarf? Yeah, I've played them before. Hyenas. Yeah. Well, okay, so in the case of Hyenas, that is the console team. So the console team is separate. They're they're all they're never working on Total War games, so Hyenas, in terms of workforce, didn't impact on Total War until it it did, only because Sega fucking cleaned house with them and reduce the amount of people working on Total War because of what happened with Hyenas. Basically, they put Creative Assembly on notice for like, they're on bad behavior, basically. <laughs> they're like on probation. So a lot of the dead weight that they felt was dead weight within Total War has been left. But truly, the dead weight is actually at the top down, not the bottom up. And so they did about the wrong way. What, what Sega should have done was fired every single executive at Creative Assembly. Every single executive should have been fucking fired. So like, Rob Bartholomew, Gareth Edmondson, Roger Cullum, and the rest of them should have been fucking removed completely. And should have gotten new executives in. Because, let's be real, they're the ones that created this mess. Not not the not the people doing the artwork and the programming. They had they didn't cause this. It's ridiculous that they were the ones that were fired. And every, every single executive pretty much No, not every single executive. They got rid of the one executive that they shouldn't have gotten rid of, which was Mike Simpson. That was the one dude you need to keep. He's like the father of Total War, and you fucking fired the father of Total War, but you kept these other parasites? It's like if you've got cancer of the ass and you chop off your dick. <laughs> just, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. I don't. I can't make sense of what happened. I can't make sense of it. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't happen again. I hope the people that are in this position that I'm calling out, that they've learned not to do this shit again. Because, you know, they're still in the position and if they redeem themselves, then they deserve to, you know, that forgiveness. 
But at the same time, they they did not deserve a second chance. Who decided it? I don't know. Like I I wasn't there for the for the um the mass firings at Creative Assembly. You hear rumors that something like 42% something like 40% of um, Creative Assembly staff was laid off, but you know, you, you also have a look at who, like the, the big names, the executives, who was there beforehand and who was there afterwards, and like none of the executives were were removed, except for, I think Rob Bartholomew is, is, is actually gone, and I know that Mike Simpson is gone, apparently he was made redundant. <coughs> I, it just doesn't make Simba. sense to me. Unless unless Mike Simpson put his hand up for... Like, imagine if it was like this. It's like, they had like a firing line. Like, it, all the executives were in a, in a line, and Sega was there with a shotgun. It was like, one of you fuckers has to go. And Mike Simpson just took one for the team. Like, I can understand if that's what happened. But he is the wrong person to take one for the team. <laughs> it's like, it should have been any of the others. I just, I don't, I like I said, I don't know what happened. All I know is that Mike Simpson doesn't work at Total War, at Creative Assembly anymore, and I think that is a massive shame. You know, he's made mistakes with Total War, but he's always owned up to them, as opposed to make excuses for them. And you can directly credit Mike Simpson for the success that was Shogun 2. If it wasn't for him, they would have pushed that out earlier. He, he pushed for it to come out uh, when it did. And he was there at the very origins of Total War. He understands the the formula better than the rest of them. So I just, like I said, I can't make sense of it. Because like I said, I wasn't there. All I know is Mike Simpson's not there anymore, and the rest of the turds are. Still don't know whether Rob Bartholomew is still there. I don't know. I've heard m conflicting rumors that he is there, but then, oh, of course, they wad on turn one. <laughs> hey, I heard you like armies. How about we put an army on top of our army? Yeah, of course you were going to get smashed, Rapants. Well, here's the thing. The fact that they're bringing in loads of Wars shouldn't matter too much because I can lightning strike them. The most important thing is that I am the one launching the attack. That's really important. Luckily, we've got a lot of campaign movement range. Maybe it would be better. Yeah, I don't know. I missed the super chat, did I? Sorry. Chat went up really quickly. Um, good old Kurt did a $5 super chat. Yo, any advice on Norska Monster Hunt? Very hard difficulty. My problem is some of them are distant, taking me away from the front. Is it late game stuff? Yeah, I usually don't bother with the Monster Hunts until very late in the campaign. Um, damn, man. Getting pissed, legend. But yeah, this stuff is frustrating because I just kind of feel like we're going to be right back in the same position again five years from now because the same people are in charge. Like, they're not going to learn their lesson. They, they have, like, the lessons that they learn are entirely the wrong ones. They always blame the wrong thing. You know, oh, people didn't buy this DLC. Therefore, people must not be interested in, in this particular type of content anymore. And I bet that uh, with... Oh, shit, I have to worry about this. Um, I bet that with Pharaoh, Creative Assembly looked at it and was like, well, I guess people aren't just interested in Bronze Age. And I don't think that's true at all. Because Bronze Age games definitely do work, just people don't want reskin trash. Anyway, uh, there's another super chat here. Elmer, Elmer Tsai did a ten super chat. I think it's disingenuous to say that only the top levels are at fault. There are a lot of issues with the game itself. The developers need to take some responsibility for what a mess this game was at launch. How is that disingenuous for me to um, express my opinion? It would only be disingenuous of me if I was... Um, like, not telling you the truth. 
which, you know, I'm just telling you my opinion. So I think you saying it's disingenuous. Well, I think what you actually mean is inaccurate. So you are, it's more, it is totally fine for you to disagree with my opinion. That is not a problem whatsoever. If you don't disagree with me, all the more power to you. But it's not being disingenuous. Like, I'm not misleading you with my opinion. That is, that is my sincerely held belief. Now, in terms of the developers need to take some of the responsibility, okay, it depends on how you look at it. If you're looking at it like managerial developers, um, maybe I could definitely argue that f for that. But I have heard from multiple sources that the developers have bad tools to work with, and it's just really difficult. Now, there are developers that are in like managerial positions, like for example, Ian Roxburgh, who I definitely believe should have been held to account for what happened with Wormer 3, because he was the main guy. And if that's the case, I'm, I'm down for him, you know, getting the sack as well. Because <laughs> he, he needed to take responsibility for Warhammer 3, he was the guy in charge. But it could be, have been, the tools were just really bad. That being said, what the hell was Realms of Chaos? But the actual people who are on the ground floor, these are the, the vast majority of people who got fired, were people who are just being told what to do and are just doing work, they are not at fault because they, the worksmanship is pretty good for the most part. Anyway, um, Tuan Ten Ho did a two year super chat. Good to see you could talk about CA the way you want. Yeah, well, no room for questions now. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll, I don't think I'm going to be fighting other humans, so I'll do that. Ooh. Okay, well, this will speed things up a little bit. Let's endorse Whistleland's candidate. Because I don't want to confederate Ostermark. And they're already at 10 anyway. Okay, well, it's definitely good that the Greenskins are making their way over here. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I don't think I can just wipe out all of these armies in one turn. <laughs> I'm going to need a couple of turns. So, what I need to be able to do is hit them and then get away from them. Now, the amount of campaign movement range we've got is 159. So that's pretty good. I am France. They will obey. Because, yeah, if they attack me, that could be a problem. So we need to not be in forced march My dance around them. We're move. also really going to need these march on the these guys. Well, I, think, I think their chances of success it is, is going to be pretty low. The comet comes. Uh, Christian... Hang on. Christian Tarantino... Did a ten dollar super chat. Uh, what do you think is the most, the most at fun co op campaigns in Immortal Empires? I'm not good, so I started with the Changeling, but I feel like the other campaigns could be more fun in co op. I don't know, man. I don't play co op campaigns, so I just I don't even know where to begin with that. Um, I think the most fun would be pick factions that are close together, pick different races. So don't but don't be like one of you play as uh, Vlad and the other one play as as um, Heinrich Kemmler, don't do that because then you're going to be limited in your confederation options. So maybe you do something like Reichland plus Corone because that way you're not stepping on each other's toes too much except for territory that you may want. So something along those lines. Um, or you could play as same faction that don't confederate. So maybe you can do um, Kalida and um, Cetra as a, as a co-op campaign. That could be good. Though that's what I would recommend. But don't pick something like half a world away. Don't be like um, Dark Elves and Chaos Dwarves. They, they couldn't be further apart from each other. And you just, you're just basically playing two single player campaigns then. Alright, so yeah, Carl Franz. These guys here, they're, they're having a mad rush towards Agril Midgull. And that's fine. Maybe we should message Sega to clean house. No, look, these are just opinions. We're not... No. We don't have any influence to enact any serious change like that. The Empire. You know, be deluding yourself if you were thinking that you could send Sega a message and that they're just going to do what you tell them to do. They will be judged. Did you find out if the Hawkland elector count position applies twice? I'm not sure. I don't know how to really test that. All right, so over here, we can see... Yeah, that army is... Hopefully we can just... Order, oh, I doubt we'll be able to auto-resolve it. 
انگیزی با تو خشوت لنکار هنسمن جنرال I trust no man. Where next? We will. Advancing. If you put one warrior priest in this army, uh, it'll help their replenishment rate considerably. Uh, but uh, in order to do that, ready to serve, Huntsman General, Scout Leader. No, I don't think I can justify doing that, because otherwise I'll lose too much movement for another turn. Oh, I'll be able to transfer it after the battle, I guess. Order resolve? Order resolve? Order resolve? Not acceptable. I have to fight it manually. For the Emperor! Blaming developers for the issues with games was a wild take. Sh wild take. Shit rolls downhill in corporate structure, and the end products reflect that. The workers mostly do what they're told. Yeah, well, people are, people are entitled to their opinions, right? So it's it's hard to know exactly who's at fault. You know, I'm, I express my opinions. I think it is the executives that are entirely entirely to blame. Entire like a hundred percent of the blame goes on them, but that may not be the truth, because we don't know everything that goes on there. But I think it's most important that we don't sit there and attack each other because of opinions like my opinion has no impact on the world like me saying this stuff doesn't change anything that just i just have a really bad opinion of the total war leadership team like i think that they're scumbags what impact does that have none i'm still gonna buy total war products i just wish that they would go <laughs> So I think, I think, I think we do get a bit high strung over opinions a lot these days, which is why I don't want to express opinions about non-Total War related things. Because people, when people hear an opinion that doesn't, isn't the same as what they hear, they tend to have like a knee-jerk reaction. You've got an opinion that's different to mine. How dare you? Shut the fuck up. You know that's all I can say about that. Like you need to need to grow up. And like I said, if you've got an opinion that is different from mine, you are more than welcome to have that opinion here. I think we got everything. I think this is mostly unnecessary. I know I don't have much equipment on these guys, but I, I don't think there's really anything to worry about. We've got a lot of winds of magic. We'll have life magic. We'll be able to... Oh, hang on. You need to be... Is there any more melee defense for you? You've already got it. Don't worry about it. Right. Uh, let's see here. Ugh, three points for 15 armor? That's a bad return on investment there. Jeez. Alright, let's do this. Perth Gotta fight it manually. Heretics. Jason F. The Jet. Do you think heroes need a revamp with new level 50 caps? Some heroes do, yes. Um, this is something that I spoke to Creative Assembly about in the early stages of Warhammer 3, like when we were um, had early access to it, and it was obviously ignored, uh, like everything else I said. Especially... Okay, so you take a hero like the Giant River Troll Hag, I think it's fine. There's no changes that need to be made to it, because with 49 skill points to distribute, there's plenty of skills to go around. Same thing with like a a um, Skaven Plague Priest, it's got plenty of skills. But when you take something like a an Empire Captain or a Warrior Priest, they max out at like level 20. 
they don't ha they've got too many skill points so these characters here don't benefit from the level 50 cap they've barely they barely benefited from the level 40 cap and then you've got something even more ridiculous like the astromancer from Cathay where at level pretty much level 15 they've reached their max potential so the the remaining 30 levels that they're going to get well yeah 20 odd levels that they're going to get is just a complete waste of time and all they have to do is just put in some interesting things in their skill tree, like what other factions have. It's it's not like we're asking for something that isn't already in the game. Hammer of the Empire. Mortar. You know, I'm not saying make these characters overpowered. I'm saying just like put in some interesting things. All right, uh, that's bomb. Wait. They've got artillery of their own. Move back a little bit. In the Emperor's name. Oh, 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 I know. As they're coming in... Sigma calls. I'm going to... Oh, I've got a minute to get there. I'm going to have this one stay on the ground. And this one cast direct damage. You didn't even think about this. A simple max skills should be 1.5 times the max skill point, so every choice means something. Yeah, that's the thing. Yes. I agree. Was it really such a debacle? Didn't really follow that story. Swiftly. Well, it, it depends. To some people, the Warhammer Three stuff is no big deal, but oh shit, oh shit, they must have. Oh shit. They've got. <laughs> they've got a Dreadquake mortar. Oh, I didn't even think to check. Well, that's a dead unit. Which means they've probably got more than that. Shit, I didn't think to check. I didn't see it. Four rockets. Yeah, I didn't. I've. I didn't check. Oh well. Sorry, not the end of the world. Come on, get him over there. Stupid restrict camera. Alright, it's going to be take too long to get over there. Sorry, it's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, they literally targeted my best artillery piece. Okay, they've got Dreadquake Mortars, and I can't be staring at it, so you need to s speed that up. I am Fury! Sage Wizard! Now we need to give them some Dreadquake Mortar back. Okay. I didn't get anywhere near as much as I would have liked there, but got to get them out of there. All right, this unit here, just get get all three of them off the battlefield. I'm pretty sure this one here is eliminated, but this one here should still be okay. Awaiting your command by Right, let's get in there. Awaiting orders. There'll be another one. Just trying to see where exactly it's going to be. Can be very hard to dodge a tread, uh, Dreadquake Mortar. Unless, of course, it was a Dreadquake Mortar due to the Tower of Tsar. I didn't check. Get these back on their artillery. 
bring the mortars in. It's definitely been long enough that they could have used the second one if they had it. Probably the ability one? Yeah, it was probably that. Yeah, I just, like I said, I didn't check. Should have checked. Didn't check. That's the problem with those kind of army abilities sometimes. You just don't see them coming. It's okay. We're still going to make them pay for every, every uh, Empire man that died there. Who am I going to play first with the new content for Shadows of Change? Probably Katarin. I'm still not really that interested in Mother Astankia. I honestly don't really like the Curses and Blessings mechanic. I don't like her start position, and I don't know. I just, I just, I just not... It's not my favorite campaign. Yeah, they've got, like, a whole bunch of abilities. Let the woods awaken! Ulrika is still back. That's weird. Yep, they're doing just fine. That's good. Will there be changes to the mechanics? I don't know. We haven't seen the patch notes yet. Uh, Who's the best legendary hero added in Warhammer 3, in your opinion? I do not fear death. Ooh, I don't know. They're all kind of not very good. They're all mediocre. I know. Who's the least mediocre of the mediocre? Um, I don't know. They're all just freaking melee heroes for the most part. Ulrika's okay. She's not great. Isn't Ulrika better using a bow than a melee? Normally, yes, but it, this is better in a clump. They crowd around and we pop down spells on them. Like this one here. And she's actually got better combat stats than the rest of them. Aerial Croak? They, he did say in Warhammer 3, though. Blue Scribes? Blue Scribes are pretty good. I, if, yeah, if I had to say if any of them was the best, I'd probably say the Blue Scribes was the best. Get rid of this up over here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, wait for this one to come down.
Yeah, they must have the Tower of Zara ability that gives them a Dreadquake Mortar shot in friendly territory. Yeah, kill him. Because he's standing outside the settlement. Good. Show it him who's boss. Gordas. Gordas is pretty good. I think it's a tie between Gordas and... And uh, the Blue Scribes. Gordas, how much you boost Hob Gold? Yeah, yeah, that or the Blue Scribes. They're but, but yeah, similar tier, because they both boost low tier units. Yeah, Harold Hammerstorm is great. I just don't think he's the best. Which was the question. Yeah, he's good. I just don't think he's the best. This one here is taking too much damage. Need to double up on those heals. Better if they all focus on one target. Whoa, what happened there? Yep, move them back. Actually, just drop that and run. If you could remove one unit from the game out of sheer hatred or annoyance, what would it be? It would be the Grail Relic. Probably the most useless campaign unit in the game. I understand it probably has some use in multiplayer, but in campaign, it is totally useless. Okay, look at them. Unlimited ammunition. I need to get in there and break that. How much magic we got left? Oh, uh, we got a little bit left. We're okay. Is it possible for, uh, possible for other Wood Elven factions to get Coadil? The only way to get Coadil is to confederate Draka. That's it. So every single one of the other Wood Elf characters can confederate Draka. Durthu, Talson, and uh, the Sisters of Twilight, they can all confederate Draka, which means they can get Coadil. But you can't do the quest battle to get him. Not unless you've managed to confederate Draka really low level before she's actually managed to get him. Relic or Cold One Knights? Cold One Knights serve a little bit of purpose. Definitely Grail Relics being the worst. In my opinion. Alright, there's the army losses. Make sure we kill this dude here because he is part of the army. Whereas the others, I don't, I don't know. Alright, that went well, apart from what happened with the artillery. <laughs> Obviously, that was pretty bad. So, I think that one of my units of artillery are going to get wiped out. I don't think I can stop that. 
How do Ariel and Coadil stack? Do we get the minus one wins cost or first the percentage reduction from Ariel? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works. I'm, I think... I think the percentage reduction is based on the base cost, so it doesn't matter which one goes first. And it's the same thing with... Typically speaking, all modifiers apply to the base. So let's just say it's... Um, Let's say something costs 10 wins of magic, and you get a 30% modifier on the base. So that brings it down to 7. And then you go um, minus 1 wins of magic cost, so then it goes down to 6. But then let's just say you do it the other way around. And you have 10 wins of magic cost, and you minus off 1, so it goes to 9. And then you minus off 30% of the base, well then you still minus off 3, so it's always going to end up being the same. That's, that's like the cleanest way to do an equation, is to do it, or any multipliers always apply to the base, so it's all done at the same time, essentially. With, um, yeah. And that's why if you stack a, a percentage reduction with an additive or subtractive multi um, reduction, it's uh, very powerful. Sorry to ask again, but if one of your territorial holders gets in a war with you over alliances, how bad would it be for your campaign? Um, it'd be pretty bad. I don't think that's going to happen, though. But Not sure. Did you restart the YouTube stream? I can only look back like four hours on it. Uh, I think it crashed at some point. It was about four hours ago that it crashed. Yeah, I lost uh, one health sword locker battery. Unfortunately, they take quite a while to recruit in global, so I don't think we're replacing that anytime soon, unless it can be recruited locally here in one turn. Uh, not one turn, two turns. This that being said, I don't need to recruit another one of those. So that army there was pretty badly damaged. And we killed the Lord. Oh, they got away though. So let me see here. Yeah, okay. Alright, now you need to switch out. Grab one of these guys here. Yeah, you can have that back. That'll give him extra replenishment because of the the replenishment there. And with this one. So to globally recruit. Yeah, I'm not waiting around here for four turns. Just recruit some shit and I'll replace it with whatever they later down the track. Judged. It's fine. They will be judged. Report. Good. Seek out the heretics. Report. Mm, bad. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, it was the Doom of Hashut. That's what it was. Yeah, okay. I, at least I I know now what it is, so I can just avoid it in future. We'll try to avoid it in future. Hey, Legend. Hey, everyone. Did you get, a, did you get close to a defeat last stream? Um... Nope, I don't think so. Yes, the rights of war are ready. So we've got the end game crisis coming in over here. It's gonna be an issue. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Yeah, Morgar is somewhere in here. Yeah, horde buildings means he's in the King's Glade. And probably building up his army. Seek out the heretics. Yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let us forge our faith. A time to heal. Your orders. Yes. <laughs> we got another one. What do you require? That's very good. Because this is what the third one, fourth one, no, third one. I'm not sure. In the entire campaign so far, yes, it does make a big difference. Sigma.
The Empire, if that's what the Emperor commands. So we're currently at 12. Okay. So yeah, we just need to give that back twice more. We could actually speed up the process and take the Imperial Authority hit. And I got 26. How many uh, Elector Counts have even left? So, 3, 6, which doesn't count, 9. I've got more Imperial Authority than I need. We'll just do it now. I'll, I'll take two Imperial Authority as a hit. Whatever. It'll get the Confederation done sooner rather than later. Save it? Yeah, that's a good point. Who calls? Yes, the rights of war are ready. Okay, there's no discipline present here, so it could show up. Uh, Josh Waddles did a ten dollar super chat. Good to see you on my day off. I know you don't normally do mods, but have you seen the Immortal Empires expanded? I haven't. Sorry, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Thanks for super chat, though. Is that new war drum for Cathay, their version of the Grail Relic? No, that one's not that bad. It's just not that great either. It's definitely better than a Grail Relic. Definitely not a fantastic uh, thing though. Alright, I would like to put defenses here. Before I give it... To, uh, you know what, actually I might keep this settlement. I might actually keep it. Hang on, I'm, if I get another noble dude here, I should have one to, not regal, noble, there it is. We are Can we build it in one turn? Yes, okay, good. So that'll actually give us some defenses. Let's repair that. I'm actually going to keep this settlement. Um, Kazid Irkulaz would be good to keep as well, since, yeah, yeah. Champion so I'm not selling this one off to, um, Geralt. Alright, good. Protector of the weak. It's just a matter of who's going to get to Kazid Irkulaz first. Ekwazak. Meal them. Huntsman General, to untamed lands. What about the battle standard in Medieval 2, which is similar to the Grail Relic? Oh, the, the Caroccio standard? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> it that does serve a purpose, but I hate that unit. It's classed as an artillery piece, so it slows you down. So I never recruit it. It's friggin' trash. I hate units that slow me down on the campaign map, which is why I very rarely recruit non-gunpowder artillery. I gotta move. I, lo I love being super aggressive in Medieval 2. So, anything that slows me down, I just don't keep it. Alright. I am Prince and Emperor. Alright, it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting a fight with them next turn, but we're getting. They're getting close. I need for them to spread out a little bit. I may need to fall back. But we've got no territory over here that we own personally. So, just gotta be careful. But every single one of these armies that we destroy, they can't replace because it's got the, the self-sufficient. They're still going to be able to pump out armies much quicker than normal factions. I really want... For Thoric, or whoever, occupy the Serpent Coast, for fuck's sake. Here. Occupy this. God damn it, man. Don't... Don't... Wait for me to deal with this, and then they just revive it full here. Get rid of that now. All right, and then we want... It's all done, it's all done. No, wait, that's not all done yet. 
I don't really use those units. I'm not using any of those units. Yeah, all right. I do have them in the garrison, so let's do that. This is a concern here now. I share the forest's thoughts. Because according to this, this army is able to strike at Helmgart. Direct me. The waker of trees. So we need to we need to buff up our armies in this area. Because I may need to declare war. Hang on, I'm going to need to be recruiting a character Ziflin as well. Get the highest level character that we, we can. That one will be needing to do most of the global recruitment, I think. Just recruit whatever is available. We, uh, what's going to be most useful against these wood elves? Let me see. I weave the living forest. None of our units are going to be able to compete with them, so we're going to need overwhelming numbers. Crossbows don't stand a chance. But they're still going to be our best units. Like I said, just most of the recruitment from there. I serve Sigma. And then some from here. Protector of the weak. Chances are they're not going to declare war on us, but we have to be prepared. They are on the way. And we're not ready to deal with it just yet. Okay, it might be in our best interest to actually start bringing Toddy a bit closer to the front line, just in case. Or just to sort of deter them from coming any closer. Because what we might do is if they occupy Montfort, I might declare war on them so that we get the jump on them using two armies as opposed to being split apart. Or, do you know what I could do? I could take this army, I could borrow it, and basically save it from getting killed. Or what if I borrow this one? It's not bad, an army. I mean, it totally will screw over. What is your behest? Valiant Lord. It is, guys, but yeah, I think I'm going to take that army. My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, don't go into force march. You know who I am? So, kind of screwed over Bretonia here, but at the same time, I'm also going to help them out by... I, I'm going to start this war. We need to help out with this. Because this, this war here is getting out of hand. I got plenty of money. This is what we saved up for. So, it all depends. If they occupy Montfort, we're going in on them. Because if I destroy that army there, there's nothing else in this local area here. What about Huntsmen? Huntsmen are for anti-large. We're not dealing with that much stuff. To the sounds. Oh, actually, that's a good point. I live I'm just not the biggest the fan of Huntsmen. Anyway, uh, Robert Rice did a $10 video. Hey, Legend, haven't made the Warhammer 3 leap yet, but these streams are selling me. I like that they borrowed a lot from Three Kingdoms diplomacy system. Don't like they also brought the raid sack armies that always run. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Super Chat. I feel that, yeah. I think one of my biggest problems with this is definitely the AI. Uh, let me just let me just compare this. I oftentimes overlook these units. They're more expensive. Bonus versus large. They also take up more space. All right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with huntsmen because at the very least they do stalk. So maybe we can get better use out of them. Maybe. Yes, my lord. Any plans to name your daughter after a Warhammer character like Alariel? No, see, I actually love my daughter. I would, I would not uh, tarnish her like that. <laughs> well, I don't. I, she hasn't been born yet. Um, short answer to that is no fucking way. I will marshal the band. 
And also, my wife would never... For one thing, I don't want to do that. And my wife would not put up with it. <laughs> uh, Carlos Sepulveda did a $20 super chat. Legend of Total Dad here, and today we're saving a disaster diaper. Sorry if someone already made that joke. Yeah, no issue, that's fine. Thank you, Super Chat. Isabella. That is actually a nice name, but we'll see. Yeah, Marathi. Now, I think I was going to call her Silostra Diaphin. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Oh, well, at least sounds like little Ostanky has done a stanky in her, in her diaper. Yeah. But no. I'm not doing that. Katarin's not a bad name either. Another hunt, another trophy. I guess there are some okay Warhammer names, but short answer to that is just no. Um, Anthony Lorenzen gifted a tier 1 sub to Dream Gear 2. It's their first gift sub to the channel. Thanks, Anthony Lorenzen. Always appreciate all the support. You're, you're a big supporter of the channel. Always have been. Always appreciate you. Yes, okay. my lord. Alright. I think we're at the end of this turn here. I can't see anything else that needs to be done. Everything seems fine. There, oh, there's a few things on the border that are a bit of a concern, but for the most part, we're okay. Uh, it looks like Balthazar Geld. Okay, he just backed off. He didn't, he didn't capitalize on of that situation there. Yes, blessed is this action. Which is what I wanted him to do. Is there any diplomacy for me to do? Uh, print. Disciples of Hashuda, close to wanting peace. Alright, moving on. We named our giant puppy Grom. He is a big fat goblin. Yeah, look, naming your dog that I think is fine. Look, here's the thing when it comes to like Warhammer names is that I'm gonna know my daughter for, you know, 30 to 50 years, depending on how long I live. And honestly, I don't see myself being interested in Warhammer. 10 years from now because these things have a way of running their course like total war warhammer as a game has got three or four years left of support roughly two or two to four years left of support you know i'll just move on to other interests by then it's just kind of like with with what happened with um uh lord of the rings with me i used to be super into lord of the rings and now i'm just really sort of i just don't care about Lord of the Rings anymore. It just ran its course with me. Um, Darnath Lysander subscribed to tier one. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Do you think a Total War No Defeat campaign is possible? You I mean this is Total War? Yeah, but you'd have to do it with a faction like um, Beastmen or Warriors of Chaos. A faction that can just be, one thing, really powerful. Or even Corn. Corn could potentially do it. As in Scarbrand. But yeah, the best, the, the best faction to do that with would be Beastmen, due to their ability to just not be visible. Or do it with the changeling. Changeling probably would be best. When can we expect a High Queen Kalida campaign? Um, I wouldn't hold my breath over that. I wouldn't hold your breath over it. A High Queen Kalida is my least favorite of the Tomb Kings. And Tomb Kings kind of perform a bit meh on the channel. So, I don't think it's coming. Very, very low chance of that. It's just not enough interesting content for Lord of the Rings right now. TV show is garbage, Golem game the same. I lost interest in Lord of the Rings quite a few years ago though, well before any of this stuff happened.
I know. I, I just, I'm just not gonna name my kids over like the TV shows or games and stuff that I'm interested in. You know, come here, Vegeta and Bulma. You know, that'd be so, you're just doing your kids a disservice by doing that. <laughs> I'm still into Dragon Ball though, but I would, I would never call my kids anything like that. Was there ever Kalida stream? Probably in Warhammer 2 we've covered Kalida. I didn't even watch the Little Ring show. Any hope for a modern Daniel campaign? There is no chance of me touching Daniel until he gets a massive overhaul. It's just not interesting enough. I don't enjoy playing as Daniel. Which is funny because the the stream with the highest concurrent viewer count we've ever had was the Demon Prince with Daniel. But I don't like him. Legend, did you ever get into Harry Potter at all? Also, did you play Hogwarts Legacy? I was... Okay, I... I definitely... I like Harry Potter. Um, I was never obsessed with it. I remember watching the first movie when it came out, and I was like, hey, this movie is actually pretty good. I didn't read the book. And then I got with my wife, she wasn't my wife then, and she was like, before we go see the sixth Harry Potter movie, you have to go and read the sixth book. And I was like, why? But anyway, she forced me to do it. And I'm kind of glad she did, because I actually really liked the book. And then I went and read the seventh book as well. And I really liked it. Really liked the sixth and seventh book. And then I went back and read the first book. And I was like, this is a fucking kid's book. And I stopped reading them after that. <laughs> so I think J.K. Rowling did a good job with the books because you grow up with the books, but I read them in the wrong order. You know, you've got to start when you're like 12 years old and read the first Harry Potter book and then grow up with them as they come out. But I didn't do that. See, I read the sixth and seventh book when I was 20. And I felt like that was a good age to read those books. They were kind of more adult. So yeah, I do I do like Harry Potter. I think it's I think it's a good franchise. I'm not obsessed with it. I haven't played Hogwarts Le Legacy, but you know I like it. I think it's good. Oh my god, Legend said he likes Harry Potter. He's transphobic. <laughs> By the end of the game's life, you will be able to do a Daniel Regiment of Renown only campaign. Yeah, you probably will be able to. <laughs> They'll have fifty different regiments of renown. Harry Potter is a Star Wars in a different setting. Think about it. Mm, okay, if you say so. Do you know what show I'm actually into at the moment? I've been watching it with my wife. She actually got me into it. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I wouldn't have thought that that show would have taken my interest because I usually don't watch anime, except for Dragon Ball. But I've really been into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. We're currently watching the fifth season. I think it's really good. They just make it up as they go along, though. It's got there's no consistency in that universe, but that's pretty typical for anime. That show's so fucking weird. It's so weird, but that's what I like about it. I mean, it's not like it's called JoJo's completely normal adventure. It just it's just like it just makes shit up as it goes. Because it's on Netflix, and we watch a lot of Netflix, and this is good. <laughs> Dio. Yeah. Dio's the best villain. But the real question here is, which is the best JoJo? And in my opinion, the best JoJo is Joseph Joestar, 
when he's 18 or 19. Not not old man Joseph Joestar, but when he's 18. He was the best one. Do you watch it in Ian or JP? We're watching it in English, but I I kind of wish we had watched it in Japanese. Because I, I know that, the, that usually the original Japanese is better. Season 2? No, it's season 1, but it's part 2. There's two parts in season 1. Because uh, part 1 is very short. Are you interested in Cyberpunk Universe? I'll probably get into it one day. Johnny Joestar is the best. Well, that's manga. We haven't read any of that. So there's no anime for that yet. That means you missed out on old Jojo swearing in English. Oh no. Oh, okay. I think season one Hail is one of the best Jojo seasons. Well, season one is actually um, you in such evil times? Joseph Joestar. Season one is uh, comprises of part one and part two. Anyway. Old Joseph in Japanese swearing in English is the best part of Jojo. Yeah, all right. Okay, fair enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Let's have a look what happened down here. So, they are spreading out. That's what we want to see, so that we can actually take them out and recover so. between fights. They are not moving far. Don't forget, that stance there doesn't Five increase cuts. their... Uh, sorry, doesn't reduce their campaign so. movement range. So what we want to do is try to... Oh, God. It's going to be actually impossible to block them. It is going to be impossible to block them. Holy crap, that's a big problem for me. As is my right um, my Sigma's crown. Well, at least the war means that they can't move very far. Oh my god. All we're gonna do is just use this for scouting. Show me the accused. Show me the accused. March on the witches. Oh, that's gonna suck. All right, I'm going to go into ambush yes, dance. No. Uh, we don't need to succeed in the ambush. I just don't want them to know we're coming. Yeah, look, that army there, we can handle that. That should be a problem. As long as we can lightning strike it, that's really important. Oh, actually, we could probably handle both armies. Including the war. All right, so what happened here? Okay. The the Bretonians won. Lord and hero. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. What? Prepared for nothing then. Actually, a little Is bit disappointed. Time? Sigma heals us. Now. Let us forge our fate. Let's wait for more to show up. 
Okay, Disciplined hasn't shown up anywhere. Which is kind of the best case scenario. 50-50 chance of showing up. Why is it impossible to block them? Because they have a base minus 50% chance to um, enemy agent success chances on faction-wide. Um, and because they're high level, I'm, I'm never going to be able to get through it. I'll have like 5 to 10% chances I at best be sometimes. True servant of Sigma. Hmm. I might be able to make it to Kazid Irkulaz. Champion of the faith. Got this guy coming in. What level is he? Level nine. I want you to block him. Speak. It may be in my best interest to keep this army here. Just look after that. Although that's a big army in there. Cast evil out. Because this one's got Ulrika in it, so it'll have extra movement range. Good, I can get there before the rest of them. Can this army here arrive? No. I blocked this army, didn't I? I did, yeah. Hey, look, it's this dude. Um, interesting. Huntsman General! Got an idea. Yes. Uh, wait, does he need to be respect? Ready. No, he's fine. For now. Um. Hmm. Champion of the faith. <sighs> My axe thirsts for war. All right, I need to. I need to capture Kazedukulas. This guy's level 30. It's going to be a bit tougher than the other ones that we've fought so far. Got plenty of winds of magic, but I do tend to burn through it. They do have the Doom of Hashut. We've got to be careful about that. Um, it's, here's, the, here's my thoughts, right? Purge the heretics. Watch out for the Doom. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's probably going to get me a little bit. Huntsman General. I could bring this army in by, via Force March. But I need somebody Never to defend to Silver Pinnacle. How about you just check over here? Just make sure there's no chaos dwarfs coming. Those things. Here to serve. Guided by Sigma. Pick up the pace. Forward. In right. his name. Yeah, I definitely think Get I should bring in the rest of the army. Winning this should get rid of most of the chaos corruption, but taking a bit of attrition should be okay. Can we auto resolve this? Yes, we can. How much damage are we looking at? Losing a spearman unit. And I think that that is acceptable. That is very much acceptable. Good. And I will be taking this. Good. Can lose the artillery? No, I thought I would, but. Okay, so here's the thing. We got 19 units in this one, and 20 units in this one. I'm gonna transfer a unit. Because, yeah, I could put this one into the other army so we can keep up with each other. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna make it all fit. Yeah, this next. this one here needs to transfer one of their units into into to this army. Maybe the wizard. Superb 
Yeah, the wizard, because it's not doing any use in that army. Because that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that should be fine. And that way I've got a spot there for that hero. Okay, that's good. So over here, we already moved this. I kind of want to get in one battle against a green skin army before an endgame crisis one before we end today. So I've been streaming for nearly eight hours. Long time. Alright, now this will cost me one Imperial Authority. Forward in his name. It didn't. Maybe it's only if you attack recently. Oh my god, it's only if you attack the settlement after you've um, done that. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Okay, all I gotta do is, I just need to do this one more time. So, Dottenbach for... Um, um, let me just make sure nothing's being built at work bad. Yeah, vote bad's fine. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. So I could have actually done this by now. Didn't realize it. Okay, could you also join war against... I guess it doesn't matter. <coughs> we'll get the entire province back. Next turn. And then we demolish it again. So yeah, this is actually even more powerful than I realized. I serve Sigma. <coughs> okay, so in two turns we'll confederate them. I'll just get all this back. Protector of the realm. Hmm. Now here's the thing: if I don't make use of this army, I'm unlikely to fight that dude over the end turn. Yeah, I'll wait until we can actually make the attack. So, what am I doing with all this? Because honestly, it would be better to send in one of these armies than to send in a whole bunch of these. Yeah, we'll actually have no trouble dealing with this, I think. That's a bit of an issue. Well, you know what? I've got this army for a few turns. I might as well just hold on to it. I'll keep these armies here since we've got loads of money and I'm a little bit concerned that they're just going to come back anyway. Haven't seen any real sight of Malachus. You know, I've got a patrol going on over here and it's... This war has just not really come to our doorstep just yet. Let's have a look at the diplomacy. Do you... Okay, we got some more alliances that we can do. Let's go with Attain first. I am the heir of Anarion, and I understood. Prince Elf, let your words be true. Good. Tor Evres expects. All right, all of that looks good. Deceivers still around? You can't get rid of the deceivers. Yep, no more. Rogue armies, that's good. Okay, we've got a few things to construct. Nothing too major. Alright, I think we grab this so we increase our capacities and then... Actually, why don't we build another one of these so that we can start reducing the global recruit time for some of this artillery. And I'll also grab that. Because honestly, with the, the barracks, we've got enough of them for now. We're, we're pretty good. We will be able to hold on to this. It shouldn't be a problem. Get rid of that building that's useless. Yeah, short of them just jumping over here. So let's build... Walls there for now, just in case they get any wise ideas. Okay, that looks good. What is that where heretics lurk? My order agrees. 
Cool. If I ever get a settlement that I want to trade for Karak Ungor, that could be good. Oh, they've already put a barracks there, so it's going to be difficult to get it off them. Good. And now Nashrak's lair is pretty much safe. Maybe just give it a couple more turns and we'll get rid of this. Alright, who's currently strength ranking 1? You can just have to run heroes around and look for undercities. I don't think there's any left. I don't think that they can be wiped out. Alright, so... Warhost of Tsar is actually weaker than us. They must have lost a whole bunch of armies. Because, yeah, I definitely don't like them running around like this. What are you doing? What do you want from me? Problems go into my gut. Yeah, no. They won't ever listen to you. With this kind of stuff. Silver Pinnacle needs to keep its defenses nice and high. Because you never know when someone's going to jump over here and attack us. But all this other crap out here, we'll definitely um, give it over to Gelt. And Wissenland. Good, yeah, just keep this guy here. Just standing outside the settlement. And yeah, we'll be able to confederate them real soon. Which would be good. The Electrican of Wissenland, I think, is pretty good. So. Missile resistance, 40%. Can't give that to Carl Franz, though. It's good for Gelt, actually. Missile attack for artillery units. Yeah, this is a really good one for Gelt. If we can get him there. Okay, this is all looking pretty healthy. Who calls? I bet you guys go by sea, it'll be a little bit quicker. Call from the heavens. Yes. You are judged. Nice. Cool. Got my revenge on that one, because he originally wounded us. So I know that Morgar is still in here. I mean, um, Clan England's having a hard time. Doesn't matter, though. Okay. So, if we're lucky, this army here might force march in through us here, and we'll ambush him. Actually, let me just check if I can increase... Oh, hang on. What might be a good idea is Hedge Wizard. We want to make sure we've got plenty of wins. Hedge Wizard, Apprentice Wizard... Oh, crap. Um... Oh shit, I'm out of those. Where's the one that... Increases our... Ambush success chance. I can't remember which one it is. Hunter, I think. Yeah. Don't worry about that one. It's, it's not important. Wins, uh, like, our research rate's fine. Can you still do Hero Trap to the Wood Elves? Like, block them from moving? It doesn't work on factions that can use the Underway. So, if, for example, if I had the High Elves sitting in here and they can't use the Underway, then yeah, you could trap them in there. But yes, you can still do that. Alright, here we go, moving on. Hey Legion, what is your favorite campaign slash lord? I know the meme is Ikiklaw, but is that still the case? For Warhammer 3, definitely... Um, I'd say it's actually Scarbrand. Scarbrand or Bellacore, those are my favorites. I think I prefer playing Ikiklaw in Warhammer 2. I don't play him as much in Warhammer 3, I find. I do, I just do really enjoy him, just not as much. I think it's because things don't end up being quite as chaotic as they are in Warhammer 2. And Skaven campaigns just thrive off just mayhem. And also, you can't build walls in your minor settlements, and that kind of sucks for Skaven. Also, all of your um, major settlements, it's always the same battle, and it's not great to defend it. It's just, 
Yeah, I don't know. Skaven just don't feel quite as good. Still good, but not quite as good. Is Empire and High Elves your most popular live streams? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Excuse me. How did no defeat campaigns work in Warhammer 2 without the ability to trade cell settlements? It's because the AI would target your armies. They were the AI was brave in Warhammer 2 by comparison. So they were just they would you wouldn't have to worry all the time about your settlements. Because the AI just wouldn't um, as much wouldn't run around your armies to try to sack your minor settlements. You know, they would build big armies, and they would go for your army, and so you would have to stand your ground and fight. And that's... See, if, if that was the case in Warhammer 3, we would be fine. But the problem is, the AI does not do that. They're like, oh, here comes the player, I better run away. The AI has got no balls in this. Also, you didn't have factions like the Changeling and Festus at the beginning of, the, of an Empire campaign. Do you have to control all the elect account capitals before you can summon the elect accounts? That's correct, yeah. So the only one I'll be missing is... That is two. There's Soland and... Ostermark. I've held Ostermark before. I've never held Soland. Why do they sack it? Why do, why do you sack it every single friggin' time? <laughs> Bloody useless. Far out. On normal, they run less away. Probably, but on, on legendary, they're very cowardly. Will Squirrels, the twenty dollars super chat. Love the videos, brother. I thought I should donate at, to at least reward you for introducing me to my new addiction. Love Kislev, so I'm hoping to see some more content on them. Post shadows of change update. Yeah, me too. Me too. Thanks, super chat. I'm glad I introduced you to this. Good to have you here. What does some of the elect accounts do? Oh, uh, you spend 2,000, 10,000 prestige, I can't remember, it's, it's a fair bit. And it refreshes all of your elect account state troops. So let's just say you wait 15 turns, recruit all of them in one turn, and then you hit that button and then they're all just back again. But you can only do it once every 10 turns, I believe. Would you rather play Dark Elves or Zinch? Definitely Zinch. The win, subscribe with Prime. Thanks dude, appreciate that. We'll lead into my question. Hey, listen, do you think CA will fix the AI not occupying or attacking settlements with damaged garrisons? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Bug fixing is not their forte. <laughs> it's like... Twenty turns? Okay. I mean, I hope they do. But, you know, I can't say that Creative Assembly is known for their bug fixing. Need I remind you? Hey guys, we fixed Tyrion's quest battle. Uh, no you didn't. Oh, don't worry. We really fixed it this time. Actually, no you didn't! Okay, have we fixed it now? Yeah, you finally fixed it. After like three tries. <laughs> it's just... Excuse me. Did CA ever say why they removed the old slave mechanic for Dark Elves? No, but it's likely because they wanted to give it to the um, the Chaos Dwarfs because they essentially got it. But let's be real, the Dark Elf slave mechanic in Warhammer 2 was busted as fuck. Super bloody powerful. And people used to complain about it a little bit, so 
they put in a even worse mechanic. <laughs> people complain about it even more. It's kind of like the siege rework. It's like, well, people don't like sieges. Should we find out why people don't like the sieges? Nah, man. What we need to do is just add lots of capture points everywhere. That's what people want. So, didn't address any of the problems whatsoever. And just came up with this ad hoc solution. I don't know. Who knows what goes on with CA. We accidentally turned Greasers into Usain Bolt. Yeah, it's just database management. Somebody put in an extra zero. That happens. I feel like Clan Engrand is slowly losing to these guys. Oh, that's good. You should actually be able to repel that then. If you jump in the underway to assist, you should be able to manage that. Okay, it looks like I got taken out of ambush dance. But they might consider me weak enough to dock. Yeah, I was taken out of ambush dance. They won't be able to reach me, though. I was hoping that they would force march past me. I don't need to see... Ooh, I want to see what happens with Clan Angrand over here. Good. Good. Come on, you can do it. Take out Ikaclaw. What Total War is the best firearms and artillery? Probably Total War Warhammer or Fall of the Samurai. Fall of the Samurai's artillery is just... <laughs> really, really nicely done. Yeah. Empire Total War. It's like unlimited ammunition takes four hours to reload. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, they actually did what they were told. You gotta find us. Excuse me, it's getting late. Alright, what are they gonna do? Of course they're going to sack it. Oh no, they actually occupied it. Okay. Well, we have our... tasks up for us this coming turn. Probably not a great idea to be fighting a battle tired, but here we go. So yeah, I can see we're going to be fighting a battle. If you were doing this on Total War Warhammer 2, would your army composition be the same? If not, how would it change? Oh, it definitely would not be Reichsguard. Definitely not. I mean, I actually did this in Warhammer 2, by the way. I though I did lose a battle. I kept loading until I managed to win it. So it wasn't a it wasn't a perfect no defeat run. But yeah, I did do it in Warhammer 2. Got through the entire campaign, full map completion, no defeats. It's just that I save scummed a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, beat him. Should you rest and tackle this battle next time? Nah. Nah. People have been waiting for this all day. There's plenty of battles to be had next time, but we'll get one in today. I saw what they had. It should be fine.
Yeah. I kind of suspected that these guys here weren't going to win against Clan Engrund because minor factions never win against major factions in this. Uh, very rarely. Um, yeah, I can actually use the leadership since we're going to be fighting. Ooh, Skaven attack the Elector State. Which, which settlement? Region of Needling. Fuck. You couldn't wait one more bloody turn. Their army's not at Needling. If I do this, I could bloody lose. Shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because this will give us our confederation. Cause otherwise I have to do it. Wait, one more turn. Oh, this is so stupid. I, I really... This one here. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. It's a risk. I might lose this battle. No, I'm gonna win. <laughs> All good. <laughs> I had to clinch my ass a bit. We're fine. Alright, so looking at this, we now have them at max fealty, so I actually don't need to give this settlement back to them. But I'm gonna, because I'm gonna confederate them anyway, and if I do this, it'll end up being rebuilt at tier 1. So, we're good to confederate them next turn. We should get that notification. Chorf army at Silver Pinnacle. Yeah, we saw that coming down. Yeah, it's not that dangerous. We did build some defenses here. It hasn't been built. Uh, these guys are on their way back, so it'll be fine. Seek out the heretics. Plus, we just blocked him. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he, he can't reach us now. It's all good. It's all good. We got this. All right, now the good news is. If I take out these armies, they won't be able to counterattack. Okay, the way I need to go about this, I need to make sure that if I. Mm, no, okay. How should we go about this? Pick up the pace. Stop pushing it. All right. Watch. Which one should we do first? Which which army is going to exhaust me the least? The nation calls. Mole geared up. Zog off. I think this is the easiest of the two. So let's do that one first. What? Okay. Well, okay. Let's do this. So, lightning strike them so we don't have to deal with their was. But yeah, I was pretty surprised by Valiant Defeat when going up against four stacks. Not full stacks, but still full stacks. Buckle in boys and girls, here we go, yeah. Yuanda48, uh, subscribe with Prime, thanks dude, appreciate that. So... We want to try to kill off as many of us as possible before the main attack. I really wish um, the Empire would get replenishment options post-battle loot. This is a good map for us as well. The Badlands is a pretty good place to fight with cavalry because most of it is quite flat. You don't want rough terrain when having cavalry because they get stuck in places. Oh, that's right. You're on, on the ground. Alright, what do we need to take out with Karl Franz?
Okay, let's go. Quick march! The Empire endures! So you go in, provide support for him. They don't have anything particularly quickly, that uh, quick. Take position. I mean, they do, but nothing's particularly strong. Ready for war. So what we want to do is maybe fight this guy. Looks like he's on a squig. Yep. So Carl Franz actually has the advantage against him. His attack is 61 plus... Okay. It's not going to get through our defenses. Hang on, we should try to attack him from the rear to begin with. These guys are going to shoot us. Eat that ass. Oh, why do I still have a potion of healing? I don't need that anymore. Okay, you come over here and we pop down the dwellers below on that unit. Not the end of the world if he does get off the battlefield, but I... Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off. I can't catch him. He's too quick. But if I back off from him, he'll rally, I think. Come on, rally. 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 <laughs> rally, I want to kill you. There we go, he rallied. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! That's how we roll in Reichland, bitch! And then the AI is doing their amazing AI. AI just being AI right here. Quick, let's blub up in the middle! Brilliant. Brilliant AI. <laughs> Allowing me to inflict massive damage on them. Next up for us. Yeah, run off these Night Goblin archers. Actually, these ones here. Very well. I am life. My doll, Maraz. Swiftly. Reichsguard Knights. That down there, try to get the, those black orcs if we can. Yeah, that did a decent amount of damage. Cool, just get them off the battlefield. Alright, they split up their army in kind of a dumb way. What are these? Alright, chasing after them is just a wild goose chase. It's not worth it. We're actually anti-large, so we should be able to beat them. Especially given our experience bonuses. Especially because their lord is dead. As well. Our steeds are restless. Reichsguard knights. Whoa! Quickly! This is my command. 
That's an order! Battle awaits! Go! Ooh, that one's taking some damage. That one's taking too much damage. Get it out of there. Oh, that unit is getting wrecker rude. It's not good. Everyone else is doing just fine. That probably isn't going too well, though. Okay, so here's the problem. We're taking a fair bit of damage and we still have another fight to do right after this. Not to mention we need to clean up this army again at some point. So that's a problem. Yes, General! Okay, then we just army lost them. Yeah. Okay, a uh, bit of lopsided damage, which isn't ideal, but overall, we should be okay to fight the next battle. Our heroes are at full health. Yep. Pretty sure we did better than what Auto Resolve said we would. Hard to say, though, because I didn't Auto Resolve it. Although, if we did order resolve it, it would wipe them out. It, it did say Pyrrhic victory in order resolve. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The thing is, order resolve would have wiped them out, but it would have made it so that we probably weren't able to fight the other army. Hard to say. Catch up to them. Oh, hang on, we might. Alright, let's have a look at the damage here. So, those two are particularly badly damaged. Everyone else has. Oh, that one's damaged. Everyone else has more than 30, so they're at least full. Uh, half strength. Alright, just have to keep these three out of the next fight. How many are at full strength? Just those two. How many are above 50? Oh, that one's half strength. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Although, this was the easier of the two armies. Although, this will give them some much needed experience. Okay, it's definitely better than Order Resolve because it gave us a close victory there as opposed to a Pyrrhic. So, that's something. We did kill the Lord, so no experience for that one. Oh, it didn't kill him. Um, he's immortal. We still need to wipe out this army, though, because it's a, one of those free upkeep armies. The sooner you get rid of them, the better. But the other army is sitting inside the settlement, so we need to probably sack it unless this one... No, yeah, we'll need to sack it. Microwing 20 cavalry units is just hell. Uh, it depends on the situation. Oh, so it's only 17. <laughs> so, yeah, the Black Orcs did the most amount of damage to us. I probably should have um, spent some more time using Dwellers Below, but it's okay. Black Orcs look like hockey players when you zoom out. I know! Yeah, that's what I think sometimes as well. 
carrying a big hockey stick. <laughs> maybe maybe I Creative Assembly was at here. one point developing a, uh, a Total War hockey. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, good, good item out of that. Stop it. So this army is maybe a little bit more dangerous because of the presence of Doom Diver catapults and Giant and Arachnorok Spider. They've got fewer Black Orcs though. Has to be done. I need to level this stuff up. Let me just see what the auto resolve says. No, not acceptable. Unless... Yep, yeah, none of that. We have to fight that one, even if you're lightning strike, you're still gonna fight that. This guy's not like as much. Oh my god, we didn't get Arcane Conduit? Okay. Good. Raise your weapons. So yeah, we need to sack the settlement so that we can finish this one off. Because for some reason we didn't get rid of the war. Another lightning strike will sort that out. My order agrees. Yep, yeah, okay, we can block it now. So their characters must have uh, reduced success chance for our heroes because look at that freaking nothing now we need to also make sure that no enemy armies can capture this settlement so that we can occupy it and give it to men we must attack uh to volkmar but yeah two of their eight armies taking out is pretty good i think it's a good start to the war now it takes us a while to replace these units so let's really try hard not to do that Hang on a second. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we definitely don't want to fight the white army. This is too much. Wait. Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay. I don't want to fight that. Healing potion on Carl? Yeah, oh, yeah. I could have swapped, swapped that out. Thing is, though, with enchanted items, what else could I give him? Maybe Iron Course Icon? Which will give him missile resistance. I'm not sure what else I could really give him. Why no earthing on life wizarding? Miscast not an issue? Yeah, miscast is not an issue with life magic because I never overcast. Miscast will only ever happen when you overcast a spell. Okay, so the units that we want to keep out of it are the units, these three here. Keep them out of it. You want to, if we're going to use the units, use the healthiest Reichstag. units first. For the Emperor. Knights. Sigma calls. Reichsguard Knights. Orders ready. Okay, I've got that organized from most amount of entities to the least. Ready for war. Oh, and now this one's flying. Wow, we gained a lot of levels from that one battle. Then Horseman Speculum for when you charge with Reichsguard. Oh, yeah, that's a good item. I've only got one of those. Yeah, it is a good item. Hopefully I get some more at some point. Okay, Carl Franz, immediately go after Thugger. Thug him one. Ready for war. To me, man. He's playing our music, so that's a good sign. Try to dodge as best we can. But at least we can heal him, so that's right. He's got a good metal ward save. My rule is absolute. Good, they are shooting their own lord there as well. Uh, he's taken some damage. Right, let's see if I can pull this guy out a little bit. This is my command. Use the potion. Moving now. Moving faster. Sigma. So that physical resistance will help out there. Probably ever use that ability. Oh hell no, you don't. <laughs> you think you're going somewhere, do you? I know where you're going. Straight to hell, you fucking green skin bitch. 
Come on. One more hit. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, good shit. Alright, now we need to take out the artillery, which... That's... Yes! The fuck are you doing? Take position! Very well! That's a good start, though. With haste. The power of life is mine. So it looks like they're just gonna rush straight at us, which means that the Doom Divers will be left vulnerable. Now that they're off their artillery, they shouldn't get back on it. So this AI is not being quite as stupid as the previous one, but things are looking pretty good so far. Right. Should be the end of that for them. Because even when they rally, they usually don't get back on their artillery. Alright, Carl Franz, go up to the giant, and I'll give you some support. Because it's easier for them to take on an Arachnarch Spider due to, due to it having more surface area, but the Giant is just more difficult. So what we want to do here is buff, 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 and debuff, debuff. Going crazy on them debuffs. Alright, start getting these guys around over here. And I might just... I'm, I'm actually going to withdraw these units here from the battlefield. I don't want them fighting at all. They're not interested in fighting our hero. So that giant did not manage to do much damage. That's good for us. Up until all the buffs ran out. Ready for war. Yes, onwards. Ready to smite. Rexgard knights. Not ready to fight them yet. I still need to thin them out a little bit more, or else we're just going to end up too badly damaged. We're Sigma's heirs. Advance. We are Sigma's heirs. By Ulrich's wrath. Take the ground! Get them! Okay, hold them in place and pop that down for you. If we can get all their fast units away from their slow units, so we can turn around and fight them. That giant if we wouldn't mind. Alright, giant down. Next up, the Arachnarch Spider. But hang on, take out some of these Savage Orc Arrow Boys first. Get them to chase after us. This is where lightning strike kind of hurts us a bit because we lose quite a bit of speed. Let's get a little bit of a heal together. Still got heaps of reserves. There's no reason why we have to go into melee just yet with all the cavalry. Now! Warrior Priest! 
Alright, all the abilities are back. Should be able to handle the Arachnorok Spider. It does have anti-large, but giants are typically better fighters in melee. Ready for with there. A flesh to stone. To me, man! And the rest of their army just is not interested in fighting us. They want to go after the cavalry. And we just refuse to engage until it's really quite in our favor. We're just getting that way. Pretty quickly. Yes, General. No lingering. Quickly. Call France. Attack. Very well. The Empire. Let the woods awaken. And get him in there for a bit of this as well. What? And the Arachnorx Spider did 160 what? damage, even less than the Giant. That's good. Ready for now, That's not a video. Yeah, they're getting the odd shot on us. That's okay. They're not killing any of us. Every time we cast a life spell, we'll heal a little bit. Charge it faster. Don't rise guard get perfect vigor under the command of France, though. I don't think so. And well, Carl France has got perfect vigor, and he's still affected by lightning striking. Good. Moving now. We are All right, just keep that guy fighting there. I just got to get the extra wins. I need 17 of them. My subjects call. No lingering. To battle. Yeah, go and fight those Black Orcs, because I'm about to turn around and fight back now. Let's go. No, uh, no, 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 no. Literally fighting our weakest units. Okay, this guy here has taken way too much damage. I may need to pull him out. I don't think you can hold that. Oh, hang on. Just hold that for a few more seconds. Okay, we went in there. Got the savage orc things. Come on, one more Winds of Magic so I can smash these biggins. I'll heal you later. Gotta get him out of there now. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Moving! Taking position! Rexcar Knights! To arms, man! The Empire is yours! Good, smash these units. This guy needs some more melee defense or something. There's as well. Begins, don't fight them right now. Move back. Should also be good. You on Bo's trait? That'd be really handy. Get ready, we're going to charge back in there. Just sort of make sure I can wrap around them as best as I can first.
No, don't focus on the biggins with our cavalry. That would not be a good idea. Get these guys together for a bit of a heal. Good, caught them. That is nice. But they're just as tired as I am now. Good, I think. That's not doing much damage to us, wouldn't worry about it. Because they've used up all their ammo now. Back off, don't just keep fighting there, that's not good. I think I'm doing way better than I did in the previous battle, because this was a tougher army and we're not really taking any damage. Oh, apart from this hero, that's way easily recovered. And there's the army losses. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't need to cast it. These guys get wiped out. Just for losing. Don't need to run them down. Let's just make sure that our heroes here get some healing. Because we're not quite done with the turn yet. But yeah. The, this army here can take on Greenskin Endgame Crisis armies, so that's good. You know, with Lightning Strike, obviously. Might be able to handle it even without Lightning Strike, but definitely would be tougher. Look at that, only 14 casualties this time. And I thought that would be a tougher army. That being said, I really didn't give them any chance to fight and get any uh, advantages. That being said, sometimes if a stronger army is more heavily damaged by like Carl Franz because he took out so many high tier units. See, they got a fairly early army losses there. They still had a Black Orc unit in play. Would you ever do 1v1 against other streamers for content? Nah, I used to do that. It doesn't. It doesn't really perform well. I don't enjoy it. I just, I just like to do my own thing. All right, we need to sack it because if we just occupy it, we'll lose all of our movement. This guy here will besiege and they'll bring another army in and force march. I might not be able to handle it. Ooh, a wand of jet. So, in-game crisis armies from 8 down to 7 as soon as I take this one out here. Can we auto this? Yep. Yep, that's fine. Is it time? Yes, to unite the provinces. Capturing the settlement isn't important. He'll replenish in allied territory. 
And this army here can't reach it anyway. Ready. In the name of Magnus. None of their armies can. Hang on, let's let's keep track of where they are. There's six of them. One. Stop pushing it. Two. Three. Four. And I've lost track of the other ones. Show me the accused. Onwards. I trust no man. Which means they could. Hang on, hang on. Absolutely not. Five, six. Okay, we've we've got them all. They're all accounted for. Okay, so we'll hand this over to Volkmar now. Pick up the pace, brother. Have you come to atone for your sins? What sins? Just makes him like me more. Uh, who else? Well, how would you like to go to a war with Clan Moors? Mm. And Clan Scryer? Mm. And Warherd of the Shadow Gave? Mm. <laughs> it shall done deal. Be done. Okay, get a decent amount of replenishment and probably a turn or two before the next fight. But overall, good start against this endgame crisis here. Good start. Tools of judgment ready. So I think I'll head over to Death Gorge because I also need to. Well, hmm. let's just see how we go first. All right, but yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Hopefully, these guys go and occupy Stone Mine Tower. That'd yes, be good. Right, the right come up of this war are ready. What do you think beats this stack of friends? Um, a lot of things can beat it because it's not invincible. Champion of the faith. We're born to hunt. Right, this army here is not really able to do anything to us. You come in here. True servant of Sigma. You stay here. And you just regular stance to here. And then we attach this army into here, and it will boost all the units and give us extra campaign movement range so we can actually keep up with this other army. Huntsman General! If anything, we should put the artillery in this other army as well. All in due time. We'll figure something out with that. Where next? Alright, that looks really good. Don't worry about leveling these up, it shouldn't matter. Seek out the heretics. Right hope. No defeats yet? Yes, we have suffered a defeat during a no defeat campaign. <laughs> so 142 battles, zero losses so far. Alright, well, Morgan's over here. So he had no intention of jumping up this way. Let's see if we can block him. Speak. That's ah, okay, it happens. One with the forest. Okay, Talson goes before Bretonia, so I kind of feel like. If they can manage to jump in the underway or something and take out all of this, that's going to be a bit of a problem. My reputation precedes me. Oh yeah, I should take away their items. I will do anything <laughs> There's nothing else for free items. It's others tricks are shard, which we've got plenty of, but let's see. Bretonia, you can't have that. And the other item, let me just see, I'm not sure what it was. Definitely wasn't an enchanted item. It was, hey, he had a seed of rebirth. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> you got any followers as well? I couldn't really see. Uh, 
hard to see when I'm moving through it this quick, but I should be able to notice the difference in the unit card if I see it. Yep, there it is, Pit Fighter. You can't have that. <laughs> Not for you. Okay, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we should be able to get this confederation with Wissenland now. Or well, next turn. All right. Have I done my construction? Nope. Doesn't take too long, though. What do we put in this slot? Yes, nothing else to put in there. All right, check diplomacy. Overall, pretty good turn. Do you know honor before? Mm. Okay, now we gained some territory, and we've killed two endgame crisis armies, and yes. strengthened this army, which is really important. This guy's getting stronger. Yep, that's really important there. Yep, some more health to make you a bit tougher. Yeah, we really don't need this potion of healing on Carl Franz, do we? Let me just see, what have I got in my enchanted item section? I want more Van Horseman Speculum. I guess Boris doesn't really need it right now. Man, look how many of those I've got. There isn't really a whole lot to choose from. I guess there's Featherfoe Talk. That could be useful, because he sometimes does fight flying creatures. But yeah, there's not too much to choose from with the enchanted items, I think. There you go. Man. Can you get Bretonian followers as the Empire with this technique? You can sell them, but you can't get them. Yeah, you can sell their equipment that you can't equip, but you can't equip it yourself. I want the Black Pyramid and the Gash for myself. Such a good landmark. Winds of Magic reserve capacity plus 15. And it's good to be transferring some settlements over to Volkmar now. How, many, how much territory do I have? 48. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not... Well, it's... Balthazar Gelt has not been losing the territory that I've been giving him, so that's pretty good. Show me the accused. Can't complain about that, I suppose. Are there any the missions for me? I got a lot of allies. And is there any rogue armies that I have to worry about? No. Okay, cool, we can move on to the next turn. There may be a couple of things here and there that I forgot to move around, mostly just heroes, but everything seems pretty damn calm. Apart from here, this is a freaking nightmare. Oh yeah, did I recruit my heroes? There is I don't think I did. I need to get onto that. Healing. Don't want to miss a turn. The Empire. Yes, the rights of war are ready. So Boris is almost ready to take the fight down to the Wood Elves. I'll have to really gear up with lots of um, equipment for that. Okay, Discipline showed up in Heaven's Wizard. What I don't need another wish? one of those. I'm trying to go for more Life Wizards, because yeah, Life Magic is so much better. Alright, so we need to recruit five more of these Warrior Priests. Oh, I just didn't Level this guy up. So if you don't. And then of course they could definitely use a lot of equipment, this guy here as well. Didn't do him. It'd be pretty funny if we go in with a hero doomstack into Athel Lauren and lose the battle. Basically repeating the same mistakes of the past. But 
Honestly, this is about as good of a doom stack as it's possible for us to make. And honestly, steam tanks are not great against wood elves anyway. Especially not in that tree laden territory. Okay. So I've got another one of these guys here, but it shouldn't be attached to anything other than a missile base army. I was going to save this for Gelt's army. Uh, I guess I could start recruiting the um, Steam Tank Doomstack and then just transfer Gelt into it when it's ready to go. Thing is, it is very expensive. Do you know what we could start doing? Once we get a hold of Nuln, I can get the Emperor's Wrath. So we get that as of next turn, maybe. Does replenish troop stack between warrior priests? No, it doesn't, but... Due to the way that it's calculated, um, the one with the highest amount of replenishment isn't always the one chosen. So it's usually the, the last one attached or the last one that got a level up or the last one that was interacted with will be the one that, um, that the replenishment is, is triggered. So if you only put the replenishment into one of them, and that particular one isn't chosen, then that goes to waste. So the only thing you can do to guarantee you're going to get maximum replenishment is to put it into all of them. Now, because of the way that um, the warrior priest is skilled up, there, it doesn't really matter that if they put if all of them put it into replenishment, because they're all going to get those points anyway. Was well, it much slower to do this? No defeat campaign in Warhammer 2 with no possibility to sell trade settlements. Uh, no, I think I got through it a lot quicker with Warhammer 2 because... Like I said, there's... The AI is not as much of a bitch. And... The map is significantly smaller. That's very expensive, says member 700k, I love it. Well, yeah, I got 700k because I don't waste money. What's the crisis? Wurzag. <laughs> Legend strips his allies bare. Legend, why are my allies winning? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a good point. It's a good point. Thing is, I know that the, the AI, they don't really pay for anything. They just sort of save money. Blue Scribes boost Exalted Pink Horrors as well, which are pretty good, no? Yeah, they're, you know, mid-tier unit, they're alright. Like I said, they're a good hero. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Did the Green Tide happen? Yes, it has happened, and it's so far not been that much of a threat. So, we just took out two full stacks of theirs, of the Greenskin Endgame Crisis. Basically... 25% of the endgame crisis has already been destroyed. But Carl Franz does need a little bit of time now to heal before he fights another one, which he'll get over this turn. It just depends on whether or not the endgame crisis goes gunning for us or starts going after guilt. Just not sure. Is there anything that influences if the AI allows you to trade for one of their settlements? Seems like they're always reluctant to give up any settlements. Yeah, it depends on the buildings that are built in the settlement. So the more military buildings, the less likely, th sorry, the more reluctant they'll be to transfer. If you are offering a settlement that has loads of military buildings, then it'll be worth tons. No, oh well. What did Warhammer 3 do to make Dark Elves bad? Dark Elves are still a very strong race. I just don't like playing them in Warhammer 3, that's all. I don't find them fun. So, it's just a personal opinion. But they're still strong. I love how Twitch thought that sack was a sexual term. <laughs> it was like, this this comment has been held for review because it is using sexual language. The guy said, um, 
What do you, what do you say again? Warhammer 3 AI. Do you see that undefended minor settlement? Yeah, let's sack it and loot it for 3k gold. So, Twitch, Twitch AI is not great. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the um, the Reddit post for Three Kingdoms with a guy claiming that the censorship made his name look worse? I always find this fucking hilarious. But his name was Nasser, N-A-S-S-E-R, and the game it um, censored A-S-S. So I'll tell you, I'll show you what it looks like. Where's it censored? It's I found this to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> this is where censorship actually ends up backfiring and ends up making looking at way worse. Like I'm pretty sure NASA is just a pretty common Middle Eastern name. I think that's where the origin is. I'm not sure exactly where. They had to sack it and create an undercity there. Nasser is Iranian name? Well, that's Middle Eastern, but yeah. Um, William did a fabulous super chat. I still hate how race capitals for other races are now eight slots instead of four. Uh, instead of ten. Why did I say four? Yeah, I don't really think that's a big problem. Uh, do you know where I can revive luck here? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the starting region. I think that's where he comes back. Sorry if I missed any of the subscriptions if they came through. I don't see any though. I'm freaking knackered. Totally spent. I haven't got another battle in me. It's an Arab name? What? Whatever. Oh, no, 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 I want to see what happens with bloody hands. Don't skip that. Oh, it looks like the Golden Order are actually taking it seriously. What's going on with this army here? Come close to me. Yeah, guys, come at me. Come at me, bitch. Come at me. I don't want them going around expanding. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Come at me. I'm going to kill you next turn. This is the great thing about having a war coming at you and also having um, lightning strike because they're slow. What the hell? They're like running away from guilt. No. Oh, lose, 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 lose. Oh. Well, he did lose a lot of units. No worse than YouTube thinking with Nagarod. Yeah, to this day, I always like clench a little bit whenever I say, you know, Malika's faction's name. Just, I just don't want to get into trouble. You know, I've I've had enough trouble for one lifetime. You know, it's just it's just so much easier if you just don't upset people. But sometimes, sometimes you know, just it happens by accident. Life is so much easier when you don't upset people. <laughs> I 
Unless those people, you know, really deserve to be upset. Actually, I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah! There we go, we got Wissenland. Just a couple of turns ago, they were at four fealty. There we go. Alright, so we've scored a Grey Wizard here. I got some I got stuff to clean up. We got a... No. Just nope. Just nope. To the provinces. Right. And Eben von Liebwitz, what'd you get? Nothing, because you probably haven't fought any battles this entire campaign. How should we proceed? See, if there's discipline, I'll definitely keep it, but outside of that, no. Sigmarite you got discipline? Spectre. Determined. Nope. Is this high level? Nope. I can recruit higher level than that. Get rid of this. Just don't need it. Alright, so I didn't really inherit anything particularly good from Wissenland, apart from the elect account position. They didn't even build it to tier 5, and they didn't build the landmark. We don't need that. I never get in those units. Um, shouldn't really need that, because the landmark. So at Flensburg, they actually got rid of the military buildings that we put here. That was weird. And I think I sold them Kemperbad. I definitely didn't have that there. And then we've got the Electric position. Why do you only go for Disciplined Heroes? Well, it's the only one that has a significant bonus. It's, ob it's obviously the best one. What's going on here? Right. So with this one here, doesn't really. I should. Uh, you know what? Where is Toddy? Toddy might be good for the electric can of Whistleland for now. Obviously, it would be my way better. Hang on, look at this. Yeah, that's not that important. Good, we should have no trouble taking that guy out. So the war against him has actually been going so well that he's willing to have peace. I find that to be quite unusual, but definitely good. If the frost asks. Definitely good. So we'll leave Huntsman General. Leave this army here to to look after Silver Pinnacle while we continue to go out here and expand and get rid of. Astragoth. Uh, if we have a look over... Oh, there's the Blue Scribes. Wait, no, it's not the Blue Scribes. I think the Blue Scribes are over here somewhere. How the hell did that happen? It must have been Zinch. Because none of his armies are even coming over here. It must have been Zinch just transferring settlements constantly. Trying to keep them alive. Alright, so looking at this army here, it's reasonably deadly, because these are Orc Boar Boy Biggins, they're anti-large cavalry, which, we're anti-large cavalry as well, but we're still a little bit damaged. I'll have to lightning strike it, because they've got so many units in the garrison, the uh, garrison in the war. But still, this is one of those, oh wait, it's not one of the free armies. This isn't one of the six remaining. So just trying to keep tabs on them. Yeah, that's one. Oh no, it is, it is. Oh, okay. Two. Three. Four. No! Get out of my head! Stop right off! I've lost track of the others. Who calls? By the comet. Cause yeah, there should be six, and I They will be what is, what is... Geld must have killed some. The nation calls. Gelt must have killed a couple of Endgame Crisis armies, because he had a full stack. He's, look what's left of him. 
<laughs> good job, Gelt, though. Really good job. I'm very happy that we let... See, this is why you want to leave an ally out here. He took out two endgame crises. I mean, his army's fucked. He's, he's going to need to go replace them. Uh, but still, he took out two of them. That saves me a lot of time. I am Prince and Emperor. That's very good. The comet comes. What? Healing. So this army here, it's getting done. Let us forge our faith. Don't think we've had gotten any of the disciplined Empire captains. How do we go for the battle wizard? No. Well, discipline doesn't show up anywhere, so again, 50-50 chance, you know. Just gotta keep rolling the dice, you'll eventually get it. So, keep that fortified. Looks like they took out the Wood Elf army there. But obviously they got smashed by this, because yeah, they're looking a bit worse for wear. But they attempt to replenish. Unfortunately, the Wood Elves, they just recruit armies so bloody quickly. Yep, we can do that because I will be fighting that one this turn. By the silver hammer, yes. Seek out the heretics. Hmm. So yeah, we should be able to attack this and still be able to get into encamp stance. Not to, actually, we don't need to be in encamp stance as long as we're in allied territory. That's good. Good, everything's looking really good on the these fronts. I mean, uh, this guy here is doing some serious damage to Cathay, but who really cares too much? Alright. Let's commit to this fight here, so that it's the first thing that we do next time. Unless, of course, I can just auto-resolve it. Let's have a look. It will not let me order resolve it without a casualty. So we have to lightning strike it and fight it manually so that this unit here doesn't get wiped out. So obviously the units that are in good shape, we keep them in the fights, use them. They're going to be a bit tired, but Carl Franz should be able to take out the Lord. No problem because there's no wyvern, no equipment on him, so it'll be easy. Should be able to take out the two giants, no problem. He took out the other ones quite easily as well. Still got Dismantle Winds of Magic. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be the Orc Boar Boy, Boar Boy Biggins. Because they've got bonus versus large compared to our 10 bonus versus large. Anyway, it's time to wrap things up and let's go chuck a host over to someone. Start with, starting with YouTube, let's see who we can chuck the... Um... Let's see who we can chuck it over to. Right, just bear with me a sec, guys. So, who's live streaming now? Alright, looks like Snake Nerd Gamer is currently playing a Scarbrand campaign. And he's very close to getting to 1,000 subs. He's currently at 804. If you guys can help him get to 1,000, I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. If you can help him get to 1,000 subs, I will play another episode of this. I'm sorry, I'll do another live stream in two days for episode six. How does that sound? Good deal? <laughs> so, help out Snake Nerd Gamer. Help out the fellow smaller streamers. Just help support the community. Because, yeah, they need to get to a 1,000 subs in order to become monetized. And once you become monetized, your videos get pushed a lot more. So it's kind of it's kind of damned if you do... It's, it's like Catch-22. You can't get a lot of um, visibility until you get to a 1,000 subs. But you can't get to a 1,000 subs until you get a lot of visibility. So it's really quite difficult. So, yeah, help out Snake Nerd Gamer there. He's a big supporter of the channel. 
Alright, and that's the end of the live stream. Okay, so close this off for YouTube, and I will see you guys later.